Renegade Immortal. Chapter 876 to Chapter 900. Have fun reading as well as listening. Chapter 876, Aligned to the Heavens. Wang Lin's expression was neutral, but his heart was moved. From what he saw from the illusion, it was clear that there were six scrolls. Wang Lin remained calm as he respectfully clasped his hands. Thank you, Senior Li Yunzi. Li Yunzi laughed and carefully looked at Wang Lin. He waved his sleeve and pulled someone to continue the heaven trial. Wang Lin turned around and walked out of the square. He found an open area and sat down. Ignoring the gazes of all the cultivators, he quietly cultivated. While he cultivated, he could clearly feel waves of pain from between his eyebrows. A feeling like he was going to lose control appeared in his heart. Wang Lin vaguely understood that the third eye had absorbed the source origin energy, and a great change had occurred. As for whether this change was good or bad, even he couldn't guess. However, one thing was certain, if he allowed the pain to continue, once it went beyond his control and rushed out, he would definitely suffer the backlash. He took a deep breath, and with a thought, he condensed endless annihilation heart restrictions. As he continued to cultivate them, three seals gradually formed to seal the third eye. However, the power from his third eye was too strong, this seal could only temporarily alleviate the problem. If time dragged on, he would have to strengthen it every once in a while. Although this was the case, Wang Lin didn't think it was troublesome. No matter what, the spell within the third eye will be my life-saving ace. After Wang Lin, the rest of the cultivators continued the test. After 30 minutes, the remaining cultivators had all finished the third trial. Li Yunzi's right hand reached out and the battle scroll returned to his hand. As he turned, a gust of wind swept from his body. All those there didn't qualify were sent back into the transfer array in the sky. Out of the 147 people, there were only 112 people remaining. As Li Yunzi returned to his praying mat, Master Flamespark's gaze swept past the remaining 112 people. His eyes lit up like torches and he slowly said, the three trials are over, and everyone that remains are the elites of this generation. Originally, the mysterious void six paths would be next to test your Tao, but since your number is already close to 108, we will skip right to one line to heaven. One line to heaven is the last event for the celestial title competition. Of the 108 people that will gain a celestial title, the top 36 will be named Heaven Celestials. In the one line to heaven trial, you all exist as phantoms. Even if you die, your body will only suffer a little damage, so it won't affect you too much. After Master Flamespark finished speaking, he slapped his bag of holding and an octagonal piece of wood appeared in his hand. He threw it into the air and the octagonal piece of wood grew. In an instant, it was more than 100 feet wide and bursts of colorful light came from it as it rotated in the sky. Enter the square. After Master Flamespark shouted, the 112 cultivators walked onto the square and sat down in the lotus position. Shortly after, Master Flamespark sent out a seal and then rays of light came from the wood. A ray of light shined on each of the 112 cultivators in the square. The moment the five-colored light shined down, all the cultivators, including Wang Lin, lost consciousness. This was a very dense jungle. The countless towering trees with endless branches intersecting each other and their leaves seemed to form a net that covered the sky. Only small gaps within the net would allow light to enter. Beams of light descend from the sky, it looked very mysterious. The ground was covered in rotten leaves and there were poisonous insects moving while avoiding the beams of light. Just at this moment, one of the towering trees released a flash of five-colored light and Wang Lin walked out of it. The moment he appeared, he immediately jumped and landed on a branch. He immediately used the heart restriction and hit his aura. Wang Lin had been honed by life and death situations, and this so-called one line to heaven was not even as danger as the demon spirit land. 1. He naturally wouldn't make the mistake of spreading out his divine sense the moment he arrived. At this moment, a divine sense swept by, and it didn't stop at Wang Lin, it continued to spread. However, a moment later, the divine sense panicked and quickly spread. But after just a few moments, the divine sense collapsed and a miserable scream came from the distance. Wang Lin's eyes lit up. Unless I'm certain I'm stronger, I can't spread out my divine sense here. Otherwise, I'll be immediately located and targeted. Wang Lin silently pondered for a bit. After he cycled his origin energy and observed his body, he was able to see some clues. It was indeed as Master Flamespark had said. The body here was exactly the same as his body, but after it died, it wouldn't impact his real body much. One line to heaven without real death would certainly allow a lot of cultivators with no real experience to go through a life and death trial. I fear this is the real purpose of the Thunder Celestial Temple, their purpose is to raise real cultivators. Wang Lin frowned and attempted to merge with the world. However, since this wasn't the real world, it had no effect. After pondering for a bit, there was a flash of smoke and he disappeared. The human, earth, and heaven trials were only tests. This one line to heaven is the real battle for the celestial titles. There is no good or evil. If I want number one, then I need to kill the most. As Wang Lin moved, there was a flash of coldness in his eyes. 
Just at this moment, another divine sense spread out and scanned the area. Wang Lin's eyes lit up and he quickly moved. He was very fast, and an instant, he saw the cultivator that was spreading out the divine sense. This person was Zhao Yidao, who had gotten interrupted twice by Wang Lin during the three trials. When he appeared, he was extremely confused by his surroundings. Following his family's teachings, he subconsciously spread out his divine sense to observe his surroundings. However, the moment his divine sense spread out, a powerful sense of crisis shrouded him. He panicked and realized he had made a big mistake. He immediately wanted to leave, but at this moment, a black mist flew by behind him. A powerful killing intent appeared and immediately devoured the escaping Zhao Yidao. A miserable scream echoed through the trees. Wang Lin stood 1,000 feet away and coldly stared at the black mist. The mist moved as if had absorbed that Zhao cultivator along with his skin and bones. A moment later, a person walked out. It was Su Ting. He licked his lips and stared at Wang Lin. As the two exchanged gazes across the 1,000 feet distance, popping sounds could be heard. Su Ting dreaded Wang Lin a lot. Unless it was the last resort, he didn't want to take the initiative to provoke Wang Lin, so he grimly said, how about we leave our battle until the end? Wang Lin coldly looked at Su Ting before turning around and disappearing in a flash. Getting the most kills was more important than killing Su Ting. Su Ting let out a sigh of relief. He then retreated into the mist and quickly went the other direction. It was as if the two had set this place as the boundary and split the area in half. Neither would enter the other's territory. Wang Lin didn't waste time to find people one by one. Instead, he simply found a large tree and sat down. Then his divine sense spread out and swept the area. The moment his divine sense spread out, more than ten people's divine senses exploded and charged toward Wang Lin. In this place, even if you don't try to kill others, they will come to kill you. Wang Lin spat out an object, it was the celestial ceiling stamp. This small object floated before Wang Lin and gave off bursts of golden light. Two out of the hundreds of thousands of the golden seals had the origin souls of cultivators sealed within them, and the power of these two seals was obviously different from the others. Wang Lin wasn't sure if these illusionary origin souls could be sealed. Wang Lin was calm as he waited for the first person looking to die to arrive. After several breaths of time, a figure shot out like lightning from the jungle to the right. However, the moment the figure came within 1,000 feet of Wang Lin, the person was startled. After seeing that the target was Wang Lin, the person's eyes were filled with terror and he chose to escape without any hesitation. From beginning to end, Wang Lin was calm. The moment the cultivator appeared, the celestial ceiling stamp charged out. It was extremely fast as it chased the escaping cultivator. As the cultivator panicked, his hands formed a seal and a spell began to appear. However, these spells had no effect on the celestial ceiling stamp. The celestial ceiling stamp instantly closed in and suddenly grew. It mercilessly pressed down and a large amount of golden runes appeared to seal off his escape. The cultivator's eyes were filled with despair as he slapped his bag of holding and hundreds of flying swords appeared. He wanted to resist, but as a thunderous rumble echoed, all the flying swords collapsed. The celestial ceiling stamp smashed down and he let out a miserable groan. As the cultivator dissipated, a golden rune flew out and flashed. A moment later, the golden rune was filled with intelligence. Wang Lin's eyes narrowed and he withdrew the celestial ceiling stamp. After carefully observing it, he slowly raised his head as he looked into the distant jungle and calmly said, How long do you all want to wait before you attack? The jungle before him was completely silent. A moment later, four people walked out from the jungle. All four of them were at the corporeal yang stage. Their auras fused together into one that could vaguely match Wang Lin's aura. The four of them looked at each other. One of their eyes became vicious, and without a word he slapped his bag. A gourd immediately flew out. His right hand formed a seal and then a red flame came out from the gourd toward Wang Lin. One, Demon Spirit Land is the place Wang Lin got sent by the All-Seer. Chapter 877, Thunder, Destroy. The three people beside him clenched their teeth. If they didn't act now, they would have no chance at survival. One of them formed a seal and then the surrounding vegetation began to grow like crazy and rushed at Wang Lin. There was another person who opened their mouth and spat out a black bead that closed in on Wang Lin. The last cultivator formed a seal and hundreds of puppets rushed out to attack Wang Lin. However, at this moment, the eyes of the cultivator that sent out the gourd lit up and he quickly retreated. However, the moment he retreated, the other three also moved. It seemed like they all had the same idea. The four people escaped in four different directions. Wang Lin's eyes lit up and the celestial ceiling stamp charged out. All the attacks collapsed under the celestial ceiling stamp that was hundreds of feet wide. It then flashed out after one of the four. There was a loud bang. After it smashed down, it charged after another. Hundreds of thousands of golden runes filled the area, but four of them were filled with intelligence. Wang Lin stared at the very special four runes among them. His eyes lit up and he came up with a bold idea. If I fuse the one billion soul soul flag and the celestial seal stamp. Wang Lin's heart skipped a beat. Rumbling sounds continued to echo, and a moment later, the celestial ceiling stamp returned. 
The amount of runes that contained intelligence increased from four to seven. Wang Lin grabbed the celestial ceiling stamp and disappeared. Shi Gong whose face was pale as he quickly moved through the forest. The moment he appeared, he was locked onto by a killing intent. If it wasn't for the fact that his reaction was fast and he quickly dodged, he would have died the moment he appeared. Nevertheless, he was still injured when he dodged. His face was pale and he quickly escaped. Behind him, the big-headed boy quickly gave chase. His foolish smile still remained on the big-headed boy's face. His smile toward Shen Gong who was cold. He raised his hand and threw a flash of purple light. The purple light quickly turned into a purple ant dozens of feet tall. This ant was extremely ferocious. After it appeared, it let out a roar and charged forward with its giant ant forceps. It was far faster than Shen Gong Hu, and it mercilessly pinched in his direction. The smile on the big-headed boy became even colder. He could already see the cultivator before him being torn in half by the profound heavenly ant he had raised. The big-headed boy muttered, Unfortunately, I can't open my bag of holding here. Otherwise, I would have just collected his origin soul and there would be no need to send out the profound heavenly ant. At this moment of crisis, Shen Gong Hu's eyes lit up and he turned around to spit out a fist-sized ball of thunder at the ant chasing him. The thunder let out a rumble as it headed toward the ant. However, the difference between their cultivation levels was too great. Just as the thunder closed in on the ant, the ant clamped it with its forceps and the ball of thunder collapsed. A thunderous roar echoed, but the ant completely ignored the impact and charged forward. Its forceps gave off a cold aura as it mercilessly clamped down on Shen Gong Hu. Shen Gong Hu let out a miserable smile. From the moment he appeared to now, it had been less than 15 minutes, and he had spent it all on survival. He hadn't managed to kill anyone yet, and he was about to forfeit the battlefield. However, just at this moment, Shen Gong Hu's eyes were filled with surprise. He felt a familiar aura suddenly close in. There was a flash of golden light and a cold voice filled the heavens and earth. Seal. The moment that word was spoken, golden runes suddenly condensed around Shen Gong Hu. With a bang, the ant's forceps pinched down on the golden runes. With a flash, the countless golden runes fused, creating a golden storm. As the storm swept by, the profound heavenly ant trembled and quickly retreated. The foolish smile on the big-headed boy immediately froze and he stared ahead. His expression became gloomy and then he retreated without hesitation. Wang Lin stepped out from the jungle behind Shen Gong Hu. The celestial ceiling stamp floated before Wang Lin and released a soft golden blow. My lord. Shen Gong Hu's face was filled with respect. Wang Lin nodded and his gaze swept the retreating big-headed boy. He coldly said, still want to run. He took a step and immediately moved hundreds of feet. The celestial ceiling stamp directly charged out. The big-headed boy's cultivation level was the same as Wang Lin's, early-stage Nirvana scryer. He had witnessed Wang Lin's rise during the three trials, so now he was extremely afraid of Wang Lin and didn't want to provoke Wang Lin needlessly. The big-headed boy's foolish smile had already disappeared and he quickly shouted, Fellow cultivator Su Mu, I'll just leave this area. Why must you aim to kill? Our cultivation levels are the same, so if we battle, you will be injured. Don't give that Su Ting a chance. Wang Lin's eyes were cold. As he stepped out, he raised his hand. A heavenly chop fused into his hand and he mercilessly chopped down. The big-headed boy's expression changed greatly. As he retreated, the profound heavenly ant let out a roar and blocked in front of the big-headed boy. The moment the heavenly chop touched the ant, the ant collapsed. The celestial ceiling stamp flashed and one of the golden runes landed on the collapsing ant. That golden rune was immediately filled with intelligence. The big-headed boy's expression became pale. As he swiftly retreated, his hand formed a seal and he shouted, Celestial spell, embrace. After he said that, a ripple spread out around him. As the ripple spread out, the surroundings began to change. Different fierce beasts began to appear, and they all let out an angry roars as they rushed at Wang Lin. Let's use you to test my power over thunder. Wang Lin's voice was like the winter wind. When it fell in the ears of the big-headed boy, the boy trembled. He remembered how Wang Lin had devoured the thunder spirit during the earth trial. He felt bitter and quickly retreated after he cast the spell. Wang Lin's eyes suddenly changed. A thunder that would cause people to tremble gathered like crazy. The thunder of the heavens and earth is all under my control. Wang Lin didn't look at the big-headed boy but up at the sky. The ancient thunder dragon origin soul flew out from between his eyebrows and let out a roar. Roar. The ancient thunder dragon's roar that allowed it to control thunder once again echoed across the world. This roar was like heaven-splitting thunder. It sent out like a shockwave that shocked all the cultivators in the battlefield. The entire battlefield began to shake as if there was an earthquake. The entire world turned upside down and the sun and moon reversed. Su Ting had just entered the black mist and was chasing a cultivator with a smile. He was about to devour the cultivator, but at this moment, he heard the roar that came from ancient times and felt the fierce vibrations of the battlefield. The black mist around him suddenly collapsed under the power of this roar. He was forced out of the mist with an aghast look as he gazed into the distance. 
As for the escaping cultivator, he coughed out a large mouthful of blood and his face turned pale. The cultivator felt like the sky had collapsed under the roar of thunder and like he was being pressed down into the ground. In the jungle, the six-fingered cultivator was hiding inside a towering tree, waiting for prey. However, at this instant, the roar of thunder echoed across the sky. He suddenly turned pale, it was as if a force had charged into his soul and forced him out of his hiding place. He looked into the distance with fear in his eyes. This. This is the roar Su Mu released in the Earth Trial. Zhang Konglai was moving within the jungle when he heard that roar. His body trembled and he immediately sat down to cultivate. A moment later, his eyes lit up. His face was filled with joy and he rushed toward the roar. At this moment, all the cultivators in the battlefield heard the terrifying roar of thunder. It was as if the sky was going to collapse. The sky suddenly changed colors as thunder appeared high in the air and gathered in the distance. The earth shook violently, as if it was doomsday. It wasn't just the battlefield. Outside, in the thunder celestial temple, the octagonal piece of wood in the air shook violently. Rays of thunder appeared and continued to move through it. Large amounts of lightning bolts appeared in the sky as if they were summoned. They all approached the piece of wood as if they were going to worship something. Master Flames Park suddenly stood up and stared at the octagonal piece of wood. His expression was gloomy and both of his hands formed a seal. Countless seals landed on the octagonal piece of wood and then the octagonal piece of wood gradually stopped shaking. At this moment, the surrounding cultivators all had various ideas about what was happening. After the roar, Wang Lin's ancient thunder dragon origin soul returned to his body. Endless lightning bolts surrounded his body. The area within 500 kilometers of him had turned into a thunder hell. As popping sounds echoed, large amounts of towering trees collapsed and burst into flames. At this moment, Wang Lin's eyes were filled with thunder and countless lightning bolts surrounded him. Wang Lin felt like he was the lord of all thunder. He raised his right hand and pointed at the big-headed boy, who was escaping and had almost lost his wit. Thunder, destroy. Thunderous roars echoed with the point of Wang Lin's finger. Then all the surrounding thunder rushed out violently at the big-headed body. If one looked at this from the air, one would see all the thunder within the area contract toward one point. That point of concentration was the big-headed boy. The thunder moved so fast that it instantly closed in. The big-headed boy's eyes revealed despair. At this moment, he had the illusion that he was facing all the thunder in the heavens. At the next moment, the thunder rushed into his body. A loud bang echoed across the entire battlefield once more. The big-headed boy's body was lit aflame and floated into the air. There were no remains of his body left. Chapter 878, The Third Eye The cultivators inside the battlefield all looked up at the slowly disappearing thunder. Their hearts were filled with fear. This is that master demon's spell. Terrifying. If you meet that person, you will die. It is impossible for me to confront him with my power. This kind of spell is unheard of and heaven-shaking. Su Ting stared dumbfoundedly at this and clenched his fist. He didn't notice that his fist was slightly trembling. In the Thunder Celestial Temple on the square, the big-headed boy suddenly opened his eyes and coughed out a large mouthful of blood. He immediately became dispirited. His expression was fierce as he suddenly stood up and looked around. He was startled and revealed terror. No. Master Flames Park shouted, sit. The big-headed boy's body was trembling, his heart was pounding, his mind was a mess. Earlier, he wanted to go all out and find Wang Lin's body for revenge. However, when he looked around, he saw that there were only 108 people. Four were missing. Could it be that in the one line to heaven, four of them didn't enter as avatars but went in with their real bodies? The big-headed boy's scalp went numb. He was secretly grateful he wasn't one of the ones that went inside with his body. His body was covered in cold sweat and he felt a wave of fear. No wonder I couldn't open my bag of holding. Only treasures with origin soul infused could be used. The big-headed boy took a deep breath and he still felt fear. In the battlefield, there was a flash of gold and a golden rune appeared. This rune had absorbed the dissipated avatar of the big-headed boy and was now filled with intelligence. Wang Lin retrieved the celestial sealing stamp. He looked at the stunned Shen Gong Hu and slapped his bag of holding. After taking out some pills, he handed them to Shen Gong Hu. Find a hidden place and focus on cultivating. Shen Gong Hu took the pills. He was about to swallow them when his eyes suddenly narrowed. He looked at Wang Lin's bag of holding and after some hesitation he said, My lord, you, can open your bag? Wang Lin was startled and his eyes became gloomy. Hundreds of thoughts flashed through his head. With his intelligence, just one sentence from Shen Gong who was able to make him understand. You can't open yours? Wang Lin gloomily looked at Shen Gong Hu. Shen Gong Hu shook his head. His divine sense went into his bag. Then he slapped his bag and there was no response. Wang Lin remained silent as he turned around and stepped into the air. Shen Gong Hu had some ideas in his head. After hesitating for a bit, he listened to Wang Lin and found a place to hide. Wang Lin traveled within the battlefield and revealed a sneer. What a good slaughter battlefield. 
There are real people among the fakes and fakes among the real. Master Flamespark's scheme really runs deep. I admire him. Excluding the 108 people outside, 4 out of 112 people came in with their real bodies. The two I killed earlier had their bags, so there is another one left beside me. I just don't know who it is. As Wang Lin moved, his divine sense spread without any restraint. If he noticed a cultivator, he would immediately rush over. Along the way, Wang Lin showed no mercy. Since this was a slaughter battlefield, if one entered, they were prepared to kill and be killed. If they died, it wasn't real death. As a result, all of the cultivators Wang Lin encountered found it difficult to escape. However, before Wang Lin attacked, he would check if the other person could open their bag of holding or not. If they couldn't, then he would attack. The same slaughter continued on the other side as well. Su Ting released the black mist once more and swept across the area as he devoured everyone in his path. In the end, a lot of cultivators that had managed to get a kill simply killed themselves. This way, they wouldn't give the kill they gained to someone else. As time slowly passed, fewer and fewer cultivators remained in the battlefield. Wang Lin was fortunate. If the other party was obedient, then Wang Lin wouldn't attack. He would just wait for when they died and seal their avatar. However, Su Ting's side was filled with violence. Even the ones that wanted to commit suicide, if they were slow, they couldn't avoid the fate of being devoured. There was night in the battlefield. When night descended, not many people remained. Wang Lin spread out his divine sense and walked toward Su Ting. Su Ting was someone he had to kill, even more so now due to the trace of source origin energy inside Su Ting. Wang Lin had already detected it, so there was no way he was going to let Su Ting go. Su Ting also spread out his divine sense and locked onto Wang Lin. Then he entered the black mist and charged toward Wang Lin. All of the cultivators in his area had died, he was the only one left. He moved faster and faster until he was like a ray of light. His killing intent continued to grow until it reached a monstrous level. Su Mu. An earth-shattering roar came from Su Ting's mouth. Wang Lin's eyes were calm as his body floated in the air and he looked at the rapidly approaching Su Ting. The black mist was covering the area behind Su Ting. Then it condensed and formed a demonic shadow. It let out a roar as it charged at Wang Lin. I hope the last person that can open their bag is him. Killing intent flashed across Wang Lin's eyes. Su Ting became even faster until he created a series of sonic booms as he charged at Wang Lin. There was a heaven-shaking bang. As Su Ting closed in, the demonic shadow opened its mouth and attempted to devour Wang Lin. The celestial ceiling stamp grew to over 1,000 feet in front of Wang Lin. Then the golden runes flew out, causing a series of rumbling sounds. The two of them began a great battle in the air. On the ground, Shen Gong Hu came out from his hiding place and stood on top of a tree. He intently watched the battle in the sky. At this moment, a hand suddenly tapped his shoulder. Shen Gong Hu was terrified as he rushed out. Just as he was about to use a spell, he heard a chuckle. Don't be nervous. In fact, when he suddenly rushed forward, you were also scared me for a moment. Nan Gong Hu smiled mischievously. He sat down next to Shen Gong Hu, looked up, and exclaimed, to be able to watch such a spectacular battle during the night is one of life's great joys. Ah. Uh. As he spoke, he slapped his bag of holding, took out a pot of wine, and took a drink. Shen Gong Hu stared at Nan Gong Han's bag of holding. He withdrew his gaze and sat down on a big tree not far away. Nan Gong Han took a big gulp and said with a depressed expression, he he, you found out. I can't help it, I was unlucky to have my actual body brought here. Fortunately, I found out early. Otherwise, if I had gone to carelessly kill like a fool and died, it wouldn't have been worth it at all. As a result, I found a place to hide and waited for it to end, then I come out when it was safe. In the distance, the six-fingered cultivator was sitting on a big tree. As he silently watched the battle in the sky, there was a flash of coldness in his eyes. The two of you are the strongest, so battle. That way, I'll have a chance. He licked his lips and sneered. Su Ting's demonic shadow and Wang Lin's celestial ceiling stamp collided, creating an earth-shattering rumble. This caused the entire battlefield to tremble. With a bang, Su Ting's body was knocked back few dozen feet. The shadow followed Su Ting. Wang Lin retreated 30 feet. His eyes were calm but filled with killing intent. As Su Ting retreated, his hands formed a seal and a large amount of origin energy gathered in his body. Then the black vortex between his brows began to rotate faster and he shouted, Snake Devour. After he spoke, the demonic shadow before him began to move and in an instant turned into a 1,000 foot long snake. The snake let out a roar and rushed at Wang Lin. Wang Lin had seen this spell before, so he knew of its power. At this moment, he raised his right hand, formed a seal, and said, Call the wind. Black wind suddenly appeared from Wang Lin's right hand and filled the heavens and earth. Two black dragons formed and they let out a fierce roar before tearing at the snake. Along with wave of cold air the two intersected and devoured each other. However Call the Wind was a celestial spell made by a celestial emperor. The snake only devoured one dragon before it let out a painful roar. 
Its body began to expand infinitely until it finally collapsed. The moment the snake's body shattered the dragon that was devoured reformed. The two dragons charged at Su Ting. Su Ting's right hand formed a seal and pointed between his eyebrows as he shouted, Mountain Spirit. The black mist erupted from behind his head and formed a thick mist before him. The mist quickly filled the heavens and earth before turning into a giant mountain. This mountain covered the sky as if it had replaced the sky. And then it smashed down toward Wang Lin like crazy. Wang Lin's expression was still calm as he stared at Su Ting, but the killing intent in his eyes became even stronger. As the black dragons rushed out, he placed his right hand between his eyebrows. At this moment, he was no longer willing to waste time with this Su Ting. Third seal, open. Wang Lin's voice was calm, but there was a trace of coldness in it. The red line between his eyebrows suddenly began to extend to both sides. The third eye opened and suddenly released a ray of unimaginably bright red light. This red light opened up like a fan and quickly spread. Due to one of the seals being released, one third of the terrifying power that was sealed by Wang Lin merged with the red light. The moment the black mountain descended, it was shrouded by the red light. It began to disintegrate layer by layer. In just half a breath of time, it turned back into black gas and disappeared. Su Ting's eyes were filled with terror and a powerful sense of crisis he had never felt before enveloped his body. He was terrified and wanted to retreat, but it was too late as the red light had landed on him. After the black mountain disintegrated, Wang Lin turned toward Su Ting. Su Ting felt his body tremble, it was as if tens of thousands of bolts of thunder had exploded in his body. Everything disappeared, but not even the thunder roar could cover his increasing heartbeat. Thump, 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 thump. His heart rate reached a limit, as if it was going to explode. All of his blood and origin energy began to cycle like crazy, almost out of his control. The black mist between his eyebrows struggled as if it wanted to leave his body. What kind of spell is this? Sweat came out from Su Ting's body and his clothes were soaked. He was inside the red light and was unable to move, as if some force was holding him down. Endless waves of panic drowned him. That power roared inside the red light and rushed into his body. He clearly felt his body disintegrate layer by layer under the red light. First it was his skin, flesh, and bones. They all collapsed as if they were returning back to their source. After that, his origin soul devolved into a nascent soul and then again into a golden core. Finally, the golden core exploded and turned back into spiritual energy. This didn't end. The spiritual energy collapsed. His entire being was being wiped from existence as he let out a desperate scream. Even the sliver of source origin energy inside his avatar was extracted and disappeared after it fused with the red light. The red light disappeared and Wang Lin revealed an extremely tired expression. In a flash, he sat down on a big tree and quickly sealed the power between his eyebrows. This strange scene caused Nan Gong Han to spit out the wine he was drinking. His eyes were filled with fear. I can't beat him. Shen Gong Hu took a deep breath and looked at Wang Lin. That red light just now caused the respected figure he saw in the Thunder Lake to reappear. While the six-fingered cultivator's eyes were filled with terror, there was also a flash of fierceness in them. He rushed out at Wang Lin. He must be injured, so this is the best chance to kill him. Once I can kill the master demon, even if this is only an illusory world, I, Zhou Xingdao, will become famous in the All Heaven Star System. The six-fingered cultivator moved like lightning while his heart pounded. A flash of blue light appeared on his sixth finger. He was too fast and closed in on Wang Lin in an instant. Shen Gong whose expression changed. He wanted to charge out, but it was too late. Nan Gong who suddenly stood up and stepped out. Just as the six-fingered cultivator closed in on Wang Lin, Wang Lin opened his eyes and revealed cold killing intent. Scram. That one word turned into endless thunder that rumbled in the sky. Countless bolts of thunder descended like crazy at the six-fingered cultivator. The expression of the six-fingered cultivator changed greatly. With just one word from Wang Lin, it was as if countless bolts of thunder had exploded in his mind. Wang Lin's prestige was too deeply engraved in his mind. He hadn't attacked yet, but his mind had already grown timid. His eyes were filled with terror, and he quickly escaped and didn't dare to attack. The thunder descended like crazy as he retreated. As the thunder rumbled, the six-fingered cultivator cursed in his heart as he struggled. However, more and more thunderbolts appeared and linked together. It looked like divine retribution. Chapter 879, Celestial Bestowment The six-fingered cultivator was terrified as the thunder continued to chase him. The rumbling echoed while he retreated. However, as he was retreating, Wang Lin stood up and took a step. The moment Wang Lin moved, thunder flashed out and caused two explosions. These two explosions were very loud and shocking. In the blink of an eye, Wang Lin caught up to the six-fingered cultivator. Two of his fingers formed a sword and he pointed forward. A bolt of thunder suddenly gathered from all directions toward the six-fingered cultivator. As the thunder descended, the six-fingered cultivator's face turned pale and he wanted to resist. However, Wang Lin's fingers absorbed all the thunder. A bolt of thunder that seemed like a bolt of thunder from ancient times shot out. 
It broke through all the spells and directly entered the body of the six-fingered cultivator. The raging thunder tore up his body and caused his origin soul to collapse. He let out a miserable groan and his origin energy leaked out. Then his entire body collapsed. The golden rune flashed and one of the golden runes fused with the six-fingered cultivator's soul. Then it became full of spirit and returned to the celestial ceiling stamp. All of this happened in an instant. The six-fingered cultivator was killed by Wang Lin at almost the same moment that he tried to sneak attack him. Wang Lin's face was a bit pale. The third eye between his eyebrows gradually closed and the red line slowly disappeared. He then turned around and stared at Nan Gong Han, who appeared 100 feet away. You want to battle with me too? Nan Gong Han's expression was serious and carefully looked at Wang Lin. A moment later, he laughed and shook his head. I can't beat you. I came because I wanted to help you take care of the person who launched the sneak attack. Wang Lin withdrew his gaze and sat down to cultivate. At this moment, clouds began to gather in the sky. Five colored light came from the clouds and the light split into three. One light landed on Wang Lin, another on Nan Gong Han, and the last on Shen Gong Hu. Shen Gong Hu's body trembled and he disappeared. Only Wang Lin and Nan Gong Han were grabbed by the five colored lights and dragged toward the sky. Wang Lin didn't lose consciousness this time. He saw a crack appear in the sky and was pulled into it. His vision blurred. When his vision recovered, he saw the cultivators on the square. Wang Lin's body flickered and he landed on the ground. Nan Gong Han landed almost at the same time he did. The 108 cultivators on the square had all awakened. Su Ting's expression was extremely gloomy as he silently stared at Wang Lin. The six-fingered cultivator also looked at Wang Lin with a malicious gaze. Master Flamespark had a smile on his face as he stood up and slowly said, My Thunder Celestial Temple bestows 108 Celestials. With that, his right hand reached toward the void. The song of the Thunder Celestial Realm suddenly began to echo. This song was very beautiful, as if it was the song of the heavens. Large amounts of clouds began to gather during the song and the celestial spiritual energy in the air became rich. It made this place look like the celestial realm. A few cranes flew and let out cries that lightened people's hearts when they heard them. If one looked from a distance, combined with the Thunder Celestial Temple, this place was no different from the real celestial realm. The surrounding cultivators all stood up along with their family's ancestors. They all had respectful expressions and formed a dense crowd. Not only them, even the old monsters on the praying mat stood up and had serious expressions. On the other edge, the messengers of the Thunder Celestial Temple all stood there with respectful expressions. At this moment, it wasn't only the Thunder Celestial Temple that was like this. The Thunder Celestial Temple had used a special method to transmit this scene to the entire All Heaven star system. The cultivators from each cultivation family on each cultivation planet all had a sound transmission stone from the Thunder Celestial Temple. Not only could the Thunder Celestial Temple sound transmission stones transmit sound, it could also transmit images of what was happening. This was given out by the Thunder Celestial Temple for free. Aside from using it for the celestial bestowment, it would also be used to mobilize for the war against the Alliance star system. At this moment, almost all of the cultivators saw the scene of the celestial bestowment on the images displayed by the sound transmission stones. The Thunder Celestial Temple was located at the center of the All Heaven star system. At this moment, a killing aura began to appear from the four domains around the Thunder Celestial Temple. On the east side, cultivators began to gather. They formed a dense crowd of at least 10,000. These cultivators were all wearing different clothes, they were obviously from different cultivation families. At this moment, they all silently looked ahead. There was a person covered by red armor standing before them. His white hair flowed behind him and his face was expressionless as he held the sound transmission stone. The scene at the Thunder Celestial Temple was being transmitted from the sound transmission stone. The South was the same. 10,000 cultivators sat in space with an old man leading them while they all stared at the stars. The West and North sides also had armies of cultivators like this. At this moment, the celestial bestowment at the Thunder Celestial Temple was being watched by all. In the Thunder Celestial Temple, a crane flew over with a piece of yellow scroll in its mouth. It circled around Master Flamespark before the yellow scroll fell from its mouth and was caught by Master Flamespark. He shook the scroll and it opened up before him. This scroll gave off rich celestial spiritual energy. It was obvious that it was a celestial treasure. There is a total of 110 remaining. Originally, two of you would be disqualified, but after the arduous test, the heavens will give you all a chance. The strongest two will be the Thunder Celestial and Vice Thunder Celestial. The remaining 108 people will be divided into 36 Heaven Celestials and 72 Earth Celestials. Master Flamespark paused here. His gaze swept past the cultivators before him and he shouted, Sumu, come forward. Wang Lin's eyes narrowed. He then flew up and clasped his hands. Present. Master Flamespark's expression was serious as he said, You were ranked first in the Human, Earth, and Heaven Trials and one line to Heaven. Sumu, I bestow upon you title of Thunder Celestial. You will lead an army of 3,000 as the vanguard in the attack on the Alliance star system. 
As Master Flamespark spoke, his right hand reached into the void and a golden celestial brush appeared. He waved the pen and wrote the first line on the yellow scroll. Authentic Thunder Celestial, Su Mu. Just as he finished writing those words, there was a flash of gold light and a roar came from inside the scroll. The words flew out from the yellow scroll and fused together to form a tiger made of thunder. This tiger was 100 feet tall. When it appeared, it let out a roar and rushed at Wang Lin. It stopped 10 feet from Wang Lin and shrank until it became a 3-inch tall flag. The image of the tiger flickered on the flag. I give you the Celestial Treasure Heaven Tiger Flag. With this, you can command 3,000 All Heaven Star System cultivators and form your own force. Master Flamespark's words rumbled as it spread in all directions. Wang Lin took the Heaven Tinger Flag. He took a deep breath and clasped his hands. Order received. At this moment, Wang Lin's appearance was clearly seen by all the cultivators of the All Heaven Star System. A storm went off in the All Heaven Star System. He is Su Mu. Master Demon Su Mu, Thunder Celestial. This person went beyond the 108 Celestial. His cultivation must be amazing, and he is not one to be trifled with. On planet Ran Yun, a beautiful woman looked up at the celestial bestowment showing in the sky. Originally, she didn't care and was about to withdraw her gaze. However, at this moment, she was startled. When she laid eyes on Wang Lin, she fell into a trance. That person was very familiar, as if she had seen him somewhere before. Not only her, but all the cultivators on planet Ran Yun were staring at the sky. Monstrous waves were set off in all their hearts when they looked at Wang Lin. They couldn't settle down for a long time. On planet Qingling, many cultivators looked up at the sky. However, at this moment, all the elders of the families exclaimed. Ancestor. On top of Hanyun Peak, Xia Qing awakened from his trance. He looked at the sky and his eyes became filled with excitement. He muttered, Master. On a remote cultivation planet, Yao Bingyun was sitting on the highest iceberg. She lifted her head and looked up at the sky. Her eyes revealed a very complex look. I didn't expect him to become the Thunder Celestial. In the northern domain, on a semi-wasted cultivation planet, a foul smell had appeared from it in recent years. Although the cultivators searched for it, they couldn't find the source. At this moment, within a valley on this planet, Greed looked up at the sky and revealed a vicious gaze. He actually achieved such high prestige in the All Heaven Star System. At this moment, all the cultivators in the All Heaven Star System that knew Wang Lin looked up at the sky. There was shock in all their eyes. In the Thunder Celestial Temple, Master Flamespark shouted, Su Ting, come forward. Su Ting took a deep breath, then he quickly went up and stood there respectfully. I bestow upon you the title of Vice Thunder Celestial and a 2000 Cultivator Army. You will be the second vanguard. Although Su Ting was unwilling in his heart, he had to yield. After pondering for a moment, he respectfully said, Order received. After that, Master Flamespark continued calling out. The 108 Celestial titles were all successfully given. Each Cultivator obtained a flag and became a Celestial. Thunder Celestial, Vice Thunder Celestial, 36 Heaven Celestials, and 72 Earth Celestials, enter the Celestial Pool. Master Flamespark waved his sleeves and the yellow scroll disappeared. Then the clouds turned and condensed to form a pool that slowly descended from the sky. There was blue water inside the pool that gave off an aura that shook one's mind. Enter the Celestial Pool to allow your domain to melt and allow you to form your Celestial Origin. Then you will become a true Celestial. Master Flamespark's voice echoed across the heavens and earth. Chapter 880, One Air. Celestials didn't cultivate domains. True Celestials had no sentiments. Wang Lin knew this. Ripples appeared from the center of the celestial pool and celestial spiritual energy began to spread. The surrounding cultivators all silently pondered the pros and cons. To enter or not to enter became a difficult choice for them. Master Flamespark didn't force them but calmly looked at the juniors before him. Not only him, all the surrounding observers and the messengers of the Thunder Celestial Temple carefully watched. All the cultivators in the All Heaven Star System also watched intently. It was as if the entire All Heaven Star System had become silent. All the cultivators became quiet. This was a difficult choice. No one could say which was right and which was wrong. It could only be said that these were two different roads. One was the road of the Celestials and the other was the road of cultivators. No one could clearly say which was stronger until the end. In ancient times, ancient cultivators wished to become immortal. For them, entering the Celestial Pool was a great honor. Their origin energy would change into celestial origin. This was the final goal of cultivators from ancient times. Without the cultivation of domain, there was nothing to comprehend. All increases in cultivation level would rely on heavenly treasures, celestial cultivation, and celestial pills. After the collapse of the celestial realm, cultivators no longer tried to become celestials, because the celestial realm no longer existed. Instead, their paths were Tao. Because cultivating Tao allowed them to gain enlightenment. The key to cultivating Tao was comprehension. Comprehend the heavens, either to obey it or defy it. 
If there was no comprehension, then it would be very difficult to increase one's cultivation level. At this moment, what was placed before Wang Lin and these cultivators were two roads. One was to choose the ancient path and the other was to choose the present path. Qing Shui calmly looked at Wang Lin. He hoped Wang Lin would enter the celestial pool and give up Dao. He wanted Wang Lin to become a real celestial and become a true disciple of his master, Bai Fan. Su Ting pondered for a bit and looked at Wang Lin. He clenched his teeth and walked toward the celestial pool. He had been arrogant throughout his entire life, and among his peers, no was worthy in his eyes. After he left planet Dong Lin, no one had been his match. However, during the Thunder Celestial Temple Celestial Competition, he was repeatedly beaten by Wang Lin. Then, in the one line to heaven, he was killed. He was unable to accept this. Su Ting had a trace of admiration toward Wang Lin. However, the admiration was insignificant compared to his unwillingness. If this continued, he knew that it would be difficult for him to surpass Wang Lin. He had to take another road and take a qualitative leap. Therefore, he resolutely abandoned his domain and chose the path of a celestial. After entering the celestial pool, Su Ting felt an unbearable pain coming from his body. The water seemed to boil and drill into his body. Large drops of sweat appeared on his forehead. His pain was almost enough to make him faint. It was as if there was a knife carving his flesh. This domain that he had cultivated for thousands of years was being absorbed by it. Large amounts of celestial spiritual energy entered his body infused with his origin energy, forming a never-before-seen energy that filled his body. Only seven minutes later, Su Ting let out a roar and his hair moved without any wind. Popping sounds came from his body and a very powerful celestial aura exploded from him. His current strength was one step stronger than before. Su Ting's eyes were like lightning and a very comfortable feeling filled his body. He held up his fist as if he controlled the power of the heavens and earth. The celestial spells he knew flashed through his head. In his heart, he felt like he could use them at any time and have full control. Su Mu, one day we will battle again. Su Ting walked out of the celestial pool. His eyes shined as he looked at Wang Lin and then withdrew his gaze. Su Ting's performance immediately set the minds of the indecisive cultivators. After him, cultivators walked into the pool one by one. They let out miserable screams before their cultivation levels increased explosively. Dense celestial spiritual energy came from their bodies as they slowly walked out from the celestial pool. Everyone that walked out was filled with joy. The feeling of power and complete control over their celestial spells made them feel no regret choosing this path. Wang Lin calmly looked at the celestial pool. His heart felt very complex. He had seen the third step, and in the celestial realm, he saw Celestial Emperor Bai Fan going crazy while pointing at the sky. All of this was filled with mystery. Cultivating as a celestial wasn't simple. He couldn't determine whether this path was right or wrong, but he wasn't willing to choose. In addition, the most important fact was that when the celestial pool appeared, none of the old monsters even looked at it. This made Wang Lin even more determined about his choice. Out of the Thunder Celestial, Vice Thunder Celestial, and 36 Heaven Celestials, a total of 17 people chose to enter the Celestial Pool. In addition to Wang Lin, Nan Gong Han, Shen Gong Hu, and Zhang Kong Lai, along with a dozen or so other people, chose not to enter. This is your own choice. Don't regret it in the future. Master Flamespark's eyes swept the crowd. He raised his right hand and pointed forward. There was a rumbling sound as the Celestial Pool floated into the sky and disappeared. Please, the Celestial Bestowment Stone. Master Flamespark's shout was extremely respectful. After he spoke, the clouds began to move. The clouds turned into cloud dragons and began circling the area. Waves of shocking pressure descended from the sky and enveloped the area. All of the cultivators in the All Heaven Star System stared intently at all of this. A moment later, one of the cloud dragons flew down from the sky and spat out a stone. This stone was only five feet long, but when it fell, it made the entire Thunder Celestial Temple tremble unceasingly. Powerful celestial spiritual energy swept the area and began to spread like crazy. Thunder Celestial, Vice Thunder Celestial, and 36 Heaven Celestials, I give you the chance to carve your name on the stone. Su Ting's eyes lit up and he stepped out. He arrived next to the stone, and when he looked at it, he was shocked. Countless names were engraved on the Celestial Bestowment Stone. Each of the names gave off a powerful aura, and there were even many names of illustrious people in the All Heaven Star System. This made his urge to engrave his name on it even stronger. He raised his right hand, searched for a spot, and engraved his name. At this moment, there was a flash green light. A powerful force entered Su Ting's body and pushed him back. Su Ting sneered and the celestial origin energy inside his body surged. The black mist appeared between his eyebrows and entered his finger. He mercilessly carved on the celestial bestowment stone. He was barely able to engrave his own name. After he finished, his body felt like it was going to collapse. He retreated few steps and his face was pale. Wang Lin looked at Su Ting. The reason why Su Ting was tired was because a small portion of Su Ting's origin soul had split off and was absorbed by the stone. Wang Lin immediately became vigilant. Master Flamespark nodded. 
Anyone who could carve their name on the stone had to have shocking cultivation. He was very satisfied with Su Ting. This person would definitely shine in the battle against the Alliance star system. After Su Ting, the 36 Heaven Celestials all came forward. However, aside from Nan Gong Han, the six-fingered cultivator, and the big-headed boy, no one else could carve their name on the stone. Wang Lin was the last person. His eyes were calm as he slowly walked toward the Celestial Best Women's Stone. He looked at the names on the stone and silently pondered. Wang Lin was naturally cautious. There were many reasons why he didn't enter the Celestial Pool. Now this Celestial Bestowment Stone made him ponder even more. His pondering made the surrounding cultivators' gazes gather. Wang Lin had been very eye-catching in the Celestial Title Competition. When he chose to not enter the Celestial Pool, it set off a wave of discussion. Now that he was pondering before the stone, it caused the surrounding cultivators to make their own guesses. Not only them, but everyone in the All Heaven Star System who saw the stone became focused and watched carefully. They wanted to know if this Su Mu would give up. If he didn't give up, would he be able to engrave his name on it? Though almost none of them knew the legend or origin of the Celestial Bestowment Stone. As he pondered, Wang Lin's eyes lit up. His right hand lifted and his index finger pressed down. A powerful force came from within the stone and bounced his right hand away. After frowning a bit, origin energy cycled through his body and his finger pressed down once more. This time the rebound force was even stronger. However, origin energy surged into his finger to resist this force. As a result, as Wang Lin moved his finger, the rebound force became even stronger. In the end, there were popping sounds, as if the stone was about to collapse. Bursts of harsh light came from the stone. When Wang Lin finished the last stroke, he felt a portion of his origin soul split off and move toward his fight finger. However, just as his origin soul was about to fuse with the stone, Wang Lin suddenly raised his head. Borrowing the force from the stone, he retreated a few steps and was able to stop the process. Master Flamespark's eyes narrowed and he meaningfully looked at Wang Lin. He naturally saw that Wang Lin's origin soul hadn't fused with the stone. Even the name engraved wasn't Wang Lin or Su Mu, but Master Demon. This Su Mu is indeed worthy of being someone from the Alliance star system. He isn't greedy and remains cautious instead. Master Flamespark withdrew his gaze. Now this is the last reward to the Thunder Celestial, Vice Thunder Celestial, and 36 Heaven Celestials. The 38 of you can each make a request. The Thunder Celestial Temple, the Xiong family, and the Gong Sun family will do our best to help you. However, if anyone deliberately makes a difficult request, their reward will be cancelled. Wang Lin's mind trembled greatly. He took a deep breath and forcibly calmed down his rapidly beating heart. His eyes shined like never before. The reason he came here to participate in the Celestial Bestowment was for this last reward. Wan Air Chapter 881, I Agree Wang Lin didn't display this violent shift in emotion. His eyes gradually calmed, but behind this calmness was a flame that was burning brightly. He wasn't the first to step forward, he waited for others to state their requests before he slowly walked forward. He clasped his hands at Master Flamespark and respectfully said, Junior has a request. Master Flamespark looked at Wang Lin and calmly said, Su Mu, speak your request. Junior's request is for a broken nascent soul to reform flesh and awaken. As Wang Lin spoke, there was no change in his voice. However, his heart pounded as if it was going to burst out of his chest. Oh! Master Flamespark's eyes narrowed. He pondered a bit before looking at old man Xiang and saying, this request isn't difficult. Since ancient times, the Xiang family has had a spell that is said to be very magical. It should be able to meet your requirements. How about it, fellow cultivator Xiang? Old man Xiang faintly smiled. He admired Wang Lin a lot. He smiled and said, Su Mu, I presume the nascent soul you speak of had their body destroyed and suffered serious injuries. This caused them to go into sleep. This shouldn't be difficult. Take out the nascent soul and let this old man examine it first. Wang Lin silently pondered. Li Muan was very important to him and was irreplaceable. She was also someone he had to protect, and at this moment, he hesitated. He raised his right hand and touched his bag of holding. A small ball of light immediately flew out. In the first three days at the Thunder Celestial Temple, Wang Lin had already taken out Li Muan's nascent soul from the heaven-defying bead when no one was around. He had sealed her with the annihilation restriction so her nascent soul wouldn't dissipate. All of it was for this moment. Holding the ball of light with his right hand, Wang Lin's left hand touched it. The ball of light opened up like a flower, revealing the nascent soul cultivating inside. This nascent soul was Li Muan. Her face was pale and she was sitting in the lotus position. Her whole body gave off a sense of weakness, as if she would dissipate completely if the wind blew on her. There was a layer of light on her body. This made Li Muan look very holy. She looked like a celestial that had descended from the heavens and landed in Wang Lin's hand. Although she was asleep and never awake, people were still able to feel Li Muan's gentleness and kindness. Her appearance was very beautiful. Even though she wasn't as stunning as Lu Mei or as bright as Red Butterfly, in Wang Lin's heart, what did those things count for? 
Back then, Lin Yuan aged rapidly in his arms. Everything turned to ash and disappeared. Only one thing echoed inside Wang Lin's heart. Even if the heavens want you to die, I'll take you back. For this sentence, Wang Lin came to the All Heaven Star System. For this sentence, he stood before the Thunder Celestial Temple. When Wang Lin took out Li Muan's nascent soul, Shi Zifeng, who had her eye locked onto Wang Lin, almost collapsed. Her face was pale, her body trembled, and she felt her heart shatter. So it turns out. He went through all these tests for this woman. Tears came out from Shi Zifeng's eyes. As she looked at the nascent soul in his hand, her heart ached and she felt bitterness in her heart. To have her lover do all of this, although her nascent soul is damaged and asleep, this is happiness. Qing Shui looked at Wang Lin and the nascent soul in Wang Lin's palm before a hint of melancholy appeared in his eyes. Many years ago, he also had a woman he would guard with his life. It was just. Qing Shui's eyes revealed agony. When old man Xiang looked at Li Muan's nascent soul, his smile froze. As he looked at Li Muan's nascent soul, he slowly frowned and asked, how long has this nascent soul slept for? Wang Lin took a deep breath. At this moment, his determination from his 1,000 years of cultivation was extremely fragile. Suppressing his trembling mind, he softly said, nearly 700 years. Old man Xiang nodded slightly and said, it looks like you spent a lot of effort to preserve this nascent soul for 700 years. However, 700 years is too long. How can a nascent soul cultivator survive for 700 years? Not to mention the fact that she has lost her flesh and only her nascent soul remains. And above all else, this nascent soul is slowly dying. Su Mu, change your request. Old man Xiang sighed. He wanted to help this Su Mu, so he gave him a chance to change his request. Old man Xiang's voice was like a sharp needle that mercilessly stabbed Wang Lin's heart. This kind of pain felt as if the world before him had collapsed. There was only desolation and nothing remained. This pain caused Wang Lin's will to live to fade. Those words echoed in his mind again and again like thunder. Is there really no way? Wang Lin's eyes were filled with extreme sadness as he looked at Li Muan. Old man Xiang let out a long sigh. He took another careful look at Li Muan's nascent soul and shook his head. If this old man's guess isn't wrong, she died due to her lifespan being up and you used a special method to extract her nascent soul and then nourished it. However, just as the nourishment was about to succeed, an accident happened at the key moment. This made it so her nascent soul couldn't withstand it. Although you saved her, the truth is that she is already on the verge of death. I can't help you with my strength. She is someone who should have died already. Forcibly making her stay is a painful matter for you and her. The only thing I can do is help you send her to the reincarnation cycle. Wang Lin's body flickered and he retreated a few steps. His face was pale and he coughed out blood and revealed a miserable smile. He looked at Li Muan's nascent soul in his hand. His memories of Li Muan flashed before his eyes. The feeling of his heart aching filled his body. This pain pierced his bones and shredded his heart. Two streams of tears came from Wang Lin's eyes. In his lifetime, the amount of time he shed tears could be counted with one hand. Looking at Li Muan, an unyielding flame ignited inside Wang Lin's heart. Even if the heavens want you to die, I'll take you back. Wan Er, this is my commitment to you. Wang Lin raised his right hand and grabbed Li Muan's nascent soul. The seal immediately shrank and formed a small ball once more. Old man Xiang silently pondered. After a long time, he suddenly said, it isn't that there is absolutely no method. Wang Lin's body trembled as if tens of thousands bolts of thunder had exploded in his body. At this moment, all of his energy focused in his eyes as he looked at old man Xiang. However, the price for this method is too great. The key to why this woman can't survive is that her lifespan is up. If you can expend her lifespan, there might be a chance. This spell is called the Qi Shi spell. However, I am unable to use it, only the ancient ancestor that is in closed door cultivation can use it. Su Mu, I have to warn you that to use the Qi Shi spell requires the life force of someone very close to this woman. This is the only way for there to be no rejection. However, the person who's giving life will have their longevity reduced. This kind of reduction isn't equal. You must give up 90% of your life for only a sliver of a chance of this woman recovering. However, this is only a sliver of a chance. If it doesn't succeed, your lifespan won't recover. Please think about it carefully. If you agree, I can take your request to the ancestor once. The surroundings were completely silent. The Xiang family ancestor's voice echoed across the heavens and earth and fell on everyone's ears. At this moment, all the cultivators in the All Heaven Star system heard his words. For a sliver of a chance for this woman to revive, he would have to give up most of his lifespan. Was this worth it or not? This question troubled the heart of every cultivator that heard it. Old man Xiang really admired Wang Lin. He had no selfish goal or malicious intent when he said this before every cultivator in the All Heaven Star system. Wang Lin looked at the restriction ball in his hand. His gaze seemed to be able to penetrate it as he looked at Li Muan and slowly said, I agree. His voice was a bit hoarse. His gaze seemed to pierce the restriction ball and fell on Li Muan. A sense of sadness filled the area. 
Li Muin seemed to have heard his voice, and her body trembled gently and she tried to open her eyes. However, she had no strength, she only felt endless fatigue and sadness. Wang Lin knew that lifespan came from vitality. The stronger the vitality, the longer the lifespan. When a cultivator's cultivation level increases, their vitality increases. This was why powerful cultivators had long lives. Old Man Xiang nodded and said, Since you agree, once the celestial bestowment is complete, follow me to planet Dong Lin. The reminiscence remained in Qing Shui's eyes. There was a hint of melancholy as he gently said, Su Mu, I'll go with you. Wang Lin looked at Qing Shui and his eyes revealed gratitude. He nodded. He knew that Qing Shui was worried about something happening to him at planet Dong Lin. Qing Shui decided to accompany him to ensure this matter proceeded smoothly. After this, the remaining people all made their requests. What was worth mentioning was that both Su Ting and Nan Gong Han made the same request. They requested to enter the treasure pavilion to learn celestial spells. After everyone obtained their rewards, the celestial bestowment ended. The moment it ended, Master Flamespark's laughter echoed. He floated above his praying mat and waved his sleeve. His eyes shined and he shouted, Fellow cultivators, help me open up the passage to the Alliance star system. The war is about to begin. Chapter 882, Spatial Barrier, Open. Master Flamespark floated in the air as both his hand formed a seal and bursts of black light came out from his forehead. After these black lights appeared, they quickly grew into fragments of a continent. Dozens of celestial fragments instantly covered the sky and created an unimaginable pressure. This made every cultivator at the Thunder Celestial Temple activate their cultivation to resist the pressure. At first glance, it looked like the sky was divided. Rays of light came through from the gap in the intersection of the fragments. When all the cultivators in the Alheaven star system saw this, their minds trembled and their blood began to boil. Master Flamespark's eyes revealed hatred he had been hiding for tens of thousands of years. He took a deep breath and opened his arm. As the fragments rotated, rumbling sounds came from the sky. This sound was extremely intense and caused the world to change colors. Countless fragments covered the sky. At this moment, as Master Flamespark's arms moved, they began to rotate slowly. They were slow at first and gradually became faster. The whistling sound suddenly began to spread farther and farther. It penetrated the Thunder Celestial Temple until the surrounding regions could all hear it. As these fragments rotated around a center, a vortex appeared in the sky. This vortex was very powerful and formed a storm. As the rumbling and whistling sounds continued, it created an earth-shaking scene. The clouds in the sky disappeared like crazy. The starry sky appeared as if it was being ripped open by a pair of giant hands. The vortex formed by the giant hands was extremely bright in the starry sky. The vortex expanded until it covered the entire sky above the Thunder Celestial Temple. This vortex contained an unimaginable power. This power would instantly kill a Nirvana Scryer cultivator. Even Nirvana Cleanser cultivators wouldn't be able to last long in there. As time passed, this power became even stronger and continued to gather within the depths of the vortex. Earth-shattering popping sounds continued to echo from inside the vortex. This sound was like the heartbeats of the cultivators. Every time this sound appeared, it would shake the minds of the cultivators here as if a giant hammer was pounding on their chests. They weren't the only ones. Almost all the cultivators in the All Heaven Star system could vaguely hear his sound. Every time this sound echoed, countless ripples would appear in the sky and spread endlessly. As the vortex grew bigger and bigger, the sounds coming from the vortex became unimaginably loud. This could be compared to thunder. This powerful sound was this extreme power hitting the spatial barrier. Master Flamespark's white hair flowed and he shouted, Fellow cultivators, help me. The eyes of the old monsters on the praying mats all shined brightly, including blood gods. They all flew into the air and sat down before displaying their various spells. These spells entered the vortex, causing its power to increase several fold. The popping sounds became even more intense and the rotational force had reached its limit. The force was like a sharp drill that constantly stabbed at the void, trying to break through. Master Flamespark's hands formed a seal and he shouted, Power of the Thunder Realm. Thunder beasts appeared from the dozens of fragments. They let out roars before turning into bolts of thunder and charging at the center of the vortex. Boom! The sky trembled and the vortex expanded as it continued to rotate. A cold aura came from the vortex. The surrounding old monsters all formed seals. Li Yunzi's eyes lit up and he rushed out. His right hand gave off a white light as he charged directly into the vortex. There was a loud bang that sounded like a mirror shattering. Li Yunzi's body trembled, his face turned pale, and he retreated. The Shengong family ancestor stepped out. He slapped his forehead and a small flag flew out. There was a flash of light as it flew into the vortex. The sound of mirror shattering echoed once more. Blood God was covered in a blood light and rushed out into vortex with his fist before him. This punch gave off a harsh red glow and pierced into the vortex. The Xian family ancestor and the man named Gongsun stepped forth. After that, various old monsters all attacked. For a while, the vortex began to expand even more and the sounds of explosions were endless. 
In the end, Master Flamespark bit the tip of his tongue and spat out Essence blood. The blood turned into a blood mist and fused with the world. Master Flamespark's eyes were red as he shouted, Land of the Celestial Realm, open the heavens and split the earth. Various illusory figures appeared above the dozens of fragments that were creating the giant vortex. These illusory figures were the souls sealed inside the fragments by Master Flamespark. After they appeared, they immediately entered the vortex and fused. At this moment, an unimaginable power appeared. What's most frightening about it was that there was a trace of G Realm within that power. This trace of G Realm came from Celestial Lord Qing Shui. The red lightning containing the power of the G Realm stabbed into the depths of the vortex with the support of this unimaginable power. Boom! The entire Thunder Celestial Temple trembled, the sky changed colors, and the clouds were blown away. All the cultivators in the All Heaven Star System saw a scene the sound transmission stones that they would never forget in their lives. The vortex in the sky suddenly trembled and a small crack was torn open by force. Just as the crack appeared, it quickly spread, and in an instant it was over 100 feet wide. It was like a scar that would make your heart tremble. Black whirlwinds moved around the edges of the crack. It took so much effort to open a crack in the spatial barrier to the Alliance star system, so how could Master Flames Park allow it to close? He had waited too long for this day. His eyes were bloodshot and his face revealed a ferocious expression. His right hand formed a seal as he pointed at the sky and shouted, Hold the heavens! Inside the vortex, one of the fragments suddenly shrank and instantly closed in on the crack. Then the fragment immediately grew. There was a loud rumble as the crack was forced to remain open by the fragment. However, the spatial barrier crack had a power no cultivator could resist. The fragment was immediately crushed and it collapsed. However, its collapse managed to stall the closing of the crack enough. Even more fragments went into the crack to prevent it from closing, and in the end the crack was slowly losing its ability to repair itself. As more fragments rushed in, the crack was mercilessly torn open and widened a lot. It widened by 1,000 feet. At this moment, the cultivators at the Thunder Celestial Temple were all in high spirits. Not only them, but all the cultivators in the All Heaven Star System saw this, and killing intent filled the All Heaven Star System. Outside the Thunder Celestial Temple, the armies on all four sides looked up and stared at the crack above them. An aura that didn't belong to the All Heaven Star System and Wen Wang Lin was very familiar with came from the crack. This aura was the aura of the Alliance Star System. Bright stars that Wang Lin was very familiar with appeared in the crack. However, just at this moment, a roar suddenly came from the crack. This roar was very strong and formed a shockwave. It was like a roar from ancient times. A huge hand came out from the crack and grabbed one of the fragments. It ruthlessly squeezed and the fragment shattered. It's not an ancient god. Wang Lin's eyes narrowed. He didn't feel the aura of an ancient god from that giant hand. That giant hand didn't stop. It reached out and quickly moved and was about to close this 1,000-foot crack. However, just at this moment, a vague figure silently appeared outside the crack. This figure was extremely strange when it appeared, it was as if it had forced itself into existence before everyone's eyes. When Wang Lin saw this figure, his mind trembled. His pupils suddenly shrank. There was a flash of coldness in Qing Shui's eyes. The blurred figure that appeared was the person that stopped the battle between Qing Shui and Blood God. He appeared in a strange manner and mercilessly pointed at the giant hand. A powerful surge of source origin energy shot out. When Wang Lin saw this, he felt terror in his mind. It was as if everything in the world was frozen and that finger was the only thing that remained moving. The finger landed on the giant arm coming out from the crack. The giant arm immediately collapsed and turned back into source origin energy. Thou has opened the spatial barrier and violated the law of the ancient celestial realm. A mighty voice came from the crack. It became more and more distant until it eventually disappeared. This old man wants to see if the ancient celestial realm really exists or not, a phantom voice said. It was calm, but it contained the might of a supreme ruler. The Alliance Star System. Wang Lin looked at the familiar starry sky on the other side of the crack and silently pondered. He had left planet Suzaku a very long time ago. Chapter 883, Planet Dong Lin. The moment the passage to the Alliance Star System was opened, the crack was suddenly ripped open. It quickly expanded across the starry sky. At this moment, all the cultivators in the All Heaven Star System looked closely. Greedy gazes came from every single cultivation planet in the All Heaven Star System. It was as if those gazes could pierce the sound transmission stones and directly enter the Alliance Star System. The battle between the All Heaven Star System and the Alliance Star System begins. Master Flamespark smiled as his cry echoed across the All Heaven Star System. Master Flamespark's voice suddenly echoed, the great cultivation army of the East, South, West, and North, slaughter your way into the Alliance Star System. In three days, take three cultivation planets for our All Heaven Star System to use as bases. As his voice echoed, the army of 10,000 cultivators on the eastern side of the Thunder Celestial Temple quietly looked up. Under the command of the man in armor, all of them charged toward the crack like meteors. They were filled with killing intent as they charged into the Alliance Star System. 
There were also 10,000 cultivators on the northern side that made their move. The armies in the west and the south sides follow suit. The sky was covered in sword energy as the cultivators slaughter their way into the Alliance star system. Thunder Celestial, Vice Thunder Celestial, and 108 Celestials. All of you, take your own command flags and enter the Alliance star system. Inside the Thunder Celestial Temple, the 108 Celestials immediately charged toward the crack in the sky like thunder. A powerful killing intent quickly filled the area. Kill. No one knew who shouted, but it caused the battle intent of the surrounding cultivators to reach a peak. All Heaven Star System, open the large transfer array. As Master Flame Spark shouted, the sound transmission stones on all the cultivation planets collapsed, forming a large transfer array. One by one, cultivators walked into the transfer array under the leaders of their ancestors. When they reappeared, they were next to the crack to the Alliance Star System. The moment they appeared, they immediately charged into the crack. Their eyes were filled with greed. As more and more cultivators entered the Alliance Star System, a catastrophe slowly began. As Master Flame Spark smiled, he stepped into the crack and arrived in the Alliance Star System. The moment he arrived, his face revealed a monstrous hatred. Zhong Xuanzi, this old man is back. A 10,000-foot crack appeared in the western side of the Alliance Star System and emitted endless chill. Countless cultivators charged out of it and filled the sky. This was a battle between two star systems, there was no difference between good or evil. In the distance, a cultivation army was passing through. They had just received the approval to become a rank 6 cultivation country. They were about to head to their designated cultivation planet to establish their cultivation country. The scene before them caused the expressions of the Alliance star system cultivators to change greatly. The leader was a middle-aged man. His expression was gloomy and as he shouted without any hesitation, scatter. Everyone, retreat back to planet Xian Ting on your own. Then he quickly retreated. The expressions of Alliance cultivators all changed, but while their eyes were gloomy, there weren't any traces of panic in them. This was the fundamental difference between the Alliance and all heaven cultivators. In the Alliance star system, slaughter was too ordinary. Those that could survive until now had all been through a lot. None of them weren't as sly as a fox and extremely cunning. At this moment, while their eyes were gloomy, they were also calm. Without the need for the middle-aged man's command, they had all long stopped and quickly spread out. Each cultivator escaped on their own without a care of the other's survival. There were even some cultivators whose eyes lit up as they escaped. They hoped to lure some pursuers and kill them for their treasures. All kinds of insidious plans flashed through their heads. The All Heaven cultivators hadn't been organized yet. Some of them noticed this and quickly chased after the Alliance cultivators. One of the All Heaven cultivators quickly used a spell while chasing, causing an escaping Alliance cultivator to cough out a large mouthful of blood. The Alliance cultivator became dispirited, even his speed slowed and his eyes were filled with despair. As the All Heaven cultivator laughed, he took a step forward and closed in on the Alliance cultivator. However, the moment he closed in, the despair disappeared from the Alliance cultivator's eyes. Instead, the Alliance cultivator sneered and retaliated. After popping sounds were heard, a miserable groan echoed. In the end, it was the Alliance cultivator quickly flying off into the distance with a bag in his hand. Behind him, the All Heaven cultivator's body collapsed and dissipated. This scene repeated with the other pursuers as well. Wang Lin looked at the cultivators entering the crack, but he didn't move. Old Man Xiang looked up at the crack and revealed a cold gaze. His body flickered and landed on the square and he said to Wang Lin, Su Mu, follow me. With the way you are, I presume you won't want to participate in the first wave. As he spoke, a cloud appeared under his feet and he flew off into the distance. Wang Lin's eyes were calm. This was true even without the matter with Li Muan. He wouldn't be the first to enter. In this battle between two star systems, he had to remain cautious. When he looked back at Qing Shui, Qing Shui stood up and arrived next to Wang Lin. He took Wang Lin and followed after old man Xiang. When Li Yunzi saw this, he hesitated for a bit. Then his gaze returned to the crack above. Old man Xiang's cultivation was powerful, so obviously he was fast. In a few steps, he left the Thunder Celestial Temple and headed toward the Eastern Domain. Qing Shui casually followed behind. There were black wines around Wang Lin, so he wasn't slow at all. On the way, old man Xiang didn't speak at all. It was only after several days when they closed in on planet Dong Lin that he opened his mouth. Su Mu, it isn't easy for you to reach your current cultivation level. You have to make sure this is all worth it. Moreover, I'm not fully confident that my ancestor will help you, so you should be prepared. Wang Lin calmly said, Junior understands. When old man Xiang heard this, he no longer spoke. Planet Dong Lin was a very mysterious existence in the All Heaven Star System. This planet was not at a fixed location and constantly moved. As old man Xiang flew, he would take out a red jade sometimes as if he was looking for something. On this day under the guidance of old man Xiang, Wang Lin saw an extremely eye-catching cultivation planet in the distance. This planet was very large, even a bit larger than planet Tianyun. There were many large holes on the planet and it was a dark yellow color. 
Looking from afar, a powerful aura suddenly pressed toward him. This was Plant Donglin. There were dozens of smaller cultivation planets slowly rotating around it. Occasionally, flashes of restriction light came from Planet Donglin. It was clear that there were extremely powerful restrictions there. If one entered without a method to break through, they would without a doubt die. Old Man Xiang's right hand formed a seal and pointed. One of the smaller planets around Planet Donglin left its axis and flew toward Old Man Xiang. When it closed in, there was a flash of light and a transfer array formed. Celestial Lord Qing Shui, Su Mu, follow me. As he spoke, he stepped into the transfer array. Qing Shui entered along with Wang Lin. The moment the three entered the transfer array, there was a flash of light and the three of them disappeared. When they reappeared, they were on planet Donglin. A gentle breeze revealed the smell of blood. The entire planet gave off a sense of violence. Standing on planet Donglin, Wang Lin took a deep breath. The aura here was completely different from that of the other cultivation planets in the All Heaven Star System. Old Man Xiang didn't take them to the family house. Instead, he charged west. In the extreme western area thousands of kilometers away lied a very messy graveyard. The earth on the ground was dark red and gave off a dense smell of blood. Severed limbs were scattered across the area and bald vultures circled above. They would sometimes come down and tear some flesh off. Their gazes held no fear of people and were extremely cold. The deeper one went, the fewer severed limbs there were. There were disheveled graves everywhere densely packed together. Although Wang Lin's expression was calm, his heart was shocked. He had cultivated the soul-refining sex cultivation method, so he was very sensitive to souls. There were countless broken souls here. Even during its prime, the one billion soul soul flag had far less souls than this place. If I absorbed the souls here, I would be able to prepare the soul flag in an instant. Wang Lin looked around and silently pondered. The extremely western area of planet Dong Lin is forbidden and outsiders weren't allowed to enter. This is where one of the last Xiang family ancestors is in closed door cultivation. Old man Xiang's voice was calm, but there was great sense of respect in his voice. Qing Shui frowned slightly as he looked around, but he didn't speak. As they moved forward, the three of them gradually entered the depths of this graveyard. The ground had turned from dark red to completely black. The ground was black and there was no trace of vitality. This was like the land of the dead where vitality had to be completely oppressed. While standing here, Wang Lin immediately felt very weak, as if the earth was absorbing his vitality. If he stayed here for too long, it was likely that all his vitality would disappear. There were no buildings on this black earth, it was just flat land. However, there was something that made Wang Lin's heart tremble. It was as if there was a death aura powerful enough to kill the heavens hidden underground. Old man Xiang took a deep breath. He revealed a very respectful expression and said, Xiang family member Xiang Yundong requests to meet the ancestor. Chapter 884, Life Force The earth trembled. Wang Lin could clearly feel a wave coming from underground. The trembling on the surface was caused by this wave. This wave was very powerful. When it reached the surface, it caused the entire planet to tremble violently. What is it? A calm voice echoed between the heavens and earth. Then an ancient aura suddenly filled the area. It was as if the voice wasn't coming from below them but from the void and through time. The voice sounded like it came from the ancient cultivation world from countless years ago. There was a flash of red light in Qing Shui's right eye. He looked down at the earth before him, but his expression didn't change. Old Man Xiang respectfully said, the battle between the All Heaven Star System and the Alliance Star System has begun. This person obtained rank 1 in the Celestial Title Competition and obtained one promise from our Xiang family. However, what he requested is something Junior can't do. I was hoping that Senior would be willing to use the Qi Shi spell. After Xiang Yundong finished speaking, Wang Lin immediately felt an unimaginable divine sense suddenly lock onto him. Horrified, he forced himself not to retreat and calmed himself down as much as possible. This divine sense was simply too powerful, but it couldn't see through him completely. At this moment, the sliver of source origin energy from his third eye spread across his body. The divine sense scanned him once and then quickly retreated. Let him come down by himself, the ancient voice echoed. Then an even more intense rumbling sound came from the earth before them. A gap suddenly opened up in the ground, creating a deep gully. Xiang Yundong quickly nodded and turned around to look at Wang Lin. He originally was only 50% confident. After all, the ancestor had a strange attitude. The ancestor might not even care about the promise from the celestial title competition. Now that the ancestor had agreed, Xiang Yundong smiled and said, Su Mu, go down. I'll wait for you here. Wang Lin nodded and looked at Qing Shui. Qing Shui's right eye shined bright red and he calmly said, If anyone dares to hurt you, then rivers of blood from people named Xiang will flow on planet Donglin. Although his voice was light, it was filled with killing intent. Xiang Yundong frowned and could only smile wryly in silence. Wang Lin revealed a hint of gratitude. In his life, there weren't many people he was grateful to. Situ, Zhou Yi, Dun Tian, Wan, and now Qing Shui. 
Wang Lin took a deep breath and clasped his hands at Qing Shui and Xiang Yundong. He then turned around and walked into the gully. This gully was very large. Wang Lin's eyes shined brightly as he continued to descend. The walls were smooth, but there was no sign of life inside. The gully was filled with the aura of death. As he continued to descend, the death aura became even stronger. In the end, the death aura surrounded the area and almost turned corporeal. It made Wang Lin feel extremely uncomfortable. He was like a small flame surrounded by cold wind. He could be extinguished any time by this cold wind. The death aura gradually grew violent as Wang Lin descended and drilled into his body. If it was anyone else, their body would have stiffened and their life would have been in danger. However, Wang Lin had cultivated the life and death domain when he was in the first step. In his early cultivation period, he cultivated the underworld ascension method, so he was very familiar with the death aura. At this moment, his origin energy cycled and the yin and yang fishes started rotating around him. The death aura was pushed away so he wouldn't be seriously injured by it. This gully was very deep, as if it had no end. Wang Lin moved very fast, but even after seven minutes, he still couldn't see the bottom. His expression was calm as he operated the origin energy inside his body and activated his karma domain. After a long time, as the death aura became even dense, even the yin and yang fishes became affected and slowed down. However, at this moment, his body trembled as he landed on the ground. What appeared before him was a tunnel. This tunnel was completely dark without any light. Even with Wang Lin's cultivation, he couldn't see clearly, he could only see rough outlines. Come here. The ancient voice echoed inside this quiet tunnel and gave off a strange feeling. Wang Lin silently pondered for a moment. Then his eyes became filled with determination and he walked down the passage. This tunnel wasn't very long. After walking for seven minutes, Wang Lin arrived at the end. What he saw made his pupils suddenly shrink. Human skulls. Countless human skulls densely packed together. There was a very large area at the end of the tunnel. There was no end in sight, only the endless skulls that gave off intense chills. Everything before him was an impressive sea of human skulls. Even with Wang Lin's mental strength, his scalp tingled. He couldn't help but retreat two steps, and his face was filled with horror. There were simply too many human skulls here, too many to count. Enough for anyone's heart to tremble when they saw it. The dense death aura formed a storm that whistled through the sea of human skulls. Under the impact of the death aura, Wang Lin felt like his was going to suffocate. The horror in his eyes reached a peak. Within the storm at the center of the sea of human skulls, there was a man-made platform with an earth yellow coffin on it. The wood of the coffin had some festered bits, but an almost crazy aura was coming from the it. What is your name? An ancient voice came from the coffin and echoed in the area. Wang Lin took a deep breath as he suppressed the shock in his mind and the suffocating aura. He respectfully said, Junior Su Mu greets senior. It is you who wants this old man to use the Qi Shi spell? It was impossible to tell if the voice was angry or happy, but a pressure was surrounding the area. Wang Lin calmed his heart and calmly said, It is. I can help you, but just the promise from the Xiang family isn't enough. I want half of your life force. The ancient voice turned into divine sense. The moment it spread out, it caused the death aura in the surrounding area to become even more dense. Even the endless human skulls in the sea of skulls began to move. A ghostly light lit up within the eyes of countless human skulls. This scene was too strange. In Wang Lin's eyes, it was as if every single human skull had opened their eyes as if they had spirits. All of their gazes gathered on his body. The moment these unmeasurable gazes fell on him, the life force in Wang Lin's body collapsed and dissipated. Half of his hair went from black to white as snow. Wang Lin's appearance immediately aged at a visible rate from young man to middle-aged. A sense of weakness he had never felt before had appeared in Wang Lin's heart. Although his cultivation wasn't damaged, this feeling of weakness didn't disappear. The Xiang family ancestor's voice slowly drifted over. Take out the person you want to save. Wang Lin silently pondered for a moment before he slapped his bag of holding and the restriction ball holding Li Muan's nascent soul appeared. However, before it could fall into Wang Lin's hand, a tyrannical death aura rushed over and took the ball back into the center of the death storm. At this moment, Wang Lin forgot everything. He even forgot the fact the cultivation gap between the two was uncrossable. His eyes immediately became red and the red light came out from his third eye. What are you going to do? Wang Lin let out a roar as he charged out after the death aura that was wrapped around Li Muan. A cold snort came from the coffin and another strand of death aura shot toward Wang Lin. At this moment it was as if Wang Lin had gone crazy, and without any hesitation, he opened his third eye. The red light fanned out and landed on the death aura targeting Wang Lin. The death aura immediately collapsed. Wang Lin moved like lightning toward the restriction ball that Li Muan was in. Noisy. I took half your life force and I will now use the Qi Shi spell. As the ancient voice echoed, Wang Lin's body stopped. He stared at the coffin before him and his eyes revealed coldness. Under the death aura, the restriction ball around Li Muan collapsed. While Wang Lin felt a pain in his heart, Li Muan's nascent soul wasn't injured as it floated in the air. 
So it turns out to be a broken nascent soul that lost all its life and was forced to remain. No wonder you came to this old man to use the Qi Shi spell. Wang Lin silently pondered and silently looked at the coffin before him. However, if I was at my peak and I used the Qi Shi spell, I could make it recover. Even if it was to awaken her, I would just barely be able to do it. However, right now this old man is only 30% confident. As he spoke, among the sea of skulls, many of their eyes lit up. Then death aura suddenly surrounded Wang Lin. Wang Lin didn't resist. As the death aura surrounded him, it pulled out strands of vitality from him. These strands of vitality were his lifespan. As his vitality disappeared, his hair turned white and fell off. His body gradually withered and his skin became filled with wrinkles. His face rapidly aged from middle-aged man until he became an old man. There was a faint trace of his original appearance hidden in his face. Wang Lin's eyes turned dim, and his weakness increased several fold. He vaguely felt something calling him from the void. It was as if there was a power waving at him and wanted to take him away. After cultivating for over 1000 years, how could Wang Lin not know what power this was? This was the heaven's reincarnation cycle. He didn't have much lifespan left, and the heaven's reincarnation cycle began to call him. Just like how it was with Li Muen. When his lifespan ends, he will die. 1. Soul Refining Sect Leader That Took Wang Lin In Chapter 885, Qing Shui's Gift The death aura around his body absorbed a majority of his life force and then floated toward Li Muen. The life force absorbed from Wang Lin was injected into Li Muen through a mysterious method. The Xiang family ancestor slowly said, the Qi Shi spell requires it to last seven days. If this nascent soul can last seven days, then it can naturally revive. Wang Lin silently pondered as he looked at Li Muen's nascent soul. There was no regret in his heart. Li Muen seemed to be able to perceive it all and her body trembled. Her nascent soul had no body, yet there was a silent sadness coming from inside it. The death aura around Li Muen continued to inject life force into her. Her nascent soul began to slowly condense. Time slowly passed. The first day, the second day. However, on the third day, Li Muen's gradually condensing nascent soul stopped condensing before the life force Wang Lin gave up was all used up. Xian family ancestor slowly said, unfortunately, the Qi Shi spell came from ancient times and can defy the heavens. This spell is very strong, and it can even bring a dead person back to life, provided that there is enough life force. The life force transferred by the Qi Shi spell is not equal, it is completely unequal. Qi Shi represents seven days. For each day that passes, the life force required is 100 times greater than the previous day. The seventh day is the most crucial, and the amount of life force required is unimaginable. Your life force was only enough for two days. Even if I had taken more than half of your life force, your life force wouldn't be enough to last the third day. Sumu do you have anything that can increase life force? Without the injection of life force, Li Muen's nascent soul began to dissipate. This dissipation was faster and more intense than before, as if this time it was going to dissipate completely. Continue to absorb my lifespan. Wang Lin looked at Li Muen with a gentle gaze. This woman waited for him for hundreds of years because of one promise from him. Only this woman had made her way into his heart during these 1000 years of cultivation. However, it wasn't until after she left and he had only memories to recall in his lonely journey that he realized that he always cared. He watched Li Muen as he recalled the life and death situations and the sadness of being without a home. There was a distance between the two. It wasn't far, it was as if they were on opposite banks of a river. He was on one side and she was on the other. Between them was the unceasing pain that turned into the river between them. It was just that no matter how powerful the torrent in the river was, it was unable to wash away their firm gazes and patience. It was as if the zither music filled with sadness had appeared in his ears once more. The sound of zither music as the moon rose and the sun set seemed to set a bridge for Wang Lin and Li Muen. It allowed the two to feel as if they could truly be intimate with each other. Then the death aura split up. One end wrapped around Li Muen and the other end warped around Wang Lin. Life force was constantly drawn out from Wang Lin's body by the death aura and injected into Li Muen's nascent soul. Even if it took tens of thousands times the life force to trade for a sliver of life force in Li Muen, he would have no regrets. He quietly looked at Li Muen and revealed a gentle smile. His appearance rapidly aged and wrinkles covered his face. A large amount of life force was lost, and this made it feel as if he had lived through 1000 years in an instant. There wasn't much life force left in Wang Lin's body. The speed of absorption made Wang Lin get an even clearer feel of the call from the heavens. He took a deep breath and an even more intense force erupted from his body. This outbreak seemed to form a life force storm that swept the area. This caused the eyes of the countless human skulls here to light up. Eh. Inside the coffin, the Xiang ancestor was startled. At this moment, the lid on the coffin opened, revealing a body that was like a dried up corpse. A cold and ruthless gaze that was filled with death aura came from his eyes and landed on Wang Lin. In the Alliance star system on a cultivation planet, Wang Lin's original body was hiding in a cultivation sect, pretending to be a low-level disciple. 
Right now he was sitting in the lotus position as large amount of his life force was dissipating. However, his original body didn't try to stop this, he only looked up at the sky and remained silent. His forever cold eyes revealed a hint of softness like his avatar's eyes. The life force that entered his avatar from his original body was being rapidly consumed. As a result, Li Muan's nascent soul began reforming once more. Time slowly passed. The third day, the fourth day. On the fifth day, Wang Lin's original body was completely dim. His red hair was now very dim and a large amount of his life force had been consumed. Even though his original body had the body of an ancient god, he couldn't withstand it anymore. After the fourth day of the Qixi spell, Li Muan's nascent soul had completely recondensed. The death aura was completely removed from her nascent soul. However, this sliver of vitality wasn't able to stabilize after Wang Lin ran out of life force. It was not enough to wake her up. For days was the limit. Wang Lin wasn't able to get past the fifth day. I can only do this much. You don't have enough life force, so you can't revive this nascent soul. The Xiang family ancestor calmly looked at Wang Lin before laying back down in the coffin. A death aura whirlwind wrapped around Li Muan and Wang Lin. The whirlwind swept directly toward the gully and back out. During this process, Wang Lin's hands quickly formed seals and a large amount of restrictions surrounded Li Muan's nascent soul. This caused the decay of that sliver of vitality in Li Muan's nascent soul to slow down. The moment he came out from the gully, two gazes immediately concentrated on Wang Lin. When Qing Shui saw the current Wang Lin, he was started but remained silent. As for Xiang Yundong, he seemed to already have known that this would happen. He looked at Wang Lin and withdrew his gaze. Wang Lin carefully put Li Muan's nascent soul back into his body. He then looked at Qing Shui and calmly said, Senior apprentice brother, let us go. Qing Shui let out a sigh and waved his sleeves. He took Wang Lin and they flew far away. Xiang Yundong looked at the direction Wang Lin disappeared to and revealed a smile as he muttered, Sumu, although this old man has schemed against you, I didn't conceal it from you. With your knowledge, you should have already known that to recover that nascent soul, you need a large amount of vitality. So in the end, neither of us owe each other anything. Qing Shui and Wang Lin formed two rays of light as they flew across the starry sky. Senior apprentice brother, do you know what this is? While flying, Wang Lin silently pondered before slapping his bag of holding and the heaven-avoiding coffin flew out. Qing Shui's body stopped for a moment. His right eye flashed red as he looked at the heaven-avoiding coffin. After a long time, he said, I have never seen this thing before, but there is powerful celestial spiritual energy coming from it, so it should be from the celestial realm. In addition, there is a special power inside. It is some kind of law. This item should have some healing abilities, right? After hearing that not even Qing Shui knew what it was, Wang Lin let out a sigh. He put the coffin away and let out a sigh. It should be used for healing, but I don't know how to use it. Qing Shui didn't question anymore. He looked at the stars in the distance, and after a moment of silence, he suddenly said, Sumu, although you didn't enter the celestial pool, you did pass the test. After I enter the Alliance star system, it will very likely be very dangerous, so I'm afraid you can't accompany me. After entering the Alliance star system, you must rely on yourself. Wang Lin nodded, but his heart felt very bitter. He could feel that the call from the heavens was getting closer and closer. Call the wind, summon the rain, and magical arsenal. Out of the three spells, you already know Call the Wind. As for the other two spells, I'll teach them to you now. As Qing Shui spoke, his two fingers formed a sword and he had pointed between Wang Lin's eyebrows. There was a sudden surge of celestial origin energy that entered Wang Lin's body. At the same time, all the information regarding Summon the Rain and Magical Arsenal appeared in Wang Lin's mind. Qing Shui's action was equal to passing down an inheritance. Inheritance and teaching was not the same. Only direct disciples would obtain an inheritance. This kind of direct passing of spells would make sure it was not lost. It would even reduce the amount of unnecessary steps and would allow the person inheriting it to obtain the deepest comprehension. Qing Shui looked at Wang Lin and let out a sigh. At the start, his actions toward Wang Lin were merely a way of repaying his master. Although his master was only joking, after he awakened, this was the only thing he could do. He didn't care too much for Wang Lin, even when he saved Wang Lin, it was only for his master. Wang Lin didn't enter the celestial pool, which caused Qing Shui to be very disappointed. He had decided that the karma between Wang Lin and his master ended here. He had decided that he would single-mindedly pursue the cause of the collapse of the celestial realm and the reason for his madness. However, all of this changed when Wang Lin was willing to go as far as giving up almost all of his life force for a woman. This caused Qing Shui to recall the past. When he looked at Wang Lin, Qing Shui felt as if he was seeing himself, and unimaginable pain appeared in his head. He could never forget that after he awakened, he saw the pool of blood on the floor, his lover's closed eyes, and that beautiful face. At that moment, his heart collapsed. With a sense of melancholy, Qing Shui no longer looked at Wang Lin with the gaze of trying to repay his master like the past. There was now a trace of softness in his gaze. You didn't enter the celestial pool. Without celestial origin energy, you can't display the full power of the celestial spells. 
Seeing your brother here has nothing to gift you, so I'll give you this celestial origin energy to help you cast celestial spells. The celestial origin energy that entered Wang Lin's body before wasn't retrieved by Qing Shui. Instead, it cycled through Wang Lin's body before turning into a golden being that fell in Wang Lin's origin soul. Chapter 886, Situ Nan Leaves Closed Door Cultivation This celestial origin energy is limited. Consider it a self-defense gift from me. Along with that summon the rain crystal, unless you meet the powerhouses of the Alliance star system, you will be able to protect yourself. At this moment, Wang Lin's mind was filled with summon the rain and magical arsenal. He was immersed in them as he continued to absorb and comprehend them. Qing Shu silently pondered. After a long time, he looked at Wang Lin, revealing a look of farewell. He slowly said, you have lost too much life force, senior brother isn't able to help you with this. All my spells are focused on battle and none can be used to heal. The only non-combat spell I learned from master was devour. You saw me use it back in the thunder celestial realm. Now I'll pass it to you. As Qing Shu spoke, he placed his right hand between Wang Lin's eyebrows once more. The information about devour entered Wang Lin's mind like crazy. This spell can be easily abused. Master hesitated a lot before teaching it to me. Now that you've learned it, you must only use it as a last resort. Qing Shui let out a sigh. Looking at Wang Lin's old face, he withdrew his right hand. Then he bit the tip of his tongue and drew a strange rune with his blood. The rune gave off a powerful scent of blood. The moment it appeared, all the dust in space quickly retreated. The loss of your life force is too serious. This rune can help protect you a bit. Qing Shui waved his right hand. The rune imprinted on Wang Lin's chest and disappeared. Wang Lin's body trembled violently. His appearance rapidly recovered, and a moment later, his appearance was restored aside from his white hair. His body no longer showed damage from the loss of life force, it was completely hidden. This rune can't be used to restore life force and can't be used on a soul. Otherwise, you wouldn't be like this. Qing Shui turned around, walked off into the stars, and gradually disappeared. Junior brother, from now on, be careful. The method to recovering the G realm is related to divine retribution. However, don't tread this path until you have reached the Nirvana Shatterer stage. Before then, avoid it. Qing Shui left. Wang Lin's body trembled and then he regained consciousness. Everything that was said echoed in his ears. He looked at where Qing Shui went toward and silently pondered for a long time. Wang Lin softly said, thank you. Wang Lin felt an indescribable feeling in his heart as he left. He didn't go back to the Thunder Celestial Temple to enter the crack into the Alliance star system. Instead, he merged with the world and found the closest abandoned planet. After making sure it was safe, he sat down inside a cave he made. His divine sense spread out and Tashan stepped out and sat down to guard the cave. Wang Lin slapped his bag of holding and the restriction ball holding Li Muen landed in his palm. While staring at the restriction ball, Wang Lin's eyes revealed sadness. His left hand lightly stroked the restriction ball, causing it to open up and reveal Li Muen's nascent soul, which had a sliver of life force. One air, even if I have to consume almost all my life, if it can be traded for even a glimmer of hope for you, I'm willing. Wang Lin's voice was calm, but it was filled with heart-wrenching pain. Li Muen's nascent soul trembled slightly. Although she didn't have the strength to awaken, two streams of tears fell from her nascent soul's eyes. But nascent souls have no tears. The moment the tears appeared, they dissipate and not a single drop fell. However, they turned into powerful pain that lingered in the area. As Wang Lin stared at Li Muen, a flash of light appeared between his eyebrows and the heaven-defying bead slowly formed. He placed Li Muen's nascent soul inside the heaven-defying bead. However, Wang Lin trembled as he found that Li Muen's nascent soul, now with a trace of life force, was still dissipating inside the heaven-defying bead. Although this dissipation was slow, it didn't stop. Wang Lin's face revealed bitterness. He silently pondered for a while before revealing a decisive expression. He slapped his bag of holding and the heaven-avoiding coffin flew out. The crystal coffin gave off a dazzling glow and was extremely gorgeous. Wang Lin's hand trembled as he took Li Muen's nascent soul out from the heaven-defying bead. Although he had made up his mind, now he silently pondered once more. To let go or not to let go. Looking at Li Muen's quickly dissipating nascent soul, Wang Lin placed Li it inside the coffin. The moment her nascent soul landed in the coffin, she went from sitting down to lying down. Wang Lin stared intently. He forgot about everything else around him. Right now only Li Muen existed. The moment Li Muen lied down, a mysterious force filled the coffin. This power surrounded the entire coffin. When it swept by, Li Muen's nascent soul trembled and showed signs of collapse. However, just at this moment, the sliver of life force inside Li Muen's nascent soul began to move and the collapse slowed. Eventually, a five-colored light came from inside the coffin. At this moment, Wang Lin's heart experienced a huge change. He took a deep breath. With his intelligence, he immediately understood. If Li Muen didn't have that trace of life force, she would have collapsed inside this heaven-avoiding coffin. 
This coffin seems to only have an effect on people's life force, even if it is only a sliver. The five-colored light flashed inside the coffin. Shortly after, red strands appeared outside Li Muan's nascent soul. The threads moved around her, forming the outline of her body. Then the five-colored light condensed along the red lines to form the skeleton of a woman. In a short few breaths of time, Li Muan's body formed before his eyes. She lied quietly in the coffin as if she was sleeping. Even her breathing existed. As Wang Lin looked at this, tears fell from his eyes. Wang Er. For this one gaze, Wang Lin felt it was all worth it. Three days later, Wang Lin left this abandoned planet with Li Muan and charged toward the Thunder Celestial Temple. Wang Er, let us go home. Wang Lin's sorrowful voice spread across the stars. The sadness was so powerful that it lingered. In this short half a month, a bloodbath had begun in the Alliance Star System. Starting from the west side of the Alliance Star System, the All Heaven Cultivator Army rampaged across the system. Under the attacks of the All Heaven Cultivators, cultivation planets fell one by one and the cultivators on them retreated. It was as if it was the end of the world. What was interesting was that the Cultivation Alliance didn't do anything. They weren't anxious at all, and it was as if they were just watching from the sidelines. The All Heaven side was very suspicious of this and couldn't determine the Alliance's attitude. Even Master Flames Park and company were filled with doubts. If the same thing happened in the All Heaven Star System, the Thunder Celestial Temple would have organized a counterattack right away. They would have never given the other side a chance to gain a foothold to recover. Not only were the Cultivation Alliance remaining silent, but not even a single Rank 7 Cultivation Planet had appeared. All the Cultivation Planets occupied by the All Heaven Cultivators were Rank 6. They couldn't find a single Rank 7 Planet. This strange case made the All Heaven Cultivators even more confused. On the surface, the All Heaven side looked glorious. However, having to face the unknown and not being able to guess the other side's moves made all the old monsters from the All Heaven Star System feel uneasy. This wasn't even the main point. During this half month of fighting, the combat effectiveness of the Rank 6 Cultivation countries shocked the All Heaven Cultivators greatly. Those bloodthirsty gazes, cunning plans, difficult to deal with treasures, and various other things all made the All Heaven Cultivators suffer heavy losses. The profound contrast made them understand that if their cultivation levels were the same, the All Heaven Cultivators would lose. What shocked the All Heaven Cultivators even more was that all the Alliance Cultivators killed decisively and were very experienced in combat. The All Heaven Cultivators felt that every single Alliance Cultivator was from planet Donglin. At this moment, a powerful aura suddenly burst out from an abandoned planet on the west side of the Alliance star system. Shortly after, a loud rumble echoed across the entire planet and spread like crazy. Fortunately, no one lived on this planet. Otherwise, no one would have been able to survive this fierce vibration. The earth trembled and the sea raged, it was as if the entire planet was on the brink of death. An excited laugh came from the planet, and along with it, even more violent popping sounds came. I'm out. Damn it, little girls of planet Fong Wan, just you all wait. You all forced me into closed door cultivation for so long, you forced me to have no choice but to hide on this damned planet. We're not through yet. An extremely arrogant voice echoed across the world. At the same time, a figure rushed out from the interior of the planet. The clothes on his body were in tatters and his skin was dark and very dirty. He looked extremely messy, but his eyes were bright. He gave off a strange light that would take one's breath away. As he charged out, there were sonic booms going off. Large pieces of the planet began to collapse as if it couldn't hold on anymore. I almost died from suffocation. I don't even remember how long ago I entered closed door cultivation. It is a pity that all my princesses must have died during this time. Planet Fong Wan, this time I'm really angry. In one go, I cultivated until the early stage of Nirvana Scryer. I'm going to go be a king at Planet Fong Wan. The figure cursed loudly in the air as if he wanted to vent all the anger he had accumulated over the years. Chapter 887, Suzaku in the Alliance star system, Wang Lin had a head of white hair as he looked indifferently ahead. He slowly stepped forward. His pace wasn't fast, but there were ripples with each step and he traveled unmeasurable distances. While looking at the unfamiliar star system with a sense of familiarity, Wang Lin was calm. He had left this star system a very long time ago. When he left, he had just reached the Ascendant stage. When he returned, he was already at the Nirvana Scryer stage. All Seer, Ling Tian Ho. I, Wang Lin, have returned. Wang Lin's eyes shined. In his bag, he still had the key to the cave in the demon spirit land. He had made sure to keep the key safe. Wang Lin's cultivation level wasn't high when he was still in the Alliance star system. The highest power he knew of was only rank 7 cultivation countries. However, now he was a Nirvana Scryer cultivator, and even in the All Heaven star system, he had caught the attention of the old monsters. Now that he had returned, he could set off a storm if he wanted to. However, Wang Lin was very clear that the Alliance couldn't be compared to All Heaven. The water in the Alliance was too deep. I must be cautious in the battle between the All Heaven Star System and Alliance Star System. I mustn't carelessly join in. Wang Lin's eyes lit up and he decided on a wait-and-see mentality. 
After returning to the Alliance star system, Wang Lin's caution immediately rose several folds. He knew that the cultivators of the Alliance star system, especially the those old fellows, were all very cunning. Not to mention those that were at his cultivation level. If one was careless for even a moment, one could be devoured and not even know it. This place didn't have the cultivation family model of the All Heaven star system. It was the law of the jungle, a cruel cultivation world. However, with my cultivation level after fusing with my original body, I will have no need to be timid in the Alliance star system. Wang Lin's eyes became cold. After returning to the Alliance star system, he immediately got in contact with his original body and determined each other's locations. As he walked, his divine scent spread out and surrounded the area. After a while, his expression changed. Along the way, he had been looking for an abandoned planet, and now had he found one. Ripples appeared under his feet as Wang Lin merged with the world and disappeared. When he appeared, he was on a desolate cultivation planet. It didn't have much spiritual energy, but the earth was filled with vitality. Looking around, the abandoned planet was covered in dense vegetation. When he found out that he needed life force to save Li Muen, he didn't hesitate and chose to exchange his life force for the Qi Shi spell. All these hundreds of years of waiting were only for this one opportunity. He couldn't just give it up. This time, it would be considered both a success and failure. The success was that although Li Muen hadn't revived, she had regained her body, so there was hope. Although Wang Lin had consumed a majority of his life force, he had other plans. Not even Qing Shui knew Wang Lin's backup plan, he even gave Wang Lin the room that helped hide his current life force. Although Wang Lin looked like he hadn't aged, aside from his white hair, if the rune was broken, he would immediately age until he looked like a 1,000-year-old old man. The feeling of the heavens reincarnation cycle calling him became even more powerful. However, Wang Lin's expression didn't change at all toward any of this. His body flickered and landed on this earth filled with vitality. After he landed, Wang Lin took a deep breath and sat down. Tushan stepped out from his shadow and sat down a few feet away. Tushan's eyes were cold. If there was the slightest movement that would harm Wang Lin, he would immediately attack. After letting out a big breath, Wang Lin raised his right hand and formed a seal. A black light began to gather on his index finger. At first, the black light was weak, but soon it was breathtaking. Finger of Death Wang Lin looked at the black light on his index finger. When he saw the third step, he knew that it would take too long to fix it, so he gave up on it. However, after hearing what Xiang Yundong said, that he needed a lot of vitality to save Li Muen, Wang Lin immediately thought of the finger of death. This spell used a very tyrannical way to devour all life and turn it into spiritual energy for the user. Once the finger lands, all life will collapse. Wang Lin's eyes shined as he lowered his right finger and pressed it on the ground. In an instant, the black light spread out in a circle with Wang Lin as the center. The black light spread out. In an instant, it covered the surrounding 500 kilometers. The towering trees within the area gradually withered and the leaves fell. The branches immediately cracked and finally the trees shattered. Even the falling leaves dissipated as they fell. Only large amounts of white gas flew out from the towering trees as they fell. The white gas drifted for a moment before quickly gathering toward Wang Lin. Not only the towering trees, but even the grass withered as the black light spread. Their life force was turned into white gas that gathered toward Wang Lin. In almost an instant, all life within 500 kilometers was extinguished and all of their life force charged out. If one looked from above, they would immediately see this strange scene. The entire 500 kilometer area had withered and bursts of white gas had gathered around Wang Lin as if it was alive. Wang Lin's figure was surrounded by this dense, white gas, so his figure was no longer clear. Thunder flashed inside Wang Lin's eyes as he deeply inhaled. All the white gas seemed to have found an open vent when he inhaled. It immediately formed a vortex, and at the end of the vortex was Wang Lin's mouth. Endless white gas entered Wang Lin's body and gathered inside his body. It then turned into life force and nourished his whole body. At the same time, it recovered all the life force Wang Lin had spent. As he absorbed, the bloody rune began to flash and floated three inches from his body. However, there were still traces of light from it that covered Wang Lin's body, providing protection and hiding him. Half an hour later, the last trace of white gas entered Wang Lin's body. The white gas had disappeared completely. The area within 500 kilometers of him was yellow, the ground was dry, and all vitality had disappeared. What was strange was that outside of the 500 kilometers, everything was normal, and this formed a sharp contrast. It was as if these two areas were two different worlds. The spell that the Xiang family ancestor used must be similar to the finger of death, that allows them to absorb life force to use as their own. He was too careless and didn't think I saw through it. Wang Lin revealed a sneer. How could half of my life force be so easy to devour? There will be a day when I take it all back. I can devour life force too. There was a flash of coldness in Wang Lin's eyes before he closed them. The black light quickly expanded like crazy. 1,000 kilometers, 1,500 kilometers. In an instant, it surrounded a 2,500 kilometer area. Grass withered and trees collapsed within the 2,500 kilometer area. 
Even some demonic beasts weren't able to escape. A large python more than 100 feet long was immediately surrounded by the black light. Its body trembled, and when the black light passed, its body immediately disintegrated. Large amounts of white gas flew out and gathered toward Wang Lin. The expansion of the black light didn't stop, it continued. 3,000 kilometers, 4,000 kilometers. 5,000 kilometers. All life within 5,000 kilometers collapsed. The endless life force seemed to form a storm, and the center of the storm was Wang Lin. Large amounts of white gas entered Wang Lin's body. The red rune before his chest continued to rise until it was 10 inches away from his chest. Wang Lin's eyes opened as his left hand grabbed the rune and pulled it. He immediately ripped the rune from before his chest. The moment the rune was removed, Wang Lin's body was covered in a flash of light. He immediately became an old man and death aura surrounded him. However, all of this immediately reversed. The surrounding life force was immediately absorbed by Wang Lin. Wang Lin's withered body suddenly regained its luster and rapidly changed. At this moment in the western part of the Alliance star system, far away from the abandoned cultivation planet Wang Lin was on, was a cultivation planet. This cultivation planet was deep in the western region and close to the intersection with the southern region. From a distance, it was a half-wasted cultivation planet and there wasn't much spiritual energy in it. Several rays of sword energy circled the cultivation planet. There were cultivators on those sword energies, and they had a gloomy expressions. Their eyes were cold as they circled the planet and observed their surroundings. An oppressive aura continued to spread out. The cultivators on those sword energies weren't high-leveled, they were only nascent soul cultivators. However, the killing intent from their bodies was very strong as they circled the planet. Although their divine senses were scattered, there was a trace of worry in their eyes. It wasn't long before a ray of sword energy flew out from the cultivation planet. The person inside it was an old woman. Although her face was filled with wrinkles, it could be seen that she was very beautiful when she was young. If Wang Lin was here, he would find her familiar. The old woman's eyes were filled with worry. When she got close, a cultivator closed in and respectfully said, Greetings Uncle Master Bai Shui. The old woman nodded as she looked into the distance and slowly said, You must be cautious. If something abnormal happens, you must immediately report it. Right now there is war, and my planet Suzaku is too close to the All Heaven Cultivators. It is a moment of life and death. The cultivator's body trembled and he lowered his head in acknowledgement. The old woman let out a sigh. She was about to speak when her expression changed greatly. Her eyes shined brightly as she stared into the distance. This caught the attention of the other cultivators. When they looked over, their faces turned pale, but their monstrous killing intent quickly gathered. Rays of sword energy came from the stars in the distance. There were several hundred cultivators heading toward planet Suzaku. The one leading them was a big-headed boy. He flew across the stars with a silly smile on his face. Chapter 888, Statue of Wang Lin This big-headed boy had already seen the half-wasted cultivation planet from far away. From his understanding of the Alliance star system, this kind of planet should be a rank 6 cultivation planet. With his cultivation level, a rank 6 cultivation country wasn't worthy of his attention, and not to mention he had hundreds of cultivators with him. The only reason he was here was because he was passing by. His real mission was to be the first wave of cultivators to enter the southern region and scout the situation there. As he slowly approached, the expression of the old woman outside planet Suzaku became gloomy. Along with her were the other cultivators. They used their fast speed to return to planet Suzaku. When he saw this, the big-headed boy laughed and the foolish smile on his face became even stronger. Not only him, but even the all-heaven cultivators before him also laughed. In their eyes, this kind of cultivation planet was simply too weak. Any illusory Eam cultivator could slaughter the entire planet. Celestial messenger, let us two brothers go to this planet. A middle-aged man walked out from behind the big-headed boy. His wasn't even at the illusory in stage, only at the peak of the late stage of Ascendant. His gaze toward the big-headed boy was filled with respect. A person followed behind the middle-aged man. The two of them looked every alike. The big-headed boy swept planet Suzaku with his divine sense and revealed a hint of contempt. If he wanted to destroy this planet, it would be too easy. He simply said, I'll give you 15 minutes. Kill all the cultivators here for me. The two brothers laughed. One of them said, Celestial Messenger, rest assured. With a cultivation planet like this, there is no need for 15 minutes. We'll only need 7. With that, he charged like a meteor toward planet Suzaku. His brother followed him with killing intent. In the blink of an eye, the two broke through the atmosphere and arrived above planet Suzaku. Zhou Wutai stood at the peak of Mount Suzaku. His eyes were like lightning and a powerful aura surged from his body. A slender sword floated before him as he stood on the peak and revealed a determined look. Cultivators stood silently behind him. Only a few of these cultivators were people who Wang Lin had met. All of them had improved over the hundreds of years that had passed. The old woman named Bai Shui descended from the sky. As the elder of the immortals path sect, planet Suzaku was her home, so she had to protect it no matter what. 
It is worth mentioning that one of the old men, one wearing a yellow robe, had the air of a celestial to him and he carried a sword on his back. However, he was near the back, so it was obvious that his status among them wasn't very high. If Wang Lin saw this person, he would be shocked. He was the sect leader of the Hung Yu sect, one, Huang Long. At this moment, he had a serious expression, and there was no hint of it being fake. However, there were flashes of amusement in it, but no one could see through him. Since fellow cultivator Wang Lin left the position of Suzaku to me, I promised that I'd live and die with planet Suzaku. Today the enemy is before us. Even if I'm destroyed, I won't retreat even half a step. There were two ascendant cultivators behind Zhou Wutai. They were both old men, and if Wang Lin was here, he would be able to recognize them. The two of them let out sighs. They looked at each other and revealed firm gazes. There was no way to escape. This wasn't a simple war but a battle between two star systems. They found out about this after receiving the information from the Cultivation Alliance. Fortunately, they had prepared some things for this, or else they would without a doubt die. On the other side of planet Suzaku, Yun Kuizi opened his eyes after hundreds of years of closed-door cultivation. He looked much older and his tattoo flashed on his forehead. He stood up and took a step forward. Then he appeared in the air and looked ahead. The Forsaken Immortal Clan gathered one by one behind him, their expressions extremely serious. At the same time, some of the cultivators that never bothered with worldly affairs walked out. They looked at the sky as an oppressive aura appeared. This oppression felt like mountains falling from the sky. Anyone who dared to resist would be crushed. In the Cloud Sky Sect, 2, Tai Yen, 3, was already old and his eyes were dim. His body was surrounded with death aura as his lifespan was about to reach its limit. He struggled to stand at the square of the Cloud Sky Sect and silently looked at the sky. At this moment, all the cultivators on planet Suzaku looked up up at the sky. The various cultivators in the sects from rank 5 to rank 3 all looked at the sky with serious expressions. The two meteors representing a catastrophe for planet Suzaku had descended. The two meteors were the two brothers from the All Heaven Star System. The moment the two brothers arrived, they laughed like crazy. Their laughter was extremely arrogant. The two of them did have the qualifications to do so. On planet Suzaku, a peak late stage ascendant cultivators was a powerful force, and because they came as a pair, they were a formidable force. Even this abandoned planet has so many cultivators. If it was in my all heaven star system, no one would even bother occupying this kind of planet. The Alliance star system is only so so. As the laughter spread, one of them spread their power like crazy in his divine scene stormed across planet Suzaku. At this instant, the powerhouses of planet Suzaku, Yun Keizi, Zhou Wutai, and other ascendant cultivators, quickly flew into the air. They were prepared for war. However, just at this moment, the cultivator who spread out his divine sense swept past the cloud sky sect, and it was as if he was struck by lightning. It was as if tens of thousands of thunderbolts had exploded next to his ears, causing him to become unsteady. His mind trembled, eyes bulged, and an expression of disbelief appeared on his face. Even fear began to spread through his body like crazy. This. This is. There was a huge statue located at the gate of the Cloud Sky Sect. This was a statue of Wang Lin. This very lifelike statue accurately displayed Wang Lin's appearance. In particular, the coldness from his eyes that could pierce one's bones. When the other All Heaven Cultivator saw his brother's expression, he was shocked. His divine sense spread out and locked onto the statue. His body trembled and the terror he revealed was ten times, number one hundred times stronger. Demon. Master Demon Su Mu. The two of their scalps immediately tingled and their hearts pounded. They looked at each other in disbelief and saw the panic in each other's eyes. The name Master Demon Su Mu was simply too famous in the All Heaven Star System. During the Celestial Title Competition, he had gained the position of Thunder Celestial and could command 3,000 cultivators. This kind of prestige wasn't something a normal person could obtain. Forget them, even their ancestors would have to be respectful when meeting Master Demon Sumu. Even the Celestial Messenger, the big-headed boy, would tremble before Master Demon Sumu. The two of the complained inside their hearts. Their arrogance and killing intent disappeared and was replaced with panic. The two of them didn't hesitate to quickly flee. They were too aware of what Master Demon Sumu meant. This name represented slaughter, endless slaughter. To go against this person meant you would without a doubt die. Celestial Lord Ching Shui's junior brother, a Thunder Celestial, number one among the juniors of the All Heaven Cultivators, benefactor to countless cultivation families, and the one who caused the Yao family to suffer heavy losses after being hunted by them. Any of those accomplishments was enough to make these two brothers die countless times. At this moment, they didn't even bother questioning what was going on. After losing their wits, they just wanted to leave as soon as possible. With their intelligence, they were sure they weren't mistaken. That statue was Su Mu. No matter how much courage was given to them, they wouldn't dare to provoke Su Mu. As for why Su Mu's statue was here and obviously worshipped was something they didn't want to know. The regret in their hearts was already monstrous. If they had known, they would have never come here, because this kind of thing would definitely offend Su Mu. 
The rapid retreat of the two brothers shocked all the cultivators on planet Suzaku. This was especially true for Zhou Wutai, who was prepared for a difficult battle. The sudden change in the situation startled him. Not only him, but even the forsaken immortal clan was greatly shocked. Only Yun Kezi's eyes narrowed as he looked toward the Cloud Sky sect. On planet Suzaku, he had the most seniority, and his cultivation level had increased a lot over the years. The two cultivators from the All Heaven Star System only fled once their divine senses locked onto the Cloud Sky Sect. Cloud Sky Sect. What item is there to scare away two powerful peak late ascendant cultivators? And from the expressions of those two, they were scared out of their wits. Yun Kezi saw with his own eyes the panic on the faces of the two escaping cultivators. This made him extremely shocked. His divine sense spread out and suddenly locked onto Wang Lin's statue in the Cloud Sky Sect. Could it be? Yun Kezi's eyes opened wide, but his heart was filled with disbelief. Zhou Wutai and some other old monsters also thought of this point. These people were all astute. After pondering a bit, they all noticed the problem. Their divine senses had spread out and locked onto the Cloud Sky Sect. Tai Yen looked at Wang Lin's statue. His eyes were filled with excitement as he muttered, Benefactor, it must be my benefactor. As for the two All Heaven Brothers, they panicked as they flew out from planet Suzaku. They immediately saw the big-headed cultivator and the cultivators behind him. The big-headed boy had his eyes closed. He opened them and frowned before he calmly asked, what's wrong? 1. Wang Lin's original sect. 2. Place where Li Muin stayed and met Wang Lin again. 3. Guy who reached the soul formation stage with Wang Lin's help. Chapter 889, Return. On the abandoned planet, everything within 50,000 kilometers of Wang Lin had completely withered. The earth was cracked and all the vitality was devoured by him. His body was rapidly changing. As he continued to absorb the large amount of life force, his appearance was restored to normal and the life force in his body recovered. He opened his eyes, which were filled with lightning, took a deep breath, and muttered, there are drawbacks to relying on the finger of death to recover life force. After silently pondering for a while, Wang Lin stood up and left the abandoned planet with one step. Tushan moved in a flash and disappeared into Wang Lin's shadow. Planet Suzaku. Ripples appeared under Wang Lin's feet and he merged with the world. Outside Planet Suzaku, the big-headed boy's question had just entered the ears of the two All Heaven cultivators. The two cultivators suppressed the panic in their hearts. One of them quickly said, Celestial Messenger, we saw a statue on this cultivation planet. I told you two to slaughter the planet, not to view some statue. The big-headed boy directly interrupted them and his eyes turned cold. Even though he still had that foolish smile, it was filled with killing intent. The cultivator was about to speak when his brother pulled him. He looked at the big-headed boy and respectfully said, Lord Celestial Messenger, you should personally see the statue, then you will understand why we came back. With that, he no longer looked at the big-headed boy and pulled his brother back into the group of cultivators. The big-headed boy gloomily looked at the two of them. He took a step and headed straight toward planet Suzaku. Originally, he would never step onto a half-abandoned planet like this. When they encountered planets similar to this, he always sent his subordinates to slaughter the planet before leaving. In his eyes, he should only use his spells on rank 7 planets. Unfortunately, I haven't encountered any rank 7 cultivation planets. I want to see what kind of person on this abandoned planet could make two peak late-stage ascendant cultivators run. The big-headed boy let out a cold snort. His body didn't close in on the planet, but his divine sense spread out. His was at the early stage of Nirvana Scryer and he had chosen to enter the Celestial Pool. He lost his domain, but now he had a Celestial Origin. He secretly used several Celestial spells before. The power he saw made him pleasantly surprised. At this moment, his Divine Sense spread out and formed a powerful storm that swept across planet Suzaku. This Divine Sense was so strong that it caused a never-before-seen uproar on planet Suzaku. Several mountain peaks immediately collapsed and the river seemed to boil as monstrous waves crashed into each other. All the cultivators on planet Suzaku felt as if a large mountain had smashed down on top of them. This divine sense spread out and turned into countless bolts of thunder that spread to every corner of the planet. This immediately made it look as if planet Suzaku was facing the apocalypse. The violent divine sense turned into black clouds that covered the sky and mercilessly pressed down. The several ascendant cultivators immediately trembled. It was as if their origin souls were going to collapse. As for the soul transformation cultivators, they coughed out blood and became dispirited. The core formation cultivators immediately trembled and cracks appeared on their cores. Their faces became pale and revealed despair. Blood mist burst out from those cultivators who were at the foundation establishment and qi condensation stages. They fell to the ground and became extremely weak. If cultivators were like this, there was no need to talk about mortals. All the mortals on planet Suzaku passed out. The only thing left in their minds was the echo of the thunderous rumbles. In an instant, planet Suzaku was silent. This was only because the big-headed cultivator didn't want to slaughter mortals. Otherwise, with just a sweep of his divine sense, everything would die. Under the assault of his divine sense, only a few select people were still struggling. 
Zhou Wutai had the bloodline of a dragon and had inherited the cultivation planet crystal. At this moment, he let out a roar and green light covered his body. The green light turned into green scales and a powerful aura burst from his body. In the sky, a 1,000-foot-long green dragon appeared and let out a roar toward the sky. Yun Kezi was covered in golden tattoos. His expression was pale and the veins on his face bulged. At this moment, he had the illusion that he was facing the heavens and earth. Roar. Although Yun Kezi was old, he let out a roar. The illusory shadow of a towering tree appeared in the sky. The tree gave off a powerful aura and continued to rise. Under this intense pressure, he was experiencing a breakthrough. It was as if there was a thought in this divine sense that made him yield. It was as if this thought came from an imprint deep within his soul. A cold snort came from the sky. The moment this snort appeared, it created sonic booms. The earth shook and it felt as if the sky was turning upside down. Yun Kezi's body trembled and he coughed out a large mouthful of blood. All the tattoos around him collapsed and he revealed a miserable smile. It wasn't due to the other party's power, it was an instinct from within his body that made him yield. The big-headed boy had a calm expression as he descended with his hand behind his back. The wind blew toward him but immediately blew in reverse as if the wind didn't dare to approach him. In the eyes of the cultivators of planet Suzaku, an inconceivably powerful energy slowly spread as the big-headed boy descended. A wasted cultivation planet. Everyone here is a bunch of rubbish. What is the use of keeping all of you? Since you all have met me, let me send you off. The big-headed boy raised his finger and casually pointed. Dense celestial spiritual energy gathered on his finger until there was a golden glow. This golden light contained a terrifying celestial spell. In the distance, the dragon formed by Zhou Wutai was pierced by a golden beam. It let out a miserable groan and the dragon that was the guardian of planet Suzaku let out an unwilling howl and collapsed. Zhou Wutai's body trembled and he coughed out blood. However, his eyes were filled with battle intent. Just at this moment, the big-headed boy's body trembled. He had spread out his divine sense to look for a statue. Right now he saw a giant statue in a sect. When he saw this statue, even with his mental strength, he couldn't help but gasp, and his eyes were filled with terror. This. This. He was so startled that he almost subconsciously retreated several steps. His heart pounded and his expression rapidly changed. He never expected to see Su Mu's statue here. What Su Mu brought him was a nightmare. Back in the one line to heaven, he died to Su Mu without any chance of fighting back. He was still terrified of that thunder spell that made his scalp tingle. Even after he entered the celestial pool, he didn't dare to provoke Su Mu. Every time he thought of that incredible spell, he would feel terrified. At this moment, he took a deep breath and disappeared. When he reappeared, he was in the sky above the Cloud Sky sect and he stared at Wang Lin's statue. The more he looked, the more shocked he felt. The more he looked, the more his heart trembled. Master Demon Su Mu. The big-headed boy became pale as he stared at the statue. He was completely sure that this statue was Su Mu. After all, he had died by Su Mu's hand, so Su Mu's appearance was engraved in his heart. He stared dumbfoundedly at the statue. The big-headed boy understood why those two cultivators ran away. Su Mu was too famous, and even he couldn't help but feel the urge to leave. Tai Yen was sitting in the square next to the statue. He stared at the statue and sneered. The heavily injured Yun Kezi's eyes lit up. He naturally saw the big-headed boy's expression. When he saw that the big-headed boy also became startled before the statue of the little boy, Wang Lin, Yun Kezi was filled with shock. Could these all-heaven cultivators know that little boy, Wang Lin? However, that wouldn't explain this expression, unless... An idea that even Yun Kezi himself thought was extremely absurd appeared in his mind. Zhou Wutai was the same. He was heavily injured, but in order to fulfill the promise he made to Wang Lin, he was going to give it his all. As long as the Suzaku existed, the people would live. If the Suzaku was gone, then they all would die. As for the big-headed boy, his mind trembled as he stared at Wang Lin's statue. He was completely terrified of Wang Lin. While standing there and staring at Wang Lin's statue, all the hair on his body stood up. It was as if he was facing the real Wang Lin. He subconsciously retreated several dozen feet and his expression became gloomy. I really can't provoke Su Mu for an abandoned cultivation planet. However, this statue of Su Mu seems to have existed for hundreds of years. This Su Mu isn't someone from the All Heaven Star System. He is a cultivator from the Alliance Star System, that must be it. The big-headed boy's heart pounded like crazy. He felt he had gotten hold of a big secret. With this, he could ruin Su Mu and maybe even cause Su Mu to lose his life. The big-headed boy laughed like crazy, then his eyes lit up and he took a step forward. He arrived next to the statue and raised his hand. Then he mercilessly slammed down and shouted, Break for me. He didn't dare to provoke Su Mu and could only do this to vent his anger. Just at the moment he raised his hand, Tai Yen, who was sitting under that statue and still had blood flowing from his mouth, looked up at the big-headed boy. There was no fear in his eyes and he coldly said, If you destroy Benefactor's statue, you will without a doubt die. 
The big-headed boy's right hand paused and his gaze landed on Tai Yen. He had already seen that Tai Yen's lifespan was about to run out. He sneered. Not to mention destroying a statue, even if Su Mu comes personally, I won't care. He raised his right hand and was about to slam down, but at this moment a voice colder than the winter ice echoed across planet Suzaku. Say that again. This voice was cold enough to freeze the world. Su Mu. It was as if someone had hit the big-headed boy on the head. His expression became pale and he retreated without any hesitation. His mind trembled violently as he had lost his wits. I can't battle, must retreat. As he retreated, he coughed out a large mouthful of blood. Without hesitation, he used the blood escape that would harm his cultivation. After one line to heaven, he feared Su Mu from the depths of his heart. Benefactor. Tai Yan's eyes were filled with hundreds of years of excitement. Two streams of tears fell from his eyes when he saw the figure that had walked out from the ripples next to the statue. Yun Kezi gasped. Wang Lin. Wang Lin. Zhou Wutai's eyes revealed shock and ecstasy. Wang Lin. At this moment, all the cultivators that had awakened and noticed this were shocked. Wang Lin, planet Suzaku's true ancestor. You can't escape. Wang Lin's eyes revealed monstrous killing intent and he took a step forward. Chapter 890, Big Headed Boy. The big headed boy's eyes were filled with horror. He coughed out blood and his entire body was surrounded by a blood light. He retreated at an unimaginable speed. This blood escape was silent, but it was several times faster than lightning. In the blink of an eye, he had escaped far away from planet Suzaku. However, in the instant it took him to get there, Wang Lin took a step and ripples appeared. His figure disappeared as he merged with the world. He was even faster than the blood shadow and appeared directly before the escaping shadow. The moment Wang Lin's figure appeared, the yin and yang fishes appeared in his right hand and he mercilessly slammed forward with his hand. His palm hit nothing but air, but it created a boom in space. This palm contained Wang Lin's Tao and origin energy. This impact was enough to shake the heavens and earth. The blood light around the big-headed boy immediately collapsed and his face turned pale. Although that spell had landed in the air, black and white gas had appeared. The white gas charged into the void yet strangely appeared inside the big-headed boy's body and headed toward his origin soul. The big-headed boy had never seen this kind of spell in his life. The white gas in his body collapsed, causing the celestial origin in his body to disintegrate as well. This was only the start. What really made the big-headed boy gasp was the black gas. When the black gas surrounded him, it caused his entire body to wrinkle. Large amounts of life force left his body. This change shocked the big-headed boy greatly. His spell was broken by Wang Lin and a powerful force had come through the void and smashed into the big-headed boy. He fell like a meteor directly toward the ground. This scene was witnessed by all the cultivators that had awakened on planet Suzaku, and they became excited. Some of the cultivators that were shocked by the big-headed boy began to awaken. No one knew who started it, but many cultivators flew out from their sects to the edge of the battle. More and more cultivators gradually flew over. Among them were Zhou Wutai and Yun Keizi. At this moment, not far away from Wang Lin and the big-headed boy's battle, there was a mortal city. A white-haired old man whose eyes were dim and was injured by the big-headed boy struggled to spread out his divine sense to observe the battle. He was inside a secret chamber and there was a painting before him. The painting was that of a kind old man, and below the painting was a token. Engraved on it was, Wang clan ancestor Wang Zhuo. As for the big-headed boy, he felt a powerful impact and popping sounds came from all over his body. His body rapidly closed in on the ground. Terrified, his celestial origin energy activated like crazy. His right hand pointed at many points in his body before he was finally able to stop himself after falling thousands of feet. He let out a laugh and rushed back out. Both his hands formed a seal and a large amount of celestial origin energy rushed out. The rich celestial origin energy formed a large net before him. Celestial spell, spirit destruction net. The big-headed boy roared and the net before him suddenly grew. It became more than 1,000 feet long and closed in on Wang Lin. Wang Lin's expression was cold and he revealed a chilly gaze. He didn't stop moving forward. As the net closed in on him, ripples appeared under his feet and he disappeared. The big-headed boy's face became pale and his eyes were filled with shock. He had felt that something was wrong earlier. His blood escape was passed down by his family and he had sacrificed his cultivation to escape with it. That spell was far faster than teleportation. He had used the blood escape to escape many life and death crises in his younger years. However, just now this Su Mu had used an unknown spell and immediately surpassed him. It made him lose his wit, but he didn't have time to think about it. However, now that he saw Su Mu use it again, all his hair stood up. At this moment, all the, the celestial origin energy inside his body exploded forth. However, a large amount of white gas came out of the big-headed boy's body. The white gas formed a violent storm outside of the big-headed boy's body. As it swept by, Wang Lin's figure appeared. His fingers formed a sword and dozens of heavenly chops fused into one. Then they smashed directly with the vortex formed by the celestial origin energy. 
The big-headed boy's body was suddenly covered in cold sweat and he quickly retreated. He felt fear toward Wang Lin's strange spell. What was more, Su Mu hadn't used that terrifying thunder spell. When he thought about that thunder spell, the fear in the big-headed boy became even stronger. He immediately became anxious and shouted, Su Mu. I didn't kill a single person here. Why must you force me like this? Wang Lin's expression turned cold and he stopped. The big-headed boy's eyes revealed joy and he immediately rushed out. He opened his mouth and shouted, Su Mu, you and I are not enemies. It was I who was reckless. I'll leave now. His heart was pounding. This was a real life and death crisis. He vowed that if he escaped, he would immediately return to the main camp of the All Heaven Cultivators and expose Su Mu's identity. Su Mu. I'll remember today for my revenge. I'll ruin your name in the All Heaven Star System. When seniors like Blood God come to hunt down a traitor like you, I want to see how you will escape. Even if your senior apprentice brother is Qing Shui, he won't be able to protect you. The big-headed boy clenched his teeth, but he didn't dare to reveal his thoughts. He looked up at the sky and saw the atmosphere. As long as he breaks out from the atmosphere, this Su Mu wouldn't dare to attack with hundreds of cultivators serving as witnesses. Wang Lin sneered. He clearly knew what the big-headed body was thinking. He raised his right hand and the sound of a bell echoed inside his body. At the same time, the illusionary shadow of the ancient god Furnace appeared. After it appeared, Wang Lin unhurriedly said, exchange. In an instant, the escaping big-headed body released a ghostly glow. This ghostly light appeared too suddenly, causing him to become startled. However, soon, his eyes were filled with fear. His body instantly disappeared and switched places with Wang Lin. I already said that you can't escape. Wang Lin walked step by step toward the big-headed boy. The coldness in his eyes became even stronger. The big-headed boy's heart felt bitter. As Wang Lin closed in, an irresistible feeling spread through his heart like crazy. To him, Wang Lin was like a giant, indomitable spirit walking toward him. He mercilessly clenched his teeth and his eyes revealed a vicious light. He quickly retreated and his hands formed a seal. He began chanting in a strange language and a cold aura began to spread. Su Mu, you forced me. When the big-headed boy finished his chant, half-transparent runes appeared in the void before him. After the countless runes appeared, they didn't attack Wang Lin but entered the big-headed boy's body. A painful growl came from the big-headed boy. He knew that all his spells and magical treasures were useless before Su Mu. The more he thought about the shocking thunder spell Su Mu hadn't used yet, the more uneasy he felt. It was as if the other side was completely confident that all his methods to resist were completely insignificant. This feeling made his scalp felt numb and he even had the urge to surrender. However, he was unwilling, so he used his most powerful celestial spell without any hesitation for one last confrontation. As the runes entered his body, his entire body withered. It was as if all the essence in his body was gathering toward his head. Originally, his head was bigger than his body. Now that he had used this celestial spell, his body became even smaller and looked no different from a skeleton. However, now his head was so exaggerated that it was shocking to see. The large head caused the boy's appearance to become extremely ferocious. Large veins bulged from his forehead as if there were worms underneath. If a mortal saw this at night, they would die from terror. This big-headed boy originally didn't have much hair. After he used this strange spell, all his hair fell off. Now there wasn't a single strand of hair remaining on his head. A sharp laughter echoed as his hand formed a seal and pointed to both sides of his head. His gaze fell on Wang Lin and he shouted, Celestial spell, tendon displacement. As he roared, a loud popping sound appeared like a thunder rumble. The numerous squirming veins burst out from his head and turned into green snakes. The green snakes fused together and extended like a pillar toward Wang Lin. Wang Lin's expression was still neutral. The reason he didn't use any powerful spells was because he had other uses for the big-headed boy. If he used powerful spells, he wouldn't be able to hold back because he couldn't control them too well with his current cultivation. In addition, this person was one of the 36 Heaven Celestials. Wang Lin was not ready to sever ties with the All Heaven Star System yet. He could kill an ordinary cultivator, but not a Heaven Celestial near planet Suzaku, especially with hundreds of cultivators watching. It would not be a wise decision. However, with Wang Lin's attitude, since the other party had provoked him, he would naturally not let them go. He had an idea on how to perfectly deal with the situation. Chapter 891, Servant The big-headed boy's eyes shined brightly. He had the gaze of a vicious beast that was pushed to the edge and was fighting desperately. The big-headed boy's life was filled with tragedy. When he was born, his head was big and his body was small. During his childhood, he was often ridiculed by his peers. If that was the only issue, it would have been fine, but that wasn't the only abnormality. He was slow, and that foolish smile would always appear on his face. His mother disliked him and completely ignored him. He spent his childhood being bullied and abused. However, he didn't understand too much of this, and any time he saw someone, he would just smile foolishly. His talent made it impossible for him to cultivate. At age 15, he was kicked out of his family and was no longer part of the clan. 
However, no one would have thought that he would reappear in the family 500 years later. His appearance hadn't changed much, he still had that foolish smile, but he had reached the ascendant stage. This immediately caught the attention of the family. Since then, he became the elite of the family. Time slowly passed, and after thousands of years, the big-headed boy reached the peak of the corporeal yang stage. His childhood made his personality very twisted. During these thousands of years, many people were tortured and killed. Whether they were men or women, they all died miserably. He was an extremely cautious person. If he acted, he would ensure that no one would be able to find any clues. However, 30 years ago, during one of his killings, his family finally couldn't endure it anymore. The early stage Nirvana scryer ancestor personally came out to kill him. Every family member thought that this battle was in the bag, but the big-headed boy suddenly released early stage Nirvana scryer cultivation. He had already reached the Nirvana scryer stage decades ago but kept it hidden. Now he released his cultivation and began a battle with his ancestor. In this battle, the ancestor died and the big-headed boy was seriously injured and he retreated. After that, there was no news of him until the celestial competition. When he reappeared, it set off a huge wave in his family. Recalling his life, the viciousness in the big-headed boy's eyes became even stronger. As he roared, the tendons that shot out from his head carried an overbearing aura that could tear the world apart and shot toward Wang Lin. At the same time, celestial spiritual energy filled the area, and there was also demonic energy. The instant the meat pillar closed in on Wang Lin, it exploded into countless tendons that formed a net. The net surrounded a great area and closed in on Wang Lin. Wang Lin's eyes were calm. He sneered he spat out an item. This item was the celestial ceiling stamp. After it was spat out, a dazzling, golden glow and hundreds of thousands of runes appeared. The runes formed a golden vortex and swept forward. The tendon net immediately wrapped around the vortex, but the golden runes directly smashed into it. The golden runes landed and a seal was formed with each rune. In particular, the golden runes that had sealed a cultivator's origin soul were extremely fierce. When they landed, there would be a loud rumble and the strength of the seals was 100 times stronger than normal. In almost an instant, as the golden vortex swept the area, a golden glow covered the big-headed boy and he was completely sealed. A roar came from the big-headed boy as his eyes turned red and he began to struggle. The runes began to collapse, and at this moment, Wang Lin moved. Wang Lin's right foot took a step and ripples appeared. When he took the second step, it was as if space shrank and he could reach anywhere with just one step. Spatial bending. Wang Lin appeared next to the big-headed boy on the next step. His two right fingers formed a sword and his domain integrated into his finger. With a point of his finger, the yin and yang fishes appeared. His fingers were surrounded by black and white gas and he pressed them down. The golden runes all moved out of the way when his finger closed in, allowing Wang Lin to press down between the big-headed body's eyebrows. The big-headed boy's eyes were filled with fear and he retreated without hesitation. However, compared to Wang Lin, he was simply too slow. At this moment, he felt something hot explode within his body. Black and white gas surrounded his body and caused his extremely large head to immediately shrink. The tendons that expended out from his head rapidly shrank as well. He directly coughed out a mouthful of blood. This blood wasn't coughed out randomly, each drop charged toward Wang Lin. Every single drop of blood contained powerful celestial spiritual energy. If this blood fell on Wang Lin's body, his body would immediately collapse. After all, this big-headed boy's cultivation wasn't weak, he was a second-step cultivator at the Nirvana Scryer stage. Wang Lin's expression was neutral, and he didn't even dodge. When the fresh blood closed in, he softly said, Bind. 1. Thanks to his Nirvana Scryer cultivation, the bind spell was far stronger than before. What's more, the moment Wang Lin used the bind spell, the celestial bead left by Qing Shui rapidly spun and a trace of celestial origin energy entered the world. This immediately caused the bind spell to reach a new height since the time Wang Lin learned it. With one word, all the fresh blood coming toward Wang Lin was frozen in the air. Not only the blood, but even the big-headed boy who was trying to escape was frozen with fear in his eyes. From beginning to end, Wang Lin was still calm. He avoided the blood and his hand moved like lightning as he pressed down between the big-headed boy's eyebrows. The big-headed boy's body trembled as he was thrown away and popping sounds came from his body. The bind spell still hadn't dissipated as Wang Lin took a step and chased after him. However, just at this moment, his expression changed as rays of sword energy descended. They were the all-heaven cultivators who felt that something was wrong. Their cultivation was powerful and they broke through the atmosphere as they descended. The appearance of these people immediately caused a huge pressure for Planet Suzaku. When had the cultivators of Planet Suzaku seen so many powerful cultivators before? They were all startled. When the all-heaven cultivators descended, they immediately saw Wang Lin and the big-headed boy. When they saw Wang Lin, their expressions all changed greatly. Wang Lin didn't stop. As he chased, he slapped his bag of holding and the heaven tiger flag that represented his status as a thunder celestial was thrown out. The moment the flag appeared, there was a fierce tiger roar. 
Purple gas surrounded the flag that turned into a tiger and it roared directly at the all-heaven cultivators in the sky. I'm sparing with someone. All of you, wait outside. Anyone who dares to disobey will be killed. Wang Lin didn't even look back as his fingers landed between the big-headed boy's eyebrows again. More popping sounds came from the big-headed boy's body and he was mercilessly smashed into the ground. A large pit appeared with a bang, causing the earth around it to tremble. The smart ones among the hundreds of all-heaven cultivators immediately retreated and secretly complained. If they had known before, they wouldn't have come to take a look. The battle between two celestial title holders was not something they could participate in. With a few people leading the way, all the all-heaven cultivators followed suit and retreated. They left planet Suzaku and didn't dare to participate in this fight. This sudden reversal caused all the cultivators on planet Suzaku to understand that planet Suzaku's ancestor, Wang Lin, had a very high status among the all-heaven cultivators. Wang Lin landed on the ground and looked at the big-headed boy in the pit. The bind spell had ended and the big-headed boy's face was pale. The big-headed boy was covered in blood and his eyes were filled with terror as he looked at Wang Lin. Wang Lin coldly looked at the big-headed boy. He raised his hand and a flash of green light came from it. Thunder clouds began to gather in the sky above planet Suzaku and lightning flickered between the clouds. Then all the lightning seemed to be controlled as it rushed toward Wang Lin's right hand. In an instant, a ball of thunder gathered in Wang Lin's hand and started giving off popping sounds. There were also countless arcs that flew off from the ball of thunder. From a distance, it was as if the thunder of the heavens was completely under Wang Lin's control. When he saw the thunder, the big-headed boy trembled. The scene that caused him to fear Wang Lin from one line to heaven reappeared. This time he was scared, completely scared from the bottom of his heart. Brother Su, my 2000 years of cultivation were not easy. If there is something you need, please speak. As long as you don't kill me, I'll agree. The big-headed boy's pupils shrank as he stared at the ball of thunder. He was not a fool. Ever since his battle with Wang Lin began, Wang Lin never used any powerful spells, so he was obviously not set on killing him. If he had taken a step back first, he might have been able to avoid this catastrophe. Wang Lin calmly said, I need a servant. The big-headed boy silently pondered and said, I have already entered the celestial pool and lost my domain. I can't give you my Tao ideal. No problem, I have a spell. If you're willing, it will do no harm, but if you resist, then it will collapse and you will die. As Wang Lin spoke, he raised his right hand and a strange rune formed. Then celestial origin energy came out from the bead inside his body and gathered in the rune in Wang Lin's hand. There were flashes of golden light as a dark golden rune appeared in Wang Lin's right hand. When he received Celestial Emperor Qing Lin's Jade, aside from the refining method for Celestial Guards, there were also spells for controlling others. However, when Wang Lin tried them, they weren't as strong as the record said. Even the slave imprint used on Li Yuan was mentioned in Celestial Emperor Qing Lin's Jade. But after Wang Lin analyzed it, he still couldn't find any clues. This was until he learned of the Celestial Origin, that's when everything became clear. These sealing spells had to be used by Celestials. If there was no Celestial Origin, then they naturally couldn't display their true power. The celestial origin energy gathered to form the rune. Then the rune landed between the big-headed boy's eyebrows. At this instant, Wang Lin had a feeling that he only needed one thought for this big-headed boy to perish. He pondered for a bit and understood the difference between the seal and the celestial guard. Chapter 892, Returning Home It was obvious that Celestial Emperor Qing Lin had invented the celestial guard spell after these seals. The celestial guards imitated the ancient gods, while these seals were used to control their servants. There was a difference between the two. Celestial guards focused on the physical body and spells were second. Once it was successful, they would never betray you unless the caster released them. The sealing spell wasn't perfect when it came to loyalty. As long as it was a spell, it wouldn't be perfect. With the passage of time, various issues that could cause the spell to be broken would arise. Wang Lin was very clear about this. When the seal landed between the big-headed boy's eyebrows, his body trembled. All the celestial origin energy in his body began to activate and an identical seal formed on his origin soul. The big-headed boy took a deep breath as he got up with a wry smile and respectfully said, Greetings, Master. Wang Lin looked at the big-headed boy and said, Go outside the planet and send the all-heaven cultivators away. As for you, stay here. The big-headed boy quickly acknowledged the command and let out a sigh. He jumped into the air and charged into the sky. As Wang Lin looked at the familiar earth around him, his eyes became filled with nostalgia. He had many memories here. Wang Lin felt melancholy coming back after leaving for hundreds of years. This was a very complex emotion that couldn't be explained clearly. I don't know how many friends I can still meet. Wang Lin revealed a crestfallen expression. His shadow flickered and then Tashan stepped out and silently stood there. Wang Lin just stared at his home like this, and the melancholy in his heart became even stronger. Shortly after, the big-headed boy descended from the sky. He calmly stood behind Wang Lin. Several rays of light came from the distance. Two of them moved faster than the rest and quickly closed in. Those two were Zhou Wutai and Yun Kezi. 
Wang Lin took a step forward and his entire body disappeared. He only left behind a divine sense message that echoed within the hearts of Zhou Wutai and Yun Kezi. I want some quiet. The moment Zhou Wutai felt this divine sense, his body trembled and his mind was shocked. Although this divine sense was soft, it terrified him, and his heart was filled with respect. At the same time, there was also a complex feeling in his heart. I didn't think that he would become this powerful after hundreds of years. Zhou Wutai was, after all, the Suzaku, so he quickly suppressed the shock in his heart. He clasped his hands at Yun Kezi and then left with his people. Yun Kezi's emotions were even more complex. Wang Lin's divine sense had made him tremble as well. The little boy from back then had reached such an unimaginable cultivation level. He let out a sigh and felt as if he could still see the figure of the youth who paid for his drinks at the restaurant. He thought about the battle between himself and Zhu Kezi, the battle between the Forsaken Immortal Clan and the country of Suzaku. Now everything felt so insignificant. Coincidentally, both Zhou Wutai and Yun Kezi sealed the information about Wang Lin's return. Aside from the cultivators that awakened early, no one else knew that Wang Lin had returned. The reason the two of them did this was because Wang Lin's divine sense contained a hint of melancholy. He needed some time alone and didn't want others to disturb him. Several days later, Wang Lin looked at the familiar scene around him as he walked down a winding road. He wasn't moving very fast and his body gave off a powerful sense of loneliness. The sunset made his shadow very long and Wang Lin looked extremely lonely in the sunset. From a distance, Wang Lin didn't look like a youth and more like an old man. A wanderer who had left his home for many years. Tashan and the big-headed boy silently followed him. Tashan's expression didn't change, his only duty was to protect Wang Lin. If anyone showed hostility toward Wang Lin, he would be the first to attack. The big-headed boy was also silent. His heart was a mess and he couldn't clear his thoughts. Wang Lin slowly walked forward. Everything around him was unfamiliar, but there were traces of familiarity within them. This road used to be just a small country road. However, with the passage of time, it had changed greatly. As he walked, the melancholy in Wang Lin's hearts became even stronger. He vaguely saw the end of the road ahead. There was a huge city there, and it was filled with noise. There was a plaque on top of the city gate, and there were three characters on the plaque. Wang Ancestral City Looking at the city from a distance, Wang Lin stopped. The appearance of his hometown and the voice of his parents occupied his mind. Changed. Wang Lin's expression revealed sadness. This city was completely different from his memories. Sounds of horses and wheels on the ground echoed from behind Wang Lin while he pondered. Not long after, a team of carriages slowly arrived. These carriages were very ordinary. There were a few people riding on horses ahead of them to open up a path. Behind the horses were carriages, and a white-haired old man was sitting at the front of one of the carriages. High eyes were like lightning. He was clearly a martial arts expert. The old man would sometimes raise the whip in his hand and with a snap increase the speed of the carriage. When the old man passed Wang Lin, he seemed to casually turn to look at Wang Lin's group before withdrawing his gaze and leaving. Wang Lin's expression was complicated as he slowly walked forward behind the carriages. There were guards at the gate checking for road passes. Without one, they wouldn't let anyone in. This naturally didn't bother Wang Lin at all. None of the guards even noticed him walking by. After entering the city, the road was filled with pedestrians. The streets were lined with shops and looked very lively. Wang Lin slowly walked with loneliness in his heart. Everything before him was very unfamiliar to him. Everyone has changed. Wang Lin stood before a shop. As he looked at the shop, his vision turned blurry. He remembered that there used to be an old locust tree here with a blue stone at the root. During his youth, he would often sit here and study his scrolls. He still remembered how when fourth uncle had given him the chance to become a cultivator, he sat here that day and stared into the sky in a daze. The him back then really wanted to know what the world outside was like. Looking at the shop, Wang Lin silently pondered. Hundreds of years passed by in a flash. It might not be long for cultivators, but it was enough for many generations to pass for mortals. Maybe it was because he stood there for too long that the waiter walked out frowning and wanted to yell. However, when he saw Tashan, he was frightened. Such a big fellow was rare around here. When he took another look, he saw the big-headed boy. The big-headed boy looked strange and terrifying. The waiter only took one gaze and quickly turned pale. He retreated two steps as he looked at Wang Lin before calming himself and saying, Little brother, our shop sells jades. If you want to buy, come in. If not, leave. What is the meaning of you just standing here? Wang Lin let out a sigh and said, Waiter, was there an old locust tree here? The waiter originally didn't want to say anything, but after seeing Tashan and the big-headed boy behind Wang Lin, he answered, What old locust tree? I grew up in the Wang ancestral city and never saw any old locust tree. The melancholy in Wang Lin's eyes became even stronger and his heart felt bitter. He continued along the street and went further into the city. Tashan and the big-headed boy followed behind him. When the waiter saw Wang Lin leave, he let out a snort before going back to the shop. At this moment, an elderly man came out from the house holding a cane and with a servant supporting him. 
He asked in a hoarse voice, what happened outside? The waiter quickly went up and smiled. Shopkeeper, it was nothing. There were a few strange people asking me if there was an old locust tree here. I grew up here and never saw any old locust tree. I reckon they were mistaken about this place. The old man was startled and his dim eyes revealed a look of reminiscence. After a long time, he softly said, I remember that I was a child, the elders said that there used to be an old locust tree here. It has been a very long time. The waiter was startled, but he didn't take this to heart. As Wang Lin walked, there were no familiar sights. Everything was strange to him. It was as if something was blocking his heart and made him feel very uncomfortable. As he walked, Wang Lin suddenly shivered. His 1000 years of cultivation became extreme fragile and began to collapse from his body. He was like someone who had left his home for a long time. Then, after seeing all these strangers, he suddenly saw something familiar. Wang Lin looked ahead point one zero 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 feet ahead, there was an area surrounded by stone walls. There were teams of soldiers patrolling the area. It was obvious this place was well guarded and no one was allowed to enter. In addition, there were a dozen auras that belonged to cultivators surrounding this area. One could imagine that this must be the most important location in this city. What was inside the stone wall was something completely different from outside the walls. There were several houses in there that gave Wang Lin a familiar feeling. There was also a grave that was built afterwards. The soldiers patrolling the walls would sometimes look inside the walls, and their face would show respect from the bottom of their hearts. Chapter 893, Thank You All Wang Lin looked at all of this and then took a step. With this step, he completely disappeared, and when he reappeared, he was inside the wall. At this moment, the sun fell and night covered the earth. Wang Lin looked at everything before him, especially the tomb built by the later generations, and he knelt down. Unknowingly, two stream of tears fell. Dad, Mom, Taiju is back. Tears fell from his face and his eyes revealed his yearning and sadness that enveloped his body. This kneeling felt like it lasted for an eternity and time slowly passed. Tashan and the big-headed boy were also here. Tashan's eyes were still cold, but when the big-headed boy looked at all of this, his eyes revealed a complex expression. He originally didn't know what this place was, but after seeing Wang Lin's actions, he knew that this was Su Mu's ancestral home. The big-headed boy never experienced any affection, so right now he couldn't help but think of his own childhood. Wang Lin looked at the token on the tomb. After a long time, he slowly stood up and looked at the houses. It was as if he had returned to 1000 years ago, back to his most precious memories. As he opened the door of the yard, the door made a squeaking sound. Nothing in the courtyard was changed. The table was still there, but there were no people. Wang Lin could vaguely hear the sounds from 1000 years ago. Tai Zhu, how are your studies going? Tai Zhu, you have to study well. Next year will be the country's big test. This will determine if you have a future or not. Don't be like dad, staying in this village your entire life. Alas. Enough. You bug him about this every day. I believe our Tai Zhu will definitely pass. Tai Zhu, your fourth uncle is a good person. Over the years, it is thanked to his help that your father's wood carvings could be sold for money. If you have a good future, don't forget to repay your fourth uncle. An aura of sadness spread out from Wang Lin's body. He stepped into the courtyard and the home he had left for hundreds of years. After opening the door, although Wang Lin still looked like a youth, he gave off an ancient aura. He was like an old man who hadn't returned home in a long time and continued to touch everything with his hands. When Wang Lin touched the wall, the scenes of this childhood flashed through his mind. The sadness in his heart became even stronger and the yearning for his parents filled his body. After making Tashan and the big-headed boy wait outside, Wang Lin sat alone inside the ancestral home. He felt the aura of the house and forgot about the cultivation world as he recalled his joyous childhood and growing up under the love of his parents. The surroundings were completely quiet, and during this silence, Wang Lin's heart underwent a baptism. The memories of his childhood gradually resurfaced as he sat there alone. While he silently sat there, he sometimes revealed a happy smile and sometimes he revealed sadness. He was the only one who could recall his childhood memories, so he could only reminiscence about them on his own. His happiness was lonely. His smile was clearly filled with silent sadness. Tears fell from the corners of his eyes and were left on the ground like traces of memories. The moonlight gradually passed and the run rose, expelling the darkness. The sunlight fell on the earth and continued to extend as it covered the Wang ancestral city. As sunlight entered from the window, Wang Lin awakened from his reminiscence. He looked around profoundly before standing up and leaving. Tashan had stood there the entire night and remained motionless. The big-headed boy's expression was even more complex. He had spent the night remembering the pain of his childhood. For some unknown reason, he was able to find relief in those painful memories. The thing he thought most about was his mother that always disdained him. Before, this memory was a great source of pain, but now it was a lot less painful. Wang Lin's group didn't hide themselves. When dawn arrived, they immediately attracted the attention of the soldiers outside the wall. Bursts of exclamations came from outside the walls as the soldiers gathered. 
killing intent locked onto them as if the soldiers were facing a great enemy. At the same time, more than ten cultivators with various cultivation levels, from foundation establishment to soul formation, rushed over. Their divine senses quickly locked onto them. An furious roar came from outside the wall. Brazen fiends, you dare to break into the Wang ancestral home? Do you know that this is a crime where even your entire family will be punished? There was a flash of sword energy in the sky as the cultivators arrived, and they all looked angry. Wang Lin could tell that this wasn't fake anger, but real anger. For the three of you to enter the Wang ancestral home without being detected means you must be cultivators. No matter what sect you're from, didn't your elders warn you all? Aside from the Wang family members, no one else is allowed to take even half a step inside. The one who spoke was an old man at the soul formation stage. Tashan revealed no expression and he didn't even look at them. The big-headed boy rolled his eyes but didn't speak. Looking at his parents' grave, Wang Lin withdrew his gaze. He looked up at the dozen or so cultivators and slowly asked, who built this grave? Wang Lin's voice was flat, but when it landed in the ears of the cultivators, it was as if the might of heavens had entered their ears. A feeling of being unable to resist suddenly appeared in their hearts. This feeling came suddenly, which caused the cultivators' expressions to change greatly. The soul formation cultivator's face turned pale. He had reached the soul formation stage and had obtained his own domain, so his feeling was even stronger. He felt like his own domain was going to be devoured. It was as if there was a force that made it so he had to answer. If he didn't answer, he would immediately collapse. He subconsciously took a few steps back and said, this. This was built by the mortal royal family. It is the home to the Wang family ancestors and also the childhood home of my planet Suzaku's ancestor. When he said this, he looked at Wang Lin and was startled. He had a vague feeling that this person looked very familiar, but no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't remember. Wang family. Wang Lin silently pondered and looked at his parents' grave. He turned around and was about to leave with Tashan and the big-headed boy. However, just at this moment, a thunderous rumble came from the distance and a large amount of dark clouds rushed over. At the same time, an angry roar came from within the clouds. You have guts. You dare to trespass on the Wang ancestral home. My Xian Dao sect has guarded his place for generations. For you to trespass here means you think my Xian Dao sect doesn't exist. A person walked out along with the roar. This person had a head of white hair and his eyes were shining. As he walked out, the powerful aura of an early stage soul transformation cultivator cultivator appeared. After the surrounding cultivators saw the old man, they became respectful. It was obvious that this old man's prestige here was high. Xian Dao sect. Wang Lin's gaze toward the old man became a bit more gentle. He nodded and slowly said, since you have reached the soul transformation stage, has the country of Zhao reached rank 5? The old man came in angrily, but he was startled. He frowned and said, my country of Zhao became a rank 5 cultivation country 300 years ago. All the cultivators on planet Suzaka know this. Who are you? However, when he looked at Wang Lin, Wang Lin felt familiar. It was as if he had seen Wang Lin somewhere before. Rank 5 Cultivation Country Wang Lin looked at the earth and felt gratified. When he left, the country of Zhao was only rank 3, but now, even though it had only been several hundred years, it had already reached rank 5. After withdrawing his gaze, Wang Lin carefully looked at the old man. Taking a closer look, he was able to see some clues and smiled. He was vaguely able to detect a very faint aura. This aura belonged to himself. He remembered that when he reached the soul formation stage in the country of Zhao, he left behind ten spirit seeds. This old man was one of those ten people. Wang Lin asked with a smile, during these years, was it your Xian Dao sect that guarded this place? Are all these cultivators disciples of the Xian Dao sect? The old man frowned and carefully looked at Wang Lin's group. For some unknown reason, his anger was forcibly suppressed, as if the person before him was very close to him. He hesitated for a bit and said, it wasn't only my Xian Dao sect. Every once in a while, a different sect from planet Suzaku comes to guard this place. Those that come are all respected figures or ones with excellent talent that will be cultivated by the sect. Guarding the Wang ancestral home is a great honor for the cultivators of planet Suzaku. The old man didn't know why he was explaining it in such detail to Wang Lin. Even he didn't know why he was doing it. After hearing the old man's words, Wang Lin's gaze swept past the other cultivators. Each of them had very good talent. With Wang Lin's experience, he was immediately able to tell that the old man was telling the truth. After silently pondering for a bit, Wang Lin let out a sigh. He was touched and said, thank you all. With that, he waved his sleeves and origin energy appeared. They became small crystals that fell on every cultivator. Even the guards lying on the ground had crystals fall on them. Every cultivator was startled and immediately felt heat flowing through their bodies. Their expressions became strange. You. The soul transformation old man was even more surprised. He looked at Wang Lin and felt like he was even more familiar. You're very good. It wasn't in vain that I gifted the spirit seed back then. As Wang Lin spoke, he turned around and left with Tashan and the big-headed boy following him. The three of them disappeared over the horizon. 
Spirit Seed. Spirit. The old man's body trembled and he immediately thought of the other person's identity. His face revealed excitement that hadn't appeared in hundreds of years and he exclaimed, Wang family ancestor. After he spoke, the surrounding cultivators were all shaken and revealed excitement. They couldn't believe their eyes as they stared at the direction Wang Lin disappeared. He. He is the Wang family ancestor. The guardian of planet Suzaku. The number one person on the planet over these countless years. Wang family ancestor, Wang Lin. Chapter 894, Great Wang Dynasty. Wang Lin only needed to ponder a little to understand why the cultivators of planet Suzaku respected him so much. Zhou Wutai must have played a big role in this. In truth, it was as Wang Lin had suspected. The big-eared cultivator, Zhou Wutai, had been grateful to Wang Lin for giving him the position of Suzaku. However, after Wang Lin left, he never had a chance to repay Wang Lin. Zhou Wutai was a grateful person, he always remembered what Wang Lin had done for him. As a result, whether it was Wang Lin's descendants or the sect Wang Lin left behind, even the country of Zhao, they all slowly became powerful under Zhou Wutai's care. It was very easy with Zhou Wutai's status as the new Suzaku to make the Wang family royalty. This also allowed the country of Zhao to gradually grow stronger until it became a rank 5 cultivation country. People naturally knew this was all for Wang Lin's sake. Wang Lin's actions in the Suzaku tomb had spread far and wide. After thinking about it, Zhou Wutai gradually made all the cultivators accept Wang Lin as planet Suzaku's guardian and ancestor. Zhou Wutai had another reason for doing all of this. When he became Suzaku, he was only at the soul transformation stage, not even ascendant. He was the weakest Suzaku and didn't have the power to rule. Thus, he could only borrow Wang Lin's fame to suppress everyone. As Wang Lin pondered, although he wasn't able to guess everything, he was still able to get the general idea. He let out Sai. No matter what reason Zhou Wutai had, Wang Lin would need to repay him. As he flew, Tashan and the big-headed boy followed behind him, and Tashan's expression remained cold the entire way. As for the big-headed boy, after seeing Wang Lin returning home, his feelings toward his own family became even more complex. He could see that everyone here was truly respectful toward Su Mu from the bottom of their hearts. The big-headed boy knew that if he were to return to his family with his current cultivation, he would be respected as well. However, he knew that the respect would be fake. A large city appeared in the distance. This city was like a coiled dragon and was filled with the aura of wealth. The walls were made of black stone and there were spell fluctuations coming from them. Before he closed in, Wang Lin could see that there were many powerful restrictions inside the city. There were too many, and if all of them were to activate, they would even pose a certain amount of threat to ascendant cultivators. This was the only mortal imperial city on planet Suzaku outside the land occupied by the Forsaken Immortal Clan. The Great Wang Dynasty. It was founded 437 years ago and became the most important clan of mortals aside from the Forsaken Immortal Clan. The Wang Imperial family had a very long family history. More than 400 years of consolidation had allowed the dynasty to amass a large amount of soldiers, and even countless martial artists had joined them. However, what made the dynasty so powerful was the large amount of cultivators. In addition to the Cloud Sky sect, Zhou Wutai and various other sects acted as their backing. The Wang clan members enjoyed a very high status due to this. Wang Lin's divine sense surrounded the entire planet. He felt the call of his bloodline and came here. This capital had the highest concentration of Wang family bloodline. As his divine sense swept by, he didn't find Wang Zhuo. He let out a sigh and then disappeared. When he reappeared, he was inside the imperial palace. Looking at the lively crowd in the luxurious houses, Wang Lin gradually frowned. This capital was too luxurious. There were precious blue and white stones used for the roads. As he spread out his divine sense, he found that the entire city was like this. If this was only the case, it wouldn't have been a big deal, but the surrounding trees were all wrapped in silk. Although it looked luxurious, it was all just corruption. After reaching his current cultivation level, Wang Lin was able to see certain things. There were sadness, anger, fear, and various other auras that could disturb a person's mind. If one lived here for too long, their personality would change and their emotions would be unstable. It would even shorten one's lifespan. This aura was a form of resentment. Wang Lin had once asked people to gather this on planet Qingling. Now that he saw this monstrous resentment above the capital, he frowned even harder. As his divine sense spread out, he found that numerous cities had varying degrees of resentment. This resentment covered half of planet Suzaku. This resentment was coming from the houses of every village and gathered near where mortals lived and continued to linger without dissipating. In particular, this was most noticeable in the northwest, where the soil was red and corpses were everywhere. Large amounts of resentment was coming from there and spreading across the area. If the other cities had strong resentment, then the resentment at the capital was a monstrous demonic flame that shot into the sky. Only someone with Wang Lin's cultivation level could notice this, and only after carefully looking for it. Otherwise, if one's cultivation was lacking, it would be impossible to detect. Nonsense. Wang Lin's expression was gloomy as he walked down the street. He was happy to see the prosperity of his Wang family descendants. 
However, this prosperity was built on resentment, and the Wang family descendants were greatly affected. If this was the case, then there was no need for this wealth. As he walked, there were echoes of horse hooves coming from the distance. The pedestrians quickly panicked and withdrew to the sides. Wang Lin frowned as he took a few steps back and looked over with a gloomy expression. Several large horses galloped down the street with a few youths riding them and a large amount of servants following them. All of the servants were walking, but they were as fast as horses. The young men on the horses were all wearing fancy clothes and the person in front was very handsome. However, there was black gas surrounding his face. Even if a cultivator was at the ascendant stage, it would be hard for them to see through it, but it was very clear to Wang Lin. In the air, there were two rays of sword energy. There were two cultivators on the swords, and both of them were at the foundation establishment stage. They were opening a path for the youth. If they were just showing off, it won't be a problem, but what made Wang Lin frown was the cable tied to the horse the youth was riding. At the end of the cable was a person. The person was a mess and it was hard to see what he looked like, but it was obviously a man. At this moment, he was being dragged and his clothes were in tatters. A large amount of blood was coming from his body and staining the ground. It looked as if someone was using cinnabar to draw a shocking trail of bloodstains. These people quickly passed by followed by the echoes of their laughter. The martial artists quickly passed by and the two cultivators flew by without even taking a glance. After these people left, a group of soldiers quickly came to clean the bloodstains. Then they quickly followed and cleaned up the bloodstains along the way. It wasn't until they all left that the surrounding people began to chatter and return to normal. Alas, what bad luck. Who was it this time that was blind and dared to provoke the 16th prince? I'm afraid he's going to be dragged around the capital once before he is allowed to die. No, in our great Wang dynasty the Wang family is the heavens. Even the immortals became their servants, who would dare to provoke them? Don't talk about this. A few months ago, the national teacher was viewing the night sky and noticed a vicious sign coming from the northwest. As a result, hundreds of thousands of people in the northwest were slaughtered. I heard that even now, the northwest is covered in corpses. We can't talk about this. Brotherly, let's talk about something else so we don't cause calamity to befall us. Wang Lin's expression was extremely gloomy. He clearly saw that the young man was part of the Wang family bloodline. Wang Lin softly said, Tashan, bring him here. Tashan didn't say a word before he turned around and disappeared. A moment later, he reappeared with a person in his hand. This person was the fancy-looking youth. At this moment, his eyes were filled with horror and he repeatedly cursed. You dare to capture me? Which sect are you from? Do you know who I am? I'm a member of the Wang family. Ta Shan's expression was cold as he walked toward Wang Lin. The youth was immediately thrown onto the ground. This scene immediately startled the dispersing crowd before all of them quickly left without any hesitation. Their eyes were filled with terror. The fancy-looking youth had a ferocious expression as he got up and stared at Ta Shan. Although he was secretly scared, he didn't reveal any fear and shouted, I'm a member of the Wang family, yet you dare to hurt me? No matter what sect you're from, you're dead. Wang Lin's expression was cold as he stared at the youth. He could see dense, black gas coming from the youth's head. The black gas formed a snake that opened its mouth and silently roared at Ta Shan. Those whose cultivation hadn't reached the second step wouldn't be able to detect this. They would only feel a cold aura explode from the youth that would make their heart tremble. Just at this moment, shouting came from the street in the distance. The group that left slaughtered their way back. Two rays of sword energy led the charge followed by the servants. The martial artists were filled with killing intent. There were a few youths riding on horses among the people that arrived, and each of them ferociously shouted, Capture that thief! There is an assassin, protect the prince! The two rays of sword energy charged out first toward Tashan. The two of them attacked without thinking. They hadn't even noticed these people, and when they did, the prince was gone. Terrified, they turned around to search and saw Tashan throwing the prince on the ground and they gasped. They were disciples of the Cloud Sky sect sent here to protect the princes. If something happened to the prince, they would be punished when they returned to the sect. They charged out with their swords pointed toward Tashan. Chapter 895, Wrath Tashan's expression was cold as he casually waved his hand. He created a strong wind that blew the sword energies away and their flying swords collapsed. The two of them only felt an unimaginable impact. They both coughed out blood and were blown away. As for the martial artists charging over, it was as if their bodies had hit a wall. They all coughed out blood and were pushed back. No one was spared. Tashan didn't kill anyone. With a wave of his hand, he only injured the two cultivators and these people. When the youth saw this scene, he was immediately startled. However, his expression became even more ferocious and he shouted. I'm a member of the Wang family. You dare to hurt my men? You are all dead. Wang Lin raised his right hand and slapped the youth. He didn't use any cultivation and merely slapped as a mortal. After all, the youth was not a cultivator, if he used any power, he would shatter all the bones in the youth's body. Even so, the youth was thrown into the air. 
His face became swollen and all his teeth shattered. What he slapped wasn't just the youth but also the black snake. The black snake was extremely strange. The moment Wang Lin's slap landed, it disappeared, but then it immediately reformed. I left the youth's body and attempted to devour Wang Lin. Only Tashan and the big-headed boy could see it. Everyone behind Wang Lin only felt a gust of cold wind. I want to see who dares to use my Wang clan to raise resentful spirits. Wang Lin's eyes were cold and he was furious. With his cultivation, he could tell at a glance that the youth's soul had already been devoured and replaced by the resentful spirit. As the snake charged over, Wang Lin raised his right hand and pointed. Before this finger, the snake's eyes were filled with fear and wanted to escape. However, it was too late, and with a bang, the snake exploded. It turned into black mist that was grabbed by Wang Lin. He crushed it and it turned into a black rune. After the black snake was gone, the youth's body trembled and coughed out a large mouthful of blood. His face was no longer ferocious and was filled with confusion. His soul had already been devoured, so his eyes became dim and lost their luster. The surroundings were completely silent, but this silence only lasted for an instant and was immediately replaced by screams. The crowd panicked and escaped as fast as possible. It didn't take long before there wasn't anyone left. Wang Lin's eyes became cold. When his divine sense spread out, he didn't notice anything wrong. However, when he took a closer look, he was immediately able to understand that someone was using the Wang family members' lives to nourish resentful spirits. Wang Lin had heard about this kind of spell before. It was like refining a sword. A person was used as a spirit that absorbed resentment. If enough resentment was absorbed, its power was nothing to laugh at. Combining with the monstrous resentment over the capital, Wang Lin could imagine someone was controlling all of this. The more resentment there was, the more powerful the resentful spirit could become. Angered, Wang Lin's eyes became even colder. When he threw the black rune forward, it began flying forward by itself. Wang Lin had his hand behind him as he walked behind the rune. Tashan and the big-headed boy followed closely after him. A prince being killed in the capital was naturally a big thing. Not long after, rays of sword energy rushed over from all over the capital. There were cultivators from various sects on planet Suzaku riding those sword energies. Their eyes were like lightning and they didn't even bother speaking to Wang Lin before they attacked with their magical treasures. Wang Lin's expression was cold as he waved his sleeves. All the magical treasures were blown away. The cultivators on the flying swords were terrified as they were blown away involuntarily by the wind. In the blink of an eye, they were sent 5,000 kilometers away. This. What spell is this? That person looked very familiar. The expressions of those cultivators that were sent 5,000 kilometers away all changed greatly. They all panicked and none of them dared to move forward. They all quickly rode their flying swords toward their own sects. Wang Lin's eyes were cold. He was extremely angry. As he walked toward the imperial palace, countless soldiers charged at him. Wang Lin didn't want to hurt them, so when he waved his sleeves and they were sent tens of thousands of kilometers away. He came closer and closer to the imperial palace. At this moment, in the main hall, there was a middle-aged man wearing a dragon robe, and his expression was gloomy. Beside him was a very noble and beautiful woman who was wearing a colorful dress. However, there was black fog in her eyes and a trace of panic flashed across her eyes. At the same time, countless Wang family members wearing silk clothes gloomily stared ahead. Outside the hall, there were countless teams of soldiers in the square preparing to face a great enemy. A killing aura filled the area. The middle-aged man mercilessly threw the ink slab and shouted, What kind of person dares to kill in my great Wang dynasty? Did you find out what sect he is from? The surroundings were completely quiet. After a while, a white-haired cultivator hesitated before stepping out and saying, Their three people are very powerful, they are probably seniors with high cultivation levels. As for their sects, we are still looking into it. The middle-aged man's expression became gloomy and he sneered. It seems my Wang family has been too quiet on planet Suzaku. Even some nameless person dares to bully us. Where is the national teacher? With that, a laugh echoed the imperial palace. My lord doesn't need to worry. My disciples can deal with this. Strands of black gas gathered in the air above the square, and in an instant, three people formed. Although they were covered by black mist, it was obvious that they were two males and one female. None of them were very old. After the three of them appeared, they didn't even look at the imperial palace. They turned into three strands of black gas and charged out. As Wang Lin walked, his eyes became colder. The rune before him had become even more dense, and he was now outside the gate to the imperial palace. The countless soldiers inside had serious expressions as they stared at Wang Lin's group. Just at this moment, the three strands of black gas arrived and charged at Wang Lin. Before they even arrived, a burst of pressure appeared and a ghostly wail spread across the heavens and earth. Wang Lin was immediately able to tell that these three cultivators' cultivation levels weren't high, they were only at the soul transformation stage. However, their attacks were very powerful, almost at the level of Ascendant. There was no Wang family bloodline in those three bodies, only endless resentment. They were clearly resentful spirits that had already been refined to a certain degree. 
Wang Lin's eyes were filled with killing intent. As he walked out, he immediately arrived before the three of them. Both his fingers formed a sword and immediately pointed at one of them. He was too fast and his finger landed on the person's shoulder. At this moment, his early stage Nirvana Scryer origin energy surged and rushed into that person's body. That person's body trembled and collapsed without any resistance. He turned into black gas and was going to escape, but it was too late. With Wang Lin's cultivation, when he attacked from anger, he not only destroyed the resentful spirit's body, but also the root. As the resentful spirit escaped, it immediately exploded, leaving nothing but the resentment that slowly dissipated. All of this happened in an instant. From the point of view of the other resentful spirits, Wang Lin had only taken a step, raised his hand, and then one of their companions was killed. When they saw this, their eyes revealed their panic. After killing one, Wang Lin's left hand slammed into the void and an unimaginable vibration suddenly broke out and formed a storm. As the storm swept by, another resentful spirit was pulled in. Its body collapsed and immediately died. After killing two in a row, Wang Lin suddenly turned around, and his eyes were filled with thunder. The last woman immediately trembled as thunder appeared inside her body and she exploded. Wang Lin's eyes became even colder. He stepped into the air and moved toward the Imperial Palace. As Wang Lin walked in the air, he stepped into the Imperial Palace and directly into the Royal Court. He immediately saw the Imperial soldiers in the square and the Wang descendants in the main hall. There were many cultivators on the side. Their eyes were filled with killing intent, but none of them dared to attack. They couldn't see through Wang Lin's cultivation, but they all knew they couldn't kill the national teacher's three disciples so easily. As a result, they were extremely afraid of this intruder. Wang Lin stood above the square. He stared at the people below and coldly said, Very good. You are did really good. He could see hundreds of Wang clan members, but this wasn't all of them. Among those people, almost all of them had black gas between their eyebrows. However, what was interesting was that the middle-aged man with the dragon robe didn't have the black gas between his eyebrows. As for the woman beside him, the black fog had disappeared and there weren't any signs of cultivation in her. No matter how one looked, she was immortal. Wang Lin's voice echoed like the cold winter wind. As it flew by, it caused everyone's minds to tremble. When the middle-aged man saw Wang Lin, he was startled and his eyes were filled with shock. However, the shock was immediately replaced by killing intent and he shouted, by the order of the Wang family, kill this person. Chapter 896, Corpse Sect Almost at the instant the man shouted, a loud rumble came from the ground underneath the square. Cracks appeared on the ground and eight old men charged out. These eight elders all gave off an ancient auras. After they appeared, they stared at Wang Lin and charged forward without any hesitation. The anger in Wang Lin's eyes became even stronger. These eight elders all had black gas between their eyebrows. However, there was a golden glow that guarded their souls. Wang Lin took a step forward, pointed forward, and eight strands of black and white gas shot out toward each of them. The black and white gas surrounded them, and at that instant, it destroyed the black gas between their eyebrows. The eight elders' bodies trembled and they immediately became sober. The first thing they saw was the angry Wang Lin. They trembled and one of them exclaimed, Ancestor Wang Lin. The remaining seven all revealed excited expressions. After that was said, a huge uproar was set off below them. The expressions of the cultivators changed. They couldn't believe it. In contrast, the Wang family members all revealed strange expressions, only a few of them revealed excitement. Just at this moment, the large amount of black mist that came out from the old man fused together into a large python hundreds of feet long. It let out a roar and charged toward Wang Lin. This time, Tushan directly stepped forward and threw his right fist. There was an earth-shattering sound and the python immediately collapsed. Tushan withdrew his fist and returned behind Wang Lin. From start to finish, his expression remained cold. Killing intent flashed through Wang Lin's eyes. He raised his right hand and pressed down. The earth rumbled, and as the powerful force bombarded the ground, a person flew out from the pit. This person's upper body was naked and his long hair flowed in the air. His pupils shrank when he saw Wang Lin in the air. You dare to raise resentful spirits in my Wang family descendants? You die. Wang Lin's voice was very cold as he took a step. Thunder appeared on his right arm and shot toward the man. The man's expression changed greatly. He thought that he had hidden himself very well, but he was still found out, and now he quickly retreated. His cultivation level was far above anyone on planet Suzaku, he was at the illusory Yin stage. However, at this moment, his mind trembled. He looked back into the hall at the woman in the colored dress next to the middle-aged man. The woman's eyes were cold. When she saw Wang Lin attacking the man, she let out a cold snort in her heart. She raised her right hand and was about to use a spell. However, just at this moment, as Wang Lin charged toward the man, ripples appeared under his feet and he suddenly disappeared. This disappearance startled the man, but his eyes lit up and he escaped without hesitation. Ta Shan's eyes turned cold and he was going to chase, but the big-headed boy was one step ahead. With a foolish smile on his face, he chased after the man. 
As for the woman in the colorful dress, she was also startled, but her expression changed greatly. She suddenly charged out, but it was too late. Wang Lin's figure appeared in the hall right next to the woman. Thunder flashed across his eyes as he pointed out in anger. Countless bolts of thunder from the heaven seemed to penetrate the void through some incredible means and directly gathered at his fingertip. This finger carrying the power of thunder landed on the middle of the woman's back. The woman's body trembled violently and she coughed out a large mouthful of blood. There was a giant python coiled up above her head. However, the moment the python appeared, it collapsed and the woman turned pale. Just as the thunder was about to destroy her body and origin soul, there was a crisp cry of a phoenix. A five-colored phoenix appeared and blocked Wang Lin's thunder for her. She retreated and was about to use a spell, but Wang Lin was again one step ahead of her. He appeared beside her once more and his finger filled with thunder descended once more. As the thunder rumbled, the woman coughed out more blood and the phoenix trembled. She continued to retreat, but her speed simply couldn't compare to Wang Lin's. In a flash, Wang Lin moved like a ghost and pointed at her four times. The woman's body trembled violently. The continuous attacks had seriously injured her and she had no chance to fight back. The last point caused the phoenix to let out a miserable cry before it collapsed. The woman's eyes became alert and she snapped, I'm one of the seven phoenixes of planet Feng Wan. Do you dare to kill me? However, Wang Lin didn't stop at all and arrived next to her in a flash. Killing intent appeared in his eyes as he raised his right hand. Black and white gas circled his two fingers as he pressed them down on the woman's right shoulder. Black and white gas rushed into her body. Her body trembled and immediately collapsed. Her origin soul tried to escape, but it was sealed by the black and white gas and dragged to Wang Lin. Wang Lin didn't hesitate as he pressed his right hand on the woman's origin soul and used the soul search spell. As the woman screamed in pain, Wang Lin ransacked all her memories. The more he saw, the more gloomy his face became. At the end, his gaze was chilly cold and he mercilessly crushed her origin soul. Her origin soul turned into origin energy that was directly devoured by Wang Lin. He had already seen that there was something wrong with this woman. Although she tried to hide her cultivation, Wang Lin could clearly see her corporeal yang cultivation. If not for the phoenix spirit protecting her, just one thunder strike would have been enough to kill her. There were many Wang family members here, and Wang Lin could see that the black gas from the Wang family members were connected to her hand. It was obvious that this woman controlled their lives. Otherwise, the moment Wang Lin appeared, he would have killed her rather than forcing out the person hiding underground and attacking when she was distracted. The moment she died, a portion of the Wang family members coughed out blood. Then their eyes dimmed and they died. The black mist disappeared from the rest of the Wang family members and they regained their clarity. They looked at Wang Lin with excitement in their eyes before they knelt down and felt ashamed. The education every single Wang family member went through during their childhood involved observing the portrait of their Wang family ancestor. Wang Lin's appearance was engraved into their hearts. Now that their minds were clear, they immediately recognized Wang Lin. They weren't unfamiliar with Wang Lin with all the rumors. The reason why there were so many cultivators in the Great Wang Dynasty was because the Wang family produced Wang Lin. Ancestor, we were wrong. The eight old men were all kneeling on the ground. Wang Lin's gaze fell on the main hall and looked at the middle-aged man who was also kneeling. He coldly said, you all were indeed wrong, you couldn't even distinguish if someone was a Wang family member or not. The middle-aged man's expression changed greatly. Wang Lin let out a cold snort. This snort was like thunder that echoed endlessly. The middle-aged man was knocked out by this snort. Wang Lin's words startled all the Wang family members. Their gazes became gloomy as they stared at the middle-aged man that had passed out. After letting out a sigh, Wang Lin looked at the surrounding cultivators. He clasped his hands and said, Fellow cultivators, thank you all for taking care of my Wang family over the years. The cultivators quickly and respectfully accepted his thanks. After setting a few things, Wang Lin's divine sense spread out and he determined that there were no more people from planet Feng Wan here anymore. He turned to the old man kneeling on the ground and said, I leave you to deal with the matter here. I'll return in several days. Wang Lin's eyes were cold. He had learned a lot from the woman from Planet Feng Wan, and now there were some matters to deal with. Planet Feng Wan, Corpse Sect, you dare to have ideas about my Wang family descendants? Don't blame me for being merciless. Wang Lin's eyes were filled with killing intent. This time he was truly angry. From the memories of the woman from Planet Feng Wan, Wang Lin knew that she was indeed one of the seven phoenixes. However, at the same time, she was also a member of the Corpse Sect sent here to be the head elder. She had the same position as Sun Tai, but her cultivation level was much higher. Corpse Sect Wang Lin heard some secrets of the Corpse Sect from Sun Tai before his death. Things such as gathering resentment to nourish resentful spirits was one of the tasks of the Corpse Sect. From that woman's memories, Wang Lin knew that in the Great Wang Dynasty, almost every city had Corpse Sect members. It was like a large net that shrouded over the Great Wang Dynasty that constantly caused resentment and gathered resentment to nourish the resentful spirits. What Wang Lin was going to do was wipe those people out. However, it wasn't just the ones in the Great Wang Dynasty, he was going to uproot the Corpse Sect from planet Suzaku. 
And due to the matter with his descendants, he was going to pay the corpse sect a visit. That giant corpse and the weak divine sense were all things he was interested in. He just didn't know if that giant demon clan body was still there after hundreds of years. In the distance, the big-headed boy returned with a person in his hand. He had a foolish smile as he looked at Wang Lin. Kill it. Give me the origin soul. Wang Lin's expression was cold as he stepped toward the horizon. Tashan quickly followed. The big-headed cultivator licked his lips and his right hand squeezed. The person's head was crushed and the big-headed cultivator held the origin soul as he followed after Wang Lin. A huge change was occurring on planet Suzaku with Wang Lin's return. Chapter 897, The Wind Swept Away the Remaining Leaves The metal, wood, water, fire, and earth major cities were the closest ones to the capital. They surrounded the area within 50,000 kilometers of the capital and each contained a large amount of soldiers. With Wang Lin's speed, it only took a step for him to arrive at the metal city. Although it was a bit smaller than the capital, it was still luxurious. However, this luxury made the resentment even stronger. This resentment gathered in the air above the city like a demonic flame. It continued to rise and was very erratic. As he closed in on the city, Wang Lin's divine sense swept past the city inch by inch. His eyes lit up and he let out a cold snort. As this cold snort spread, explosions occurred in three locations. In the city lord's mansion, the advisor named Sun suddenly trembled and exploded into a pile of flesh. The same thing happened in the other two places. Wang Lin's expression was cold as turned around to leave. He was too fast. He didn't give the people of the corpse sect any chance at all. As his divine sense spread, bodies immediately exploded within the remaining four cities. After finishing with all of this, Wang Lin continued to move with his divine sense spread out across all the cities inside the Great Wang Dynasty. The corpse sect disciples all panicked as they flew out from the cities and tried to escape. However, the moment they flew into the air, a cold snort appeared. Their bodies trembled and were directly crushed by the divine sense sent out by a Nirvana scryer cultivator. Popping sounds echoed within the Great Wang Dynasty as the corpse sect disciples cough out blood before their bodies disintegrated. Even their souls collapsed, and large amounts of spiritual energy entered the earth of planet Suzaku to nourish it. This sudden event caused the citizens of the Great Wang Dynasty to panic. They didn't know what was happening and began to speculate endlessly. His divine sense swept across the Great Wang Dynasty. After killing the corpse sect disciples, Wang Lin's expression became even move gloomy. He had searched the memories of the woman from planet Feng Luan. Almost every city had corpse sect disciples collecting resentment and nourishing resentful spirits. This wasn't only happening on planet Suzaku, all the branch corpse sects were gathering resentment. Although that woman from planet Feng Luan was the head elder, someone like her normally wouldn't be sent to planet Suzaku. However, orders came from the corpse set headquarters to station a corporeal young cultivator here, and this the job fell in her hands. Wang Lin didn't care about any of this. What he found strange was a secret command that she had received from the corpse sect headquarters after arriving on planet Suzaku. No matter how hard Wang Lin searched the woman's memories, he couldn't find anything about the secret order. This meant that the order was given by someone with stronger cultivation, so he wasn't able to find out what it was. However, Wang Lin was able to make some guesses based on some clues. First of all, with that woman's background, she wouldn't become the concubine of a mortal. If that was the case, why was she at the imperial palace? With her cultivation, there was no need for direct control, she didn't even have to be there. Also, this woman hadn't been on planet Suzaku for long, less than 100 years. And she had only entered the Imperial Palace 10 years ago. Her memories were a complete blank from the moment when she arrived before the Imperial Palace, as if someone had taken them away. She didn't know why she was here. However, using her other memories, Wang Lin was able to find out what she was hiding from in the Imperial Palace. During these 10 years, this woman had been carefully hiding inside the Imperial Palace and was keeping her cultivation hidden. What exactly happened to her 10 years ago that made her flee to the most populated Imperial Palace? Besides, what made her think she wouldn't be found in the Imperial Palace? Wang Lin frowned. After pondering for a while, he decided to not think about this anymore. His divine sense no longer locked onto the city but swept across planet Suzaku, searching for the corpse sect. The corpse sect was a very large organization. Not just outside the planet, but even just on planet Suzaku, Wang Lin remembered that the corpse sect existed in almost every country. However, through the memories of that woman, Wang Lin was aware that the corpse sect had been reorganized. They were all concentrated in one place, and that place became the headquarters for the corpse sect on planet Suzaku. What was interesting was that the new headquarters was in the country of Zhao, where the corpse sect in Zhao used to be. After cleaning up the corpse sect members in various cities, Wang Lin headed straight toward the corpse sect in Zhao. He moved very fast and soon arrived at the corpse sect in Zhao. It had been hundreds of years since he had been here. While staring at the swamp ahead, his eyes turned cold and he muttered, Interesting. There are many more restrictions here than before. Wang Lin calmly said, Tashan, open this place up for me. Tashan's expression was cold as he took a few step forward. He didn't look at the swamp as he tightened his right first and bombarded the ground. 
At this moment, the ground began to tremble violently. The swamp on the ground was shaken into the air and the muddy water shot into the sky. It was as if someone had lifted the ground up. Countless flashes of restrictions appeared, and while these restrictions might have been effective against ascendant cultivators, they were useless against Tashan. With one punch, those restriction lights immediately collapsed and disappeared. A large crack appeared on the earth, and deep within this crack was a secret passage. Wang Lin walked forward into the secret passage and calmly walked in with Tashan following behind. As for the big-headed boy, he was quite interested as he looked around and followed behind as well. As he walked down this secret passage, Wang Lin felt melancholy. He had come here twice hundreds of years ago, and both times he had to be very careful. However, now he would do as he pleased here. As Wang Lin walked through the passage, he spread out his divine sense across the corpse sect and blocked all exits. He was here looking for the head of the corpse sect. Whether it was now or before, Wang Lin never had any goodwill toward the corpse sect. Not to mention they had actually dared to use the Wang family to nourish resentful spirits. Wang Lin had no special feelings toward these descendants from more than ten generations away. However, they were descendants of the Wang family, and seeing them bullied like this had really angered him. Along the way, any corpse sect cultivator detected by his divine sense immediately collapsed and died. There were many cultivators here. They had a gloomy expressions as they panicked and wanted to escape. However, with Wang Lin's divine sense sealing the passages, none of them could escape. As he walked, a flash of sword energy from the passage suddenly shot toward Wang Lin. This sword energy contained a powerful aura. The person who launched the attack had to be at the ascendant stage. As it charged through the narrow passage, there was a loud whistle. Wang Lin's expression was cold as he casually pointed with his hand and used a bit of his origin energy. Ripples appeared in the void and the sword energy immediately collapsed. A muffled groan appeared as the ripple from Wang Lin's fingertip spread. However, not only did the person not retreat, he moved even faster toward Wang Lin. Wang Lin had already seen what the ambusher looked like. This person's body was thin, as if he was a mummy. There were countless runes on this person's body, and the body gave off a foul smell. The person's eyes were dim, as if he no longer had a mind. While looking at the person, Wang Lin found him a bit familiar. In an instant, this mummy arrived next to Wang Lin. Wang Lin let out a sigh and kicked with his right foot. There was a sonic boom and his right foot landed on the mummy with a bang. The mummy began to disintegrate from its feet. This disintegration was rapid, and in an instant, the mummy turned to dust. The moment the mummy disappeared, his eyes regained clarity. He looked at Wang Lin with confusion, but he disappeared the next instant. I didn't think that Yi's eye, one, would become someone else's corpse puppet. Wang Lin let out a sigh as he walked forward. He didn't move fast and there were ambushers in many places before him. However, all of them collapsed in an instant. These ambushers were all corpse puppets. Wang Lin walked toward the corpse sect headquarters along the passage. The moment Wang Lin arrived, his eyes turned cold and he looked ahead. His gaze seemed to be able to pierce through the wall and extend inside the cave. He saw eight huge transfer arrays, and at this moment, numerous corpse sect members were standing within them. The transfer arrays activated and began to slowly disappear. You all can't escape. Wang Lin calmly said to himself. His divine sense swept past the eight transfer arrays, causing them to immediately begin to collapse. In an instant, three of the transfer arrays collapsed and all the corpse sect disciples disappeared into a spatial crack. At the same time, the other five transfer arrays also collapsed. Not a single corpse sect disciple was able to escape. If a cultivator at the second step wanted to wipe out a sect like this, it would require no blood. The second step cultivator merely need to use his divine sense to destroy the sect. Even Yin and Yang cultivators couldn't do this. After all, the Yin and Yang stages were only transition stages, only Nirvana scryer cultivators were really at the second step. 1. The corpse sect person who accepted Wang Lin into the corpse sect at the start. Chapter 898, Lei Ji. At this moment, the entire corpse sect headquarters was silent. This was a terrifying silence. The only sound was the rustling footsteps that came from the ground. This entire place was shrouded in a gloomy aura. Wang Lin walked ahead and passed through the caves. He was very calm and continued to walk down the path based off his memory until he arrived in the depths of the corpse sect. Looking at the sealed dead end, there was nothing abnormal on the surface. Wang Lin remembered that there used to be a cave here. He cultivated the underworld ascension method in that cave. He didn't stop and walked toward the wall. As he closed in, cracks appeared on the wall, and when he arrived, the wall collapsed. It was as if there was a strange force pushing forward. There was nothing that could stop Wang Lin from moving forward, and popping sounds echoed through the tunnel. As he walked forward, the wall continued to collapse and a passage was opened. If a cultivator saw this strange scene, they would be greatly shocked. Even though a cultivator at the yin and yang stage could do it, it would be very difficult. Only those who had truly entered the second step and touched the edge of law could easily do this. As Wang Lin moved forward, he arrived at where he used to cultivate. He looked around and felt a bit melancholy. After silently pondering for a moment, Wang Lin continued to walk forward. 
Before him was a wall with countless small holes that released cold energy. However, compared to before, the cold energy was a lot weaker. As he moved forward, the walls collapsed. Wang Lin didn't stop, he continued to walk forward. It didn't take long before he arrived at the deepest part of the corpse sect. It was a huge, underground cave. A coffin thousands of feet long floated in the middle of the cave. Save me. A faint voice suddenly echoed when Wang Lin entered. Wang Lin was familiar with this voice. However, the moment this voice appeared, it suddenly stopped. After a long time, the voice reappeared, but this time there was a hint of shock within it. You. You are that cultivator from back then. The voice was filled with unimaginable terror. Wang Lin's expression was calm as he approached the huge coffin. Although the coffin looked normal, there were countless restrictions covering it. This cascade of restrictions was not simple and gave off a powerful pressure. With Wang Lin's cultivation back then, he only felt his mind tremble without knowing the reason when he got close. However, now Wang Lin was able to clearly observe the restrictions on the coffin. Impossible. How did you reach this level of cultivation in only hundreds of years? This. This. The weak voice was extremely shocked. It was obvious that he recognized Wang Lin, and that was why he was so shocked. He clearly remembered that the cultivator before him had come here twice. The first time this cultivator came here, he was only at the foundation establishment stage. He didn't care because a foundation establishment cultivator couldn't help him. Hundreds of years later, this cultivator came a second time. This time, this little cultivator was almost at the soul transformation stage. That time, this little cultivator came to take his blood and completely ignored his call for help. In order to delay for time, he even tempted the little cultivator by promising to become his mount. However, in the end, he failed to escape, because that little cultivator was too cautious. He had always been angry about this, but he had no choice. However, now that this cultivator came the third time, he was shocked. He couldn't see through that little cultivator's cultivation. Forget this person, he couldn't even see through the cultivation of the two cultivators who were obviously servants. He could only feel a terrifying aura from the three of them. Wang Lin's expression was calm as he carefully looked at the coffin. He raised his right hand and casually pointed at the coffin. When his finger landed on the coffin, there was a loud bang that echoed across the cave and cracks spread like crazy from where Wang Lin to touched. The cracks covered the coffin in almost an instant. This looked very easy for Wang Lin, but what the giant demon clan ancestor saw made him terrified. The moment Wang Lin raised his fingertip, the thousands of feet long coffin immediately collapsed and scattered in all directions. Large amounts of white mist came out and filled the area. Inside the white mist was a very large naked man floating in the air. His skin was completely ashen. Unlike an ancient god, there were no cracks on his skin, it was completely smooth. There was a purplish plant covering the giant's body, and it constantly squirmed. As it moved, the giant's body would visibly shrink, but then it would quickly return to normal. As this cycle continued, large amounts of cold, white mist would be released by the plant. There was a faint axe mark that would sometime flash between the eyebrows of the giant. Save me. Son. Senior, save me. I, Lei Ji, am willing to become Senior's mount. Please save me, Senior. The giant's divine sense was weak, but this time there were no schemes hidden in his words, only the plead for help. Wang Lin looked at the purple thing that was wrapped around Lei Ji. He knew that the plant had taken root inside Lei Ji's body. It would only take several hundreds years before Lei Ji's life force was all absorbed and he would turn into a corpse. Wang Lin calmly asked, how many of your giant demon clan members were caught by the corpse sect? Senior, on planet Suzaku, I'm the only one. However, in the Alliance star system, I know that a large amount of my giant demon clan members were captured by the corpse sect. The corpse sect has their eye on my giant demon clan's bodies. However, if they try to possess our bodies normally, our bloodline ability will disappear. Their purpose is to possess our bodies while retaining the bloodline ability. The purple vine in my body is a strange plant that the corpse sect is using to take my life force but not affect my bloodline ability. Then they will be able to possess my body without any problem. If Wang Lin didn't have this current cultivation, Lei Ji wouldn't have told the truth, but now he said it without any hesitation. Strength was everything in the cultivation world. Wang Lin's eyes lit up and he looked at Lei Ji. His right hand reached out and Lei Ji's body trembled violently. The purple vine on Lei Ji's body began to move. In almost an instant, roots were being pulled out one by one and the vine rapidly contracted. A powerful pressure suddenly appeared. Wang Lin frowned as they looked at the purple vine. As the vines contracted, they let out a sharp scream. As the roots withdrew, an extremely ferocious plant hundreds of feet tall appeared in the air. There was a flower at the head of the planet. As the flower opened, it revealed rows of sharp teeth and drool came out. The vines were like the hands of the plants. A portion of them were connected to Lei Ji. The other vines also had flowers, and when those flowers opened, they all had sharp teeth as well. The sharp roar echoed and formed a storm that charged toward Wang Lin. Wang Lin's expression was cold. There was a divine sense inside that plant, it was not simply a planet. 
Senior, the divine sense of a corpse sect vice hall master is inside the plant. My body was prepared for this vice sect head. If Senior didn't come, I fear that when all my life force is gone after hundreds of years, he can possess my body without any obstacles. Although Lei Ji's divine sense was getting weaker, he still struggled to speak. After Wang Lin heard this, it was as if a bolt of lightning had flashed across his mind and he understood. The corpse sect focuses on trafficking bodies. In this world, the best body is an ancient god's body. However, there are too few ancient gods right now, so the corpse sect took a step back and set their sights on the giant demon clan. This kind of body combined with the spells of a cultivator is not something an ordinary cultivator can deal with. If a Nirvana scryer cultivator had this kind of body along with their spells and the giant demon clan's bloodline ability, it would something even I wouldn't be confident in fighting against unless I fused with my original body. Wang Lin's expression became gloomy. The corpse sect had too much secrets. He didn't know if possessing the bodies of the giant demon clan was considered important in the corpse sect. In the end of the day, this matter allowed Wang Lin to see through some of the mysteries shrouding the corpse sect. As the All Heaven army approached, Wang Lin believed that all of the corpse sect secrets would be revealed. As the demonic plant let out a sharp roar, its vines charged toward Wang Lin like crazy, wanting to tear Wang Lin into pieces. Wang Lin smiled and spat out the celestial ceiling stamp. It immediately grew and hundreds of thousands of golden runes flew out toward the plant. The celestial ceiling stamp created a loud rumble as it smashed down toward the plant. Wang Lin raised his right hand filled with thunder intent. Thunder immediately appeared from the void and gathered in Wang Lin's right hand. While controlling the thunder of the heavens for his own use, a purple ball of lighting appeared in Wang Lin's right hand in a flash. He pushed it forward and the ball of thunder immediately shot out toward the plant. At this moment, countless golden runes surrounded the huge plant and the celestial ceiling stamp smashed down. There was an earth-shattering bang that caused the cave to shake. Large amounts of crack appeared on the cave walls and large amounts of dirt fell off. The moment the celestial ceiling stamp fell, the ball of thunder arrived with a rumble. Bursts of angry roars came from the plant. This plant was heavily damaged, and as the thunder moved across the plant, mucus flew everywhere. Lei Ji was thrown away by the plant and landed on the ground with a thud. Who made me awaken from my sleep? You have to pay the price with your life. A gloomy voice slowly came out from the planet. Chapter 899, Resentment Hall Vice Hall Master, 1. The moment the voice echoed, the aura of a Nirvana scryer cultivator immediately spread out and formed a storm. This storm swept by the plant and forcibly shook the golden runes off. An illusory shadow appeared over the broken plant. This was someone wearing a black robe and completely covered in a dark fog. Wang Lin's expression was still calm as he looked at the black robed figure and coldly said, a mere Nirvana scryer origin soul. I want to see how you're going to make me pay with my life. Wang Lin's right hand formed a seal, and with a point of his finger, the withered Dao pair on this right hand flew out. When the beast bone appeared, a ghostly light flashed within its eyes. A powerful evil aura spread out and gray light appeared on the plant. The black-robed man raised his head and looked at Wang Lin without even looking at the plant and flew away. The plant below him immediately collapsed and scattered. Strands of purple gas came out from the plant that collapsed and entered the black-robed figure. For an instant, the figure began to turn solid. Wang Lin's eyes lit up as he took a step forward and his two fingers formed a sword. He pointed forward and countless bolts of thunder appeared from the void, forming a thunderstorm. With Wang Lin's guidance, the thunderstorm closed in on the black-robed man. The black-robed man's expression was gloomy and he immediately retreated while his hands formed a seal. A round, black screen appeared before him. The moment the thunderstorm arrived, a thunderous explosion echoed within the cave. The entire cave began to collapse on a large scale. The black-robed man let out a muffled groan and quickly retreated. Far away cultivator, if there is an issue, we can talk about it. This old man is Lu Qingyun, Corpse Sect Resentment Hall Vice Hall Master. The black-robed man was extremely shocked. He had just awakened, so his mind was still a blur. However, after he became sober, he found that the person who awakened him was a Nirvana scryer cultivator. If he still had his body, he wouldn't have been afraid, but now he no longer had a body. Also, this person wasn't the only Nirvana scryer cultivator. The big-headed boy was also a Nirvana scryer cultivator, and although the puppet wasn't, it was at the peak of the corporeal yang stage. The more he looked at the three, the more shocked he became. Not to mention the fact he didn't have a body, even if he did, he would have to immediately escape when facing them. The only possible way for him to fight would be if he could successfully possess the giant demon clan body, as he would be able to send someone away. Then he would use the power of the body to fight another and use his own spells to fight the last one. However, all of this was merely his in his mind. The black-robed man wryly smiled in his heart and quickly said, Fellow cultivator, I'm afraid this is a misunderstanding. I have just awakened and said some words that might have offended fellow cultivator, so I hope you will forgive me. If fellow cultivator likes this giant demon clan body, I can gift it to you as a token of friendship. As he spoke, he continued to retreat. Wang Lin didn't say a word as he moved like lightning after the black-robed man. 
Faint ripples appeared under his feet and his eyes shined as he chased after the black-robed man. Early Stage Nirvana Scryer Origin Soul A weakened Nirvana Scryer Origin Soul With this, I'm confident in allowing Ta Shan's body to reach the Nirvana Scryer stage. Lu Qingyun's eyes were filled with caution and he secretly complained. The reason he chose this half-abandoned planet was because there was nothing of value here to attract cultivators at this level. The plan was to quietly spend thousands of years here to possess this body and then return to the hall to compete for the position of hall master. However, he never would have imagined to attract a cultivator of this level here at the final moments. His mind quickly turned and he immediately thought that this was a scheme by the other vice hall masters. The three of them must have received some unknown benefits to come and destroy his base. They must have planned to attack him while he was still in his origin form state and wiped him out here. Damn it. In order to not attract the attention of the other vice hall masters, I was extremely cautious. I didn't even send any cultivators under me to protect me and only secretly manipulated some things. I didn't expect my location to still be found. Lu Qingyun was gloomy, and as he retreated, he carefully looked at Wang Lin's group. The more he looked at them, the more unfamiliar they appeared. He was a vice hall master of the corpse sect. Perhaps he hadn't seen all the Yin and Yang cultivator in the Alliance star system, but he had seen almost every cultivator who had reached the Nirvana Scryer stage. After all, not many cultivators could reach the Nirvana Scryer stage in the Alliance star system. In particular, that big-headed boy made him feel very confused. The big-headed boy's cultivation was at the Nirvana Scryer stage, but he couldn't feel any domain from him. Instead, he felt a powerful source of celestial spiritual energy. This. Celestial. Lu Qingyun's eyes widened and he retreated even faster. You can't escape. Ripples appeared under Wang Lin's feet and he suddenly disappeared. This almost made Lu Qingyun lose his wits. He screamed, spatial bending. His origin soul immediately collapsed into countless specks of light. The specks of light scattered and escaped upward like crazy. Those other vice hall masters sure paid big this time. To be able to invite a Nirvana Scryer cultivator who can use spatial bending, the price they paid must be unimaginable. Lu Qingyun was shaken, but at this moment, he was too busy to ponder it. Despair began to fill his heart. A cultivator who had mastered spatial bending was invincible among cultivators of the same level. They could advance and retreat as they wished. Fighting against someone like that was a nightmare. His origin soul turned into a ray of light and quickly escaped. However, Wang Lin stepped out from the void and mercilessly slammed his hand down. The world suddenly shook, and the powerful force caused the pieces of Lu Qingyun's body to fuse once more. His face was pale and he was about to retreat. A foolish laughter suddenly entered his ears. The big-headed boy shook his big head and blocked Lu Qingyun's path. In the distance, Tashan quickly closed in. Lu Qingyun bitterly smiled. He knew that he couldn't escape from a cultivator who had mastered spatial bending. He let out a sigh and said, Fellow cultivator, there is no life or death feud between us. Can you leave me a path to survival? I'll definitely repay you. Wang Lin looked at Lu Qingyun and slowly asked, How will you repay me? Lu Qingyun clenched his teeth and said, I have the origin soul of a Nirvana Scryer cultivator, how about that? This was the origin soul of his mortal enemy. Many years ago, he used the power of the corpse sect to destroy his enemy's body and took the origin soul. He originally wanted to use it to refine a puppet, but at this moment of life and death, he was willing to give it up. Wang Lin's expression remained neutral and he calmly said, Oh. Bring it here. Lu Qingyun's eyes lit up as he looked at Wang Lin and said, Fellow cultivator, if I take it out and you still don't let me go. Before he finished speaking, Wang Lin frowned and coldly looked at Lu Qingyun. He coldly said, I'll give you three breaths of time to consider. Lu Qingyun silently pondered before letting out a sigh. He touched between his brows with his right hand. There was a ripple and then a mirror appeared. After the mirror appeared, there was a flash of light and the origin soul of a middle-aged man slowly appeared. Lu Qingyun no longer hesitated. He sent the origin soul forward and it landed in Wang Lin's hand. After carefully looking at the origin soul, Wang Lin nodded. This origin soul was indeed that of a Nirvana Scryer cultivator. However, the mind was already gone, so it was only a shell of an origin soul. After taking the origin soul, Wang Lin shook his head. This isn't enough to trade for your life. Li Qingyun wryly smiled. He knew that the thing he gave was far too little compared to what the other vice hall masters must have paid. After pondering a while, his face was filled with uncertainty. A moment later, he suddenly jerked his head up as he clenched his teeth and said, Fellow cultivator, there is one thing I'm sure you will be satisfied with. As he spoke, there was a flash of viciousness in his eyes. His right hand touched the mirror that had appeared and a powerful pressure suddenly came out of it. Bang bang, bang bang. The sound of a heart beating came from the mirror, and after that, a corpse floated out. This corpse was completely red, and the moment it appeared, a monstrous flame filled the world. This flame was so intense that even the big-headed boy's expression changed. This is the Fire Spirit Corpse, rank 12 on my corpse sex corpse ranking. If one can successfully possess this corpse, then no fire spell in the world would be able to harm you. 
In addition, you would be able to control the fire of the world. The value of this corpse is extremely high and should be enough to exchange for my life. As Lu Qingyun spoke, he immediately threw the corpse at Wang Lin. The fire corpse was very fast and arrived near Wang Lin in an instant. However, as it got close, it suddenly opened its eyes and revealed a crazed light. Lu Qingyun's expression turned ferocious and he shouted, explode. The fire corpse collapsed. The power didn't affect planet Suzaku, it was all trapped in this small area. This way, its full power could be displayed. An unimaginable amount of flames suddenly charged into the sky and spread. In an instant, all the clouds disappeared and cracks appeared in the sky. This flame was too powerful, so Tashan had to retreat. Even the big-headed boy's expression was pale as he retreated. He knew that if the fire corpse had collapsed before him, he would not have been able to escape. He could have never guessed that Lu Qingyun would dare to fight when he was at such disadvantage. This was the first time the big-headed boy had gained a deep impression of Alliance cultivators. A mad laughter came from Lu Qingyun, then his ferocious figure flashed and he charged straight for the sky. With his personality, he would naturally compromise. Everything he had done was deliberate to confuse the others for this moment. If the collapse of the fire corpse spread out, it couldn't even be enough to affect the planet. However, if he were to concentrate the power, even though it still wasn't enough to affect the planet, he was confident no one of the same cultivation level as him could withstand it. Although it pains my heart to lose the fire corpse, to use it to destroy a cultivator that can use spatial bending was well worth it. After this person dies, the other two can't catch me at all. As Lu Qingyun laughed, he headed for the sky. He planned to return to the corpse sect as soon as possible to choose a body. As for the other vice hall masters, he intended to get his revenge on them. You can't escape. The cold and relentless voice was like the cold wind when it reached Lu Qingyun's ears. His body trembled and his eyes were filled with disbelief. His body stopped moving. Chapter 900, Resentment Hall Vice Hall Master, 2 Wang Lin's figure appeared before Lu Qingyun. He was calm and there were no injuries on his body. The image of a furnace slowly disappeared around Wang Lin. Not only was Lu Qingyun filled with disbelief, even the big-headed boy in the distance also gasped and his eyes became filled with shock. He knew that Wang Lin was strong, but he didn't think Wang Lin could have escaped without a scratch. He no longer dared to go against Wang Lin anymore, he was now even more afraid of Wang Lin. Wang Lin coldly looked at Li Qingyun, took a step, and then disappeared. Lu Qingyun was terrified as he anxiously said, fellow cultivator, it was a misunderstanding, a misunderstanding. This time, I'll really give you a treasure to trade for my life. I have. Without waiting for him to finish, Wang Lin's figure appeared behind Lu Qingyun just as he turned around to escape. Both of Wang Lin's fingers contained the thunder of the heavens. As the thunder rumbled in the sky, Wang Lin pressed down on the center of Lu Qingyun's back. There was a loud bang and Lu Qingyun was knocked away. His face was pale and his body was no longer solid, it was rapidly dissipating. Wang Lin had clearly seen through Lu Qingyun's trick. He had grown up in the Alliance star system and had witnessed too many sinister schemes. If he believed Lu Qingyun, then he wouldn't be Wang Lin. When Lu Qingyun took out the fire corpse, Wang Lin had already noticed something wrong and activated the ancient god furnace. The moment the fire corpse collapsed, he easily avoided everything with the ancient god furnace. Wang Lin had his reasons for giving Lu Qingyun this opportunity. He knew that as the vice hall master of the corpse sect, Lu Qingyun must have had some life-saving measures. If Wang Lin had just attacked, then, during the heat of battle, it would have been difficult to kill this person without suffering injuries. Thus, Wang Lin simply waited for Lu Qingyun to use his ace so he could easily avoid it. The moment Lu Qingyun used his ace would also be the moment he died. In truth, everything was as Wang Lin expected. This time, he didn't hold back. After attacking, he merged with the world once more and charged directly at Lu Qingyun once more. Lu Qingyun was very smart. As his origin soul was dissipating, he let out a wry smile and realized what Wang Lin was thinking. He secretly regretted his actions. Wang Lin's figure appeared once more, and as he pointed with his finger, countless bolts of thunder shot out. Thunder rumbled in the sky as bolts of lightning descended on Lu Qingyun. Then Wang Lin's fingers continued to land on Lu Qingyun. Each finger caused Lu Qingyun's origin soul to almost collapse, and he continued to retreat. Seeing that he had almost no chance to escape, Lu Qingyun's eyes revealed a flash of viciousness and he shouted, If you want to kill me, then be buried with me. There was madness in Lu Qingyun's eyes as he chose to self-destruct without any hesitation. This wasn't all of his origin soul. With his cunning, he would never take this risk. Back then, he split off a small portion of his origin soul to save his life in a moment of crisis. At this moment, he decided to give it his all. A destructive aura came out from his origin soul. He had a ferocious expression as he was about to explode. The self-destruction of a Nirvana Scryer cultivator was far more powerful than the fire corpses. Once he exploded, planet Suzaku would collapse. All life on the planet aside from a select few would die. Its effect the cultivation planet crystal would be unimaginable. This was one of the main concerns Wang Lin had that prevented him from attacking right away. 
Seeing that Lu Qingyun chose to explode, Wang Lin was calm and softly said, Celestial spell, stop. In an instant, the stop spell suddenly appeared. This spell's power was increased after infusing it with the celestial origin energy from Qing Shui. Lu Qingyun's exploding origin soul was frozen in place. Wang Lin arrived in front of Lu Qingyun's origin soul. As he grabbed the origin soul, ripples appeared under his feet, then he disappeared without a trace. Ripples appeared somewhere in the Alliance star system far away from planet Suzaku. Wang Lin appeared and quickly placed restrictions on Lu Qingyun's origin soul. Then his left hand mercilessly slapped Lu Qingyun's origin soul. The origin energy in his body surged out and shook Lu Qingyun's origin soul. This caused the destructive aura coming from Lu Qingyun's origin tool to immediately dissipate. After placing countless restrictions on the origin soul to completely stop its self-destruction, Wang Lin threw the origin soul into his bag. He then turned around, ripples appeared under his feet, and he disappeared into the sky. The big-headed boy's pupils contracted and his fear of Wang Lin became even stronger in his heart. He knew that if he was facing that collapsing Nirvana Scryer origin soul, he wouldn't have been able to deal with it so easily. If he was careless, he could have even been injured. In particular, when Lu Qingyun chose to self-destruct, the big-headed boy's scalp tinged. However, what shocked him even more was Wang Lin's calm expression that made it seem as if everything was going as planned. Wang Lin's actions were extremely fluid as he took away the origin soul. All of this shocked the big-headed boy. He truly respected Wang Lin at this moment. Serving as this person's servant is not an insult to my status. The big-headed boy took a deep breath. Ripples appeared in the sky before him and Wang Lin appeared. Wang Lin didn't say anything to him before looking down on the earth and saying, Lei Ji, come out. The earth shook as Lei Ji's huge body slowly flew into the air. At this moment, he was still a bit weak. When he saw Wang Lin, his eyes contained a trace of awe. He was watching the battle just now, and he was very shocked by Wang Lin's strange spell and constantly calm expression. He stood there and respectfully said, Lei Ji greets master. From now on, you are my mount. If you have any rebellious thoughts, your origin soul will be destroyed. When Wang Lin's eyes fell on Lei Ji, Lei Ji felt as if two rays of sword energy had just pierced his eyes. His mind trembled and he quickly nodded. Wang Lin slapped his bag of holding and took out a bottle. He threw it at Lei Ji and said, take out some of your heart blood and fill this bottle. With that, Wang Lin began to walk forward. Tashan and the big-headed boy followed behind Wang Lin. Lei Ji held the small bottle and let out a sigh. Popping sounds came from his body and his body immediately contracted. He went from being thousands of feet tall and shrank until he was only 30 feet tall as he followed Wang Lin. At the same time, his heart ached as he pointed at this heart with his right hand. Blood flew out of his heart and made its way into the small bottle. Wang Lin had saved this giant demon clan ancestor for the trace of ancient god aura in his blood. Although Wang Lin's cultivation level was higher during his return to the Alliance star system, the danger he sensed was also increasing. He needed to refine his spells on planet Suzaku, and the first were his ancient god spells. With this blood, Wang Lin would be able to use some of the ancient god spells. Even his original body would be able to use them. At this moment, there was a sea of flames in the far eastern side of the Alliance star system. There was a planet inside this sea of flames that was completely red. It was covered in flames as if it was a burning cultivation planet. This planet was named the Holy Vermilion Bird Planet. The only things near it were the remains of a star that were scattered all over the place. It was as if this place had spent countless years burning. A ray of red light came from the distant stars. It was a young cultivator riding a firebird. He went into the sea of flames and disappeared. There was a towering vermilion bird statue that pierced the heavens on that planet. This statue emitted endless heat, and there were three elders sitting on top of the statue. At this moment, the youth's figure appeared thousands of feet away as if he couldn't withstand the heat. The moment he appeared, he started sweating like crazy. Report. The All Heaven Army has occupied 60% of the Western region. There are 11 teams coming from 11 different directions. The leaders are the newly bestowed 108 Celestials. The one taking the lead is the Vice Thunder Celestial, Su Ting. Is there any trace of Su Mu? After a moment of silence, one of the old men above the Vermilion Bird spoke. Although his voice was soft, the temperature suddenly rose as if there was a change in the laws. The youth quickly retreated hundreds of feet before he was barely able to hold on and said, All Heaven Thunder Celestia Su Mu's location is still unknown. We are currently searching for him. Another old man smiled. In less than two months, they only managed to take 60%. The All Heaven cultivators are pretty strict. The last old man calmly said, let's see how the plan of the Cultivation Alliance works out. It should give the All Heaven cultivators a profound lesson. Unfortunately, the Holy Emperor isn't here, or else my Holy Vermilion Bird Planet would also be able to obtain great benefits. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Your support means a lot. And, if you want to read other novels, just go to my channel playlist and check these other videos.